I wager my blue eyes white dragon. I wager my trihorn dragon. Welcome to the first episode of The Rare Hunters. We're going to be opening classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, a new one every week, and building decks. But there's a twist, because much like in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime's Battle City tournament, we will have to wager our rarest cards pulled and the winner takes all. Losing means you lose your rarest card and the winner is able to take that and add it to their deck. There'll be a new element of strategy. So of course today we're starting with Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. It had ace monsters like Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And let us know right now, what is your rarest card? What would you have to wager? So without further ado, drop a like on the video and let's let the hunt begin. All right, so I've got my 12 packs of LOB. We're going to pray to the dragon capture jar for good luck. Or what my rare card will be is really the biggest concern. All right, we're going to start with Beast Fangs, Spike Seedra, Trial of Nightmare, Follow Wind, Two-Pronged Attack. So this is one of the very few trap cards in this set because I don't think there's many and you have to destroy two of your monsters to destroy one of your opponents. So pack number two. Follow Wind, Hitotsumi Giant, the first card played by Kaiba in the anime. The 13th Grave, Erebi, another two-pronged attack. Green Phantom King, this actually has pretty good defense, 1600 for level three. Larvis, Machine Conversion Factory, Monster Egg, Cherubin the Fire Knight, a fusion that I probably won't be able to actually make. Wasteland, Steel Ogre, Grotto, Firegrass, and Ray and Temperature. Terra the Terrible, Taihon, Skull Servant, Mountain, Goblin's Secret Remedy. This gives 600 life points. That might come in handy. Dark King of the Abyss, Beast Fang, Spike Seedra, Trial of Nightmare, Pot of Greed. Not too bad. It's always good to be able to draw a card or two. Don't know how to say it. Root Warrior, Root Water, Umi, Irabi, Giant Soldier Stone, a good defender. Fire Grass. Here we go. Red Medicine, the 13th Grave, Misaram Zumi, Root Water, Flower Wolf, Woody Phantom, Fiend Reflection number two, Karama, and Flame Manipulator. Follow in, Hitotsumi Giant, Urbi, Super Rare, Sword to Revealing Light. Okay, so like not too shabby. Um, I'll take it. I mean, you know, I don't know if this will be like my, my rare card. I really am like a monster for that. But this will stop Alec in his tracks, and it's kind of interesting. It's like one of the first cards to come out. Okay, next pack. Laser Cannon Armor, Turtle Tiger, Drooling Lizard, King Fog, Flame Ghost, a fusion with a thousand attack and 800 defense. All right, here we go. Root Water, Umi, Araby, Forest, Spirit of the Heart. All right, we're down to the last couple packs. We're looking at Dark World Thorns, Ray and Temperature, Yami, Trap Hole. That's cool, I mean, that's a pretty good, you know, I'll probably need this. Um, I'm a monster yet. Pot of Greed, Skull Red Bird, final pack. Here we go. Legend of Blue Eyes, give us something good. Still a fusion. Please, anything with that. Fire Yaru, Frenzied Panda. Oh my god, I saw it. Blue Dude. Come on, man. Blue Eyes. Come on. Last pack. Can't make this up. Blue Eyes White Dragon, out of LOB. Best card in the set. I mean, you just had to one up me, huh? All right, guys, I got my 12 packs of Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, and uh, let's see what rare cards I pull. But first, this hand of mine burns with an. Wait, wrong franchise. Let's just pull some cards. First pack. Come on, let's get a secret on the first pack. I know it's a low chance. Meta Bat. Green Phantom King, Larvas, Machine Conversion Factory, Fisher, good card, Remove Trap, Dissolve Rock, Dark Energy, and Fiend Reflection. What's next? Oh, that opened up a little too easy. We got King Fog, Misai Ruzame, Forest, Green Phantom King, Spirit of Harp, good card. 
Hey guys, Future Alec here. I'm stepping in for present day Alec because we had a mic failure and these polls were too fire for me not to comment on them. First up is Reaper of the Cards. Now he might seem underwhelming at first because he costs a tribute, but it actually can destroy trap cards and there's not really anything else in this format that does. Trap Hole is a great pull. Trap Hole can kill any problem that I have. And now I've got two trap holes. And there he is, the secret rare Trihorn the Dragon. I actually pulled this in a previous video just the other day. Put out some LOB packs. So I feel like this is divine providence. I feel like this is fate. I am supposed to pull Trihorn Dragon and I'm going to win with Trihorn Dragon. And the last piece of the puzzle, Man Either Bug. Another card that helps me just control his board. And this one's actually a warm body on board too. So first of all, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Just wanted to say that. Yeah, my deck, this is the boss monster. Um, there's not much to say about actually summoning it, but as for some of the other more exciting things, I was lucky enough to pull two 2k defenders, so these will definitely be really helpful. I know in this old caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a really big deal. As for equips and field spells, so listen, I just ran pretty much all the different field spells and all the different equip spells, but um, I do have a few different copies of Follow Wind because I actually have a sort of high amount of winged beast monsters in here. Double Pot of Greed is really broken. There's no ban list in this, so we're just gonna go with it. And Goblin Secret Treasure, because I guess life points still matter here. LLB is kind of the first set, so there's not a lot to say about strategy. You just get the strongest beat six you can and pray for the rest. All right, guys, check out what I got, what I threw together real quick. I got, I got Trihorn Dragon. This is my boss monster. It's my main beater. If I summon this, Paul just loses. I'm gonna win this game because I have effect monsters. Mater Bug is one of the reasons why Blue Eyes does not really matter to me. And Reaper of the Cards can wall out anything except for their biggest things. It also destroys traps. Speaking of traps, I'm going to win because I have two trap holes to go along with my Mater Bugs. Nothing is staying on this field that I don't want it to. So I went with Forest as my main field spell just because I have a lot of beasts, beast warriors, and plant monsters. I have good attack, good defense. This card is going to be clutch in this game. I just know it will be. I already said that I'm going to kill Blue Eyes with Mater Bug, but a key interaction that can help me if I don't have it is Trihorn Dragon and Dragon, Dragon Treasure. Dragon Treasure increasing his attack and defense by 300, which does let me beat over an unboosted Blue Eyes. So if I can pull this off, I can even kill the strongest card in his deck. All right, are you ready for the first duel of the Rare Hunters? I am Rare Hunter. I can't call you Duelist in this uh, series. I have to call you Rare Hunter. Well, when I'm done with you, I'll be the only Rare Hunter. We will see which of us can pull a Rare card to bring back to Master Merrick. Remember guys, my blue eyes white dragon is on the line. And while I'm wagering my trihorn dragon, I'm just adding a blue eyes to my collection. Wow, Rare Hunter, okay, I see. Very uh, full of yourself, aren't you? The Master Merrick always liked me better. He also doesn't tolerate failure, so. I feel like we're like Loomis and Umbra. Oh no, that was like the worst <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe not. Wait, Bandit Keith was the worst one. Yeah, he was. Although he had rare cards. But. I mean, I didn't even have rare cards. Even strings had rare cards. A roll of the die. Let's see, high roll. Ooh, Ooh that's a three. That? That's a three. That's a three. Oh. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, what? Oh, wow, you got a two. <laughs> okay. Hey, but you got the two dark magicians. Wow. We're going to play by old rules, guys, which means you draw if you go first. So I'm going to take the first move. Oh, yeah. All right. And draw. I'm going to start by setting a card face down and setting a card in the spell or trap card zone. Your move, Rare Hunter. Sorry. All right. I'll draw for 10. Let's almost summon the Beaver Warrior. Beaver Warrior. I feel like you could use that. Seems like more of a Joey card. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go into battle and attack your face down with 1,200 attack. You attacked Turtle Tiger, 1,500 defense. Oh. You take 300. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to main phase two, set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right. My draw. I'm going to go around with my Turtle Tiger, but can you beat my Fire Yaru? Normal summon in attack mode. Mm. 1,300 attack. Fire Yaru, enter the battle phase. And attack his Beaver Warrior. I am sorry, Beaver take 100 points of damage. Draw for turn. Normal summon my Mammoth Graveyard. Hmm, that's only 1,200 attack. Is that really going to be enough to do anything? No. 
Okay. But I will equip it with my raised body heat. Oh yeah, he's a dinosaur. That's right. I, I, for some reason I thought it was a rock. Or even a zombie. But okay. nope, it's a dinosaur, which means it gains 300 attack and defense. So it's at 15. Okay. So I'll have my Mammoth Graveyard attack your Fire Yaru. All right, so he's going to be destroyed. I'll take 200 damage. Now I'm on the board. Is this what you guys want from Yu-Gi-Oh these days? Everyone's like, I want old Yu-Gi-Oh back. And we're just hey, going back and forth. These are nice. I just did a combo. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's true. It's the best combo deck in this format. I'll end my turn. All right. But I can still wall you out for the turn. So I'm going to pass my turn here. Uh, get used to doing nothing. Yeah, Draw. there might not be something happening every turn, viewers. We'll see. <laughs> Set a card face down, I'll end my turn. Hmm. Since my, my man literally can't do anything to your tiger. All right, I draw. Can this help me? I'll normal summon my Araby. So it's got uh -oh. 1,500 attack points. Now, do I want to attack Mammoth Graveyard and get rid of two birds with one stone? Too bad you don't have a raised body heat like me. I don't. Yet. I'll enter the battle phase yes. and attack your mammoth graveyard. Alright, yeah, that'll kill us it's both. about 15, but we'll both be destroyed. Alright, you're moved, duelist. Fine, let's draw. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Hmm. I'll draw a card. Oh my lord. Normal summon my witty phantom. 1400 attack. Into the battle phase. We'll attack this monster. You hit my green phantom king. Oh. 1600 defense. So we're tied. All right, your move. All right, let's draw for time. I will tribute my green phantom king. Oh, okay. I was so afraid you were going to tribute two set. monsters. Okay. Tribute set, huh? What could it be? Hmm. I wonder myself. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'm going to activate my Umi. It increases the attack and defense of fish, sea serpent, thunder, and aqua type monsters. So since my aqua type turtle, but Ooh. 17 defense, okay? I already couldn't get through it. Now I really can't get through it. All right. Um, and now, Woody Phantom is going to attack this card. You hit my beaver warrior with 1500 oh, defense. I'm getting walled out by that of all things. All right, you move. Let's draw for time. I will. Flip summon my Reaper of the Cards. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to use my Trap Hole. That's because I would destroy this trap otherwise. Yeah, Reaper of the Cards flips a card up. If it's a trap, it's destroyed. So it forces my Trap Hole. Yeah, no traps allowed. Draw for turn. I'm going to enter the battle phase. Woody Phantom's going to attack. You hit my Maneater Bug. Oh. So now I can just destroy one of your monsters. I'll target to destroy your... <laughs> Stop calling away. Yeah, that's not, you're not lying. My beefy defender or my nimble attacker? The witty phantom. No, but he's so witty. He's funny. He's the life of the party. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Main phase two. I will set a card face down. Your move. Let's draw for turn. Normal mm -hmm. summon my frenzied panda. Hmm. I'll activate my Fisher to destroy your monster with the lowest attack. Wow, it's my Turtle Tiger. I'm gonna switch my Beaver Warrior to attack position. Move to battle, and now Frenzy Panda attack. Oh, I'm going offensive. Not enough to beat my giant Soldier of Stone. It was even bigger. 2,000 defense. Ooh, even bigger. All right, all right. And I will end my turn. Draw. Normal summon. My Araby in attack mode has 1,500 attack. I'll enter the battle, bro. I'm using Trap Hole. Just destroy it. What? Well, rude! We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Your move, Duelist. Alright, draw for turn. A rude Duelist we have. Sorry, your move, Rare Hunter. Let's switch the Beaver Warrior Oof. to Deep I always get so nervous when you pick up a card. It's like, is he just about to Tribute Summon? I'll set a monster face down, set a spell or trap, and end my turn. I'll also set. And... Switch my giant soldier to attack position. Giant soldier of stone. He doesn't reduce, right? He doesn't, thank okay. god. He's at 1300. We'll attack your frenzied panda. I will take 100. We'll slowly whittle these life points down. We'll see. And I am in slowly. Alright, your move. It's draw for turn. Well, I guess I'll take a chunk out of your life points real quick. A chunk? 
I'm going to tribute both my monsters oh, no. for the Trihorn Dragon. You got your rare card in the field before me. Not cool, man. Not cool. And now we'll go to battle and destroy your giant soldier of stone with 2850. Ooh, okay, so I take 1550. Yeah, I take a bite out of life points. Oof. How unworthy is my dragon now? I'll end my turn. All right, I will draw Rare Hunter. So maybe you got your Trihorn Dragon out on the field. Do you feel like a big Rare Hunter today? I do, I feel pretty big. I feel pretty big and good. Well, you should, because I can't swing over it right now. But I can activate Pot of Greed. Okay. This is a spell card that allows me to draw two cards from my deck. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, you know... Draw one. I, I was going to let you say it and then agree with you. Draw two. These cards won't help me now. But this will activate Swords of Revealing Light. So you have one sword for each of my dragon's horns. That's right. And I'll break one off each turn as I, I don't wait. know about that. Break it. Next, I'll set another monster face down and end my turn. All right, I will draw for turn. I'm going to normal summon my lesser dragon. He's lesser than me. Well, that's technically true right now, but I'll end my turn. And that's one sword down. All right, draw. What if I flip summon my Tyhone to the field? It's got 1200 attack as well for now, but I'll equip it with one of these things I've been drawing all freaking game. Follow Wind, an equip spell that I can only equip to a wing beast monster and increases attack and defense by hmm. 300 points. I don't know why I thought that was a dragon. It kind of looks like it should be. It's capable of firing cannonballs from its mouth for long range attacks. This creature is particularly effective in mountain battles. Oh. I guess it's actually supposed to work with a spell mountain, so. All right, Tyhone, attack his lesser dragon. All right, lesser dragon. With your 1500. To deal 300 damage. I'll set one card face down and pass my turn. All right, let's draw for turn. You played Pot of Greed, so I'll play Pot of Greed. And what does that two. do? Oh, it draws two. You just played it. You knew what it did. <laughs> Sorry, hmm, Rare Hunter. Hmm. I don't know if the hmms are necessary. I'm Pegasus now. Of course you are. Which I... Rare Hunter would you be if you were? I don't know, did you have like a favorite rare hunter? No? Arcana? Yeah, I feel like that's what most people would say. I mean, I'd be Odeon, he used trap like, monsters. Like, he's oh, cool. I mean, Odeon was cool. Was, I, didn't, I mean, was he really a rare hunter though? Yeah, that's true. Let's... I'll activate my field spell, Forest. Ooh. Increases the attack and defense of beast, beast warrior, and plant monsters. Do you want to do the old rule where like a field spell destroys the other? Uh, no, yes. Yeah, I guess we did say we're using old rules, right? Yeah. Well, so I guess, yeah, all right. We'll or we can just do this as a new rule. I mean, because this doesn't stop changing anything. Uh, we can just both have them, I guess. Happen. That's fine. Okay. We're both allowed to have a field spell. Good. So when I set this phase down. What's it increase? It's like beast, beast plant, plant, and beast Okay. That's I still can't attack, though. So I just end my turn. I draw. Free my dragon. We're going to set. One card face down. And pass our turn. I guess I'll switch this. Oh, no, I'll keep it in attack mode. Let's draw for turn. This will be the last Let's turn for swords. Let's set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Hmm. All right, well, that's the end of Swords of Revealing Light. But I draw. You might have gotten your rarest card in the field, but it doesn't change the fact that I have a monster that's even stronger. Do you know what it is? You know what it is, Duelist? Succubus Knight. Steel Ogre Grotto. Wow. My monster is the Almighty. Spirit of the Heart. Flip Summon. All right, but more importantly, Tribute. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> he can't be serious. My Tyhone and my Spirit of the Heart for the Blue Eyes White Dragon to the field. In attack position. Yo, I would love to let you keep that. I would, I'd love to, you know? You would, and you should. I, 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 and I would. You really should? Except I got trample. Cool, dude. Cool. Now you can go send our rare card to the, to the grave. 
But what if I use my two-pronged attack duelist? Oh, you petty. I'll actually make a chain That's... in this old LOB duel. That's so petty. I'll destroy two of my monsters and one of yours. You're so petty. They all gust go. Fine. Fine. My Erebi Goodbye, and everything. Trihorn Dragon. Before he got to attack again. Your move, duelist. Then all the fun left the field. Drop. <laughs> we did play everything. <laughs> now I'm flipping everything. Fever Warrior. Fire Yaru, who's actually getting debuffed by your Yumi. Oh, wow. He's a fire. Yeah, that's, a that's true. That's it is what it is. Is. Okay. That's okay. And I'll normal summon my witty phantom. Wow. We're okay. going all in, boys. Does he gain any attack from these things? Only Beaver Beast Warrior. Warrior. He's getting 200 Warrior. attack okay. and defense. All right. So I'm moving straight to battle. Okay. My Fire Yaru is attacking with... 11. 1100. 1400 with the witty phantom. <sighs> and 1400 with the Beaver Warrior. You back me to a corner, duelist. I have 2050. <laughs> oh no, only oh, 2,000 life points. <laughs> it's Duelist Kingdom all over again. And then I'll overlay my two mon- <laughs> Woo! Main phase two? Overlay Zeus. I'll end my turn. All right, Duelist. I draw. Hmm. Is there's not a ban list in here. I'll activate another pot of greed. That's right, we can play as many as you want. Do you know what this does? We've played it <laughs> twice! This is a spell card that lets me draw two cards from my deck. They know too! Do you do it? What does Pot of Greed do? Let us know in the comments. All right, I draw two cards and I'll normal summon my Skull Red Bird. Oh, it has 1550 attack. Follow Wind, equip. Oh. Skull Red Bird, attack is Beaver Warrior. Oh, that's He's big. 14 and you take 450. How big is Skull Red Bird? I don't know. He's 1850 now. Oh man. You move to us. All right, let's draw for turn. We just had to let our cool rare cards die. You played two-pronged attack. I was only getting, getting rid of yours. Wow, okay, that's how you see it, huh? I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Normal summon, my, my fiend reflection number two. A bird beast that summons reinforcements with a hand mirror. I don't think it's going to be doing that. That is, right it, now. I mean, that's its effect. That's what it does. Skull Redbird's going to attack your Witty Phantom. Goodbye, Witty. And Fiend Reflection number two with 1100 will attack over Fire Yard. Goodbye, Fire. All right, your move. All right, let's draw. I will flip summon. Oh. My Silver Fang. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm always getting a manager buff. <laughs> my Silver Fang gets 200 attack from my forest because it's a beast. Peacely, dude. And I, if I, well, I don't have the equip spell. But anyway, enter battle. Silver Fang will attack your Fiend Reflection number two. So he's 14, I take 300 damage. I'm down to 1750. Next, I will set a monster face down and end my turn. All right, well, I draw. Time to go on the offensive with my Tripwire Beast. Oh. It's got 1200 attack points. All right. Skull Red Bird, you take 450. Yeah, give me some of that back. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you take 450. Tripwire Beast, attack is set monster. You hit Man Eater Bug. Which had a feeling. doesn't survive this battle, but I will destroy your Skull Red Bird. Had a freaking feeling. This must be nice having flip effect monsters. Effect monsters, what can I say? Yeah, must be nice having effect monsters, period. Monsters. Your move duels. Your move rare hunter. Let's draw. Oh, well that's nice. I'm going to normal summon my enchanting mermaid. Okay, I thought you were going to say like monster reborn somehow. Ooh, that's like, crazy. Monster reborn. Like Trihorn dragon back. I like Maggie. It's where's anything but that. Blue eyes. <laughs> oh, so she's a. Oh, she's she gains attack. That's right from your Yumi. No fair. And I'll go to battle and attack your tripwire beast. Okay, well I take two. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set. Past turn duelist. Let's. Draw. It's gotten very scrappy in here. That's right. And I'm gonna use all of our field spells because now I'm summoning Dark World Thorns. Oh, he's a plant. He gains 200. 200 from my forest. Okay. The field power bonus. That's right. And I'll have my mermaid attack your face down. He's which it probably will not get over that. It would normally tie, but my armored starfish is also an aqua monster, so oh! I have 1600 defense. So I take, you take 200. 200. All right. Yep, that's fair. And I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I can tribute this. Tribute my armored starfish. What you summon it? For my succubus knight. Oh, what? 1650 attack. That is 
Go! Okay. <laughs> this says Mr. Trap Hole. All right. Into the battle phase. Attack his enchanting mermaid. All right. I'll For 250. 250. I'm not out of this door yet, even if I'm at 1650. 8,000 life points feels like a lot. It really <laughs> is. Your move. Draw for tire. I'm doing exactly what I need to break through your night. Hmm, we'll right? see. Right? You're only 1650, right? Yeah, she's only 1650. <laughs> I'll normal summon my witty phantom. Oh, who very is witty of you. Technically too weak to win this fight, but when I equip it with my dark energy, <gasps> What a combo! 300 attack and defense. He's so good. 1700. He knows every aspect of this game. And you remember that right. line from the first episode? How could I forget? Everyone is. I've, I've used monster spells and traps this game. He has a mastery of everything. <laughs> Mom, my witty phantom will attack your succubus, succubus knight. No, my succubus. For 50. <laughs> 50 damage. You still can't kill me though. And then Dark World thir Thorns attacks for 1400. I'm down to my last 100 life points. And yeah, and you know, that's really that. I'll have my turn. I drew. Here comes Dark Hole. I set. I pass. I bet the thing has 2,000 defense, y'all. I bet it does. It might. Draw for turn. Okay, that's not gonna help. Enter battle. Battle entered. Witty Phantom, attack. He's 17? Yep. I'm 18. Green Phantom King gains 100 defense. Or 200 defense, so you take 100 damage. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not out of this duel yet. You are literally not out of this duel yet. All right, I'll end my turn. Wow. All right, that's I draw. I set. I pass. All right, let's draw for turn. Sadly, my green Phantom King can't actually get me out of this. I will. Well, I can't. I can't get over it. Oh, I can get over it. How can you? Yes, but I don't know about that one. That's the only problem. But I think it might be okay. I'm gonna normal summon my Urby, who doesn't help me with the situation. But I'm going to set a field spell over my forest. Oh, you rude dude. Now I get around your you phantom rude king. rude dude. Phantom, attack the phantom. Well, actually he's on. Yeah. Phantom, attack the phantom. My phantom king died to your witty phantom. He is destroyed. And now, here comes the 2000 defense. Furby attack. 1500? Yes. 1600 armored starfish. Oh, come on, bro. Normally 1400, but gaining 200, you take 100 damage. Although I think I'm dead next turn. We'll see. I'll end. I'll draw. Okay. I set. One card face down. And end my turn. Draw! I will flip over another forest. This must be nice. And then I'll normal summon my silver fang. Let's go. Witty Phantom, attack the starfish. All right. It's destroyed. And I don't know if there's any battle traps, but silver fang, attack. I use my two-pronged attack to beat your two monsters to destroy your- That's some real Duelist kingdom <laughs> yeah. right there. It just lets me do all of that. Good game, Duelist. You win yes. this one. Wow, well, I'm gonna get my rare card. I'll get it. <laughs> like Joey in that episode. I said I'll get it. We want to take it the hard way. All right, well, they you're gonna have to punch me off screen. <laughs> they beat the mess out of Joey. All right, since Alec wins this duel, he gets my raised body heat. It's my rarest card. Get that out of here! Take good care of him, all right? And I'll be sure to make good use to My him. blue eyes white dragon. And I'll present it to Master Merrick. <laughs> all right, well, that was fun. I honestly enjoyed it. It was a good time. This was a crazy duel. I think as crazy as you can get with LOB, and now you own two. But maybe, maybe, maybe I kind of wish I could make it take like a pot of greed or a trap hole or something. I don't know. I'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can take something else if you want. It'll look good in my binder. All right, guys. So that's the first episode of The Rare Hunters. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we had a fun time putting this segment together. It's taken a lot longer than expected thanks to some oh boy. difficulties and delays with LOB. I'm going to make a video with more details on that over on the second channel, Team APS Plus. This is the first time we did this, so 
please give us any ideas of any rules, additions, or changes that we need to make that can make it a bit more interesting or fun. Yeah. So next time it's going to be MRD. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next week. Welcome to episode two of The Rare Hunters. That's right, our new segment where every week we open a new classic, new classic, Yu-Gi-Oh set, and we have to stake our rarest card in the duel that follows. This week, we're playing with Metal Raiders. The second set released in the TCG, it released such cool monsters as Summon Skull, Barrel Dragon, and Gate Guardian. And cool spells and traps like Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, and... Change of Heart. Last week in episode one, we opened Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, so check that out if you haven't already. This time's to be a little bit more exciting because this set has much stronger cards. Real card time. So let's find out what's at stake by uh, opening this box and seeing what we get. And before we hop into the video, make sure you drop a like, of course, comment, subscribe. What's your favorite card from this set? And what would you stake as your rarest card? All right, let's get it. I've got my Metal Raiders and I'm ready to open. Now, this actually, fun fact, is a Euro print version of this box. So it was printed for Europe. I don't really know exactly how much that changes, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, here's my packs of Metal Raiders. I have just as many as Paul did, and hopefully that means I'm gonna pull better because I am better. Boring Ocean Snake, Big Eye, Doma the Angel of Silence, Hunter Spider, Heavy Storm. Okay, so we've gotten foils, so these packs are legit. It was a real concern. Super rare uh, magic card. Destroys all magic and trap cards in the field. This is going to be very powerful. I'm happy to have it. All right, we got Share the Pain, Petite Moth, Roaring Ocean Snake, Bottom Dweller, Fake Trap, it's false, Skull Knight, Paralyzing Potion, Yadokaru, and Rabbit Horseman. Punished Eagle, Launcher Spider, Curry Box. This is used by Pegasus. He summoned it as like a just normal monster, but that's what they did with fusions. Yeah, it's basically on theme with the tunes. We have Thunder Dragon. Oh, guess who's building Thunder Dragons? I just gonna pull your Colossus. Deep Sea Shark, Ancient Elf, Mega Thunderball, Catapult Turtle as a super. Oh, it's got busted, guys. You know how many FTKs this is a part of? Oh yeah, plenty. It's gonna be Balls and get FTK. <laughs> Mystic Horseman, King Yamik Makai. Castle of Dark Illusions and Jellyfish. Crawling Dragon, Ring of Magnetism, Killer Needle, and oh baby! Ultra Rare Summon Skull. This is actually commonly used by Yugi. Um, I remember in the show, whenever Yugi would use Summon Skull, it would always like conduct electricity and that would cause some BS thing to happen with the field and it would power up his Magnet Warriors and, ah, oh, amazing. Look at that. Blast Juggler, Leo Gun, Acubeam, Steel Scorpion. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we got Mirror Force! Oh, Paul's gonna need that heavy storm. He better not play it too fast, because I got Mirror Force. Ooh! Man. When opponent's monster attacks, negate the attack and destroy all opponent's monsters in attack position. Doma the Angel of Silence, Water Armotix, Armored Zombie, Acubeam, and White Magical Hat. Ulatory, Germ Infection, Flame Cerberus, and Lava Battle Guard. Kaminari Attack. Oh, we are definitely building Thunder Dragons. <laughs> Stim Pack, Morphin Fen, Mass Sorcerer, Illusionist Faceless Mage, Dragon Piper, Soul Release, and Sagi the Dark Cloud. So, uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with my pulls. I got some staple cards like, you know, Heavy Storm, which is gonna be handy for getting rid of all of Alex pesky spells and traps. Garnisa Elephantis, and most importantly, and the card I'll be wagering, Summon Skull, ultra rare. All right, guys, so that means I got my Mirror Force, I got Karibo, and I got something else good. I forget, Catapult Turtle. Catapult Turtle. So I got another great trap to go with my already stellar lineup of traps from the first episode. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But are you ready to put it up for that sake as your rarest card? You, you mean, am I ready to add your Summon Skull to my collection? Yeah, I am. Okay, hey guys, Paul here. So I've got my deck. I figured I would show you guys privately so Alec can't see. As you guys can see, my deck is a lot different than it was in the Blue Eyes episode. We can maybe cut back to that. So 
First of all, I've got my new rare card, Summon Skull, as well as uh, Garnesia Elephantis. These are going to be my only tribute monsters in this build now. Actually, I think, no, never mind, I got one more. But yeah, so 2500 attack for a level 6 is going to be huge. I've got an array of effect monsters now. Some of them better than others, but I mean, honestly, effect monsters are better than nothing, because uh, Alec had many of your bug last time, and that was really annoying. I've got some new beat sticks that all have very high attack, 16 and 1800 respectively, as well as just replacing all the weaker beat sticks in my old deck with things that are 1500 for a change. A couple of mains or a couple of holdovers from the last deck were Erebi and Skull Redbird, and I still have some 2k defenders. A new one joins the party with Prevent Rat. Now unfortunately I don't really have a lot of good spell cards to use. I took all the equip spells and field spells out and I'm thinking they just won't be super helpful, but still got my Pot of Greeds, got my Swords Revealing Light from last time, and now my Heavy Storm to add to the mix. Since I won't have many traps and stuff set, uh, destroying all the spells and traps shouldn't be a really big deal. I'm going to be experimenting with these two equip spells. So German Infection can actually decrease a monster's attack turn over turn. And uh, Sword of Deep Seas is just a good generally strong equip spell for my monsters. Tremendous Fire is a little bit of burn. I've got the same traps as last time, but with the addition of Robin Goblin, which if I'm attacking my opponent and inflict any damage to them, I can make Alec discard a card, which is going to be huge. So yeah, that's what we're working with. Hopefully it goes pretty well. All right, guys. So check out my list that I'm using for episode two of the Rare Hunters. Just some quick things to note. I've changed up virtually all my monsters, except for a few high impact ones, like my effect monsters, my 2000 defense monsters, and my two prizes from the last episode. Spoiler alert. I also kept this card because uh, it's still trap removal, and I don't know how many Paul's going to be running, but I think as the series gets keeps going, Having trap removal will be will get better and better. We still don't have anything that easily does it. Still running knees, great draw power. I'm running a lot of cards just to help me get over problems. Uh, Shield and Sword helps me deal with those 2,000 defense monsters because they have very weak attack. Uh, block attack will help me deal with anything that just anything that gets big but has no defense. Fisher is just a great removal card. Stim Pack actually lets me beat over things with my kind of middling like. 1500 attack monsters. Same thing for Sword of Deep Seated, though uh, they this one has a drawback, it decreases the monster's attack, but I only need to get only to get it off once. And, and then this one, it just it's just good. I just like it. Paralyzing Potion, that it'll help me deal with any monsters that get on the board and I can't answer it. Though, I mean, you've seen the control cards that I have in this deck. I should be able to deal with any monster that hits the board. But if I can't, that's where Paralyzing Potion comes in. And uh, yeah, that's the list. Um, I'm gonna see how many uh, monsters I can tribute for these guys. You know, maybe them for game, I don't know. Oh, and the controversial pick who was right in the middle that I should have talked about. Uh, yeah, Jiragamo at 2200. He's huge, but of course, if you call the coin flip wrong, you lose half your life points. That's a bit of a gamble, but uh, with 2200 out of a normal summon is too big to pass up, so. Let's see what happens. I'll wager my summon skull. I'll wager my mirror force. All right, guys, it's time for the match you've all been waiting for. Yes, rare hunter. Let the hunt begin as I cut your deck and make sure you're not cheating, because that's what we do in the Merrick organization. And I'm going to hunt down your summon skull. Eh, not if I hunt your mirror force. Both cards will be really good additions to either deck, so I'm there's actually something on the line force. here. Hit you with it and then take your summon skull. Uh, it really is like a race to see who can reach their rare cards first, because mirror force or summon skull will definitely change the game. I'm going to start this duel, Hunter, by summoning my Jirai Gumo. Oh, you are a He's wild got man. 2200 attack, but if I attack with him, I have to flip a coin, and if it's heads, he can attack. If it's tails, I lose half my life points. He still gets to attack, though. Which is crazy. All right, you're Moon Duelist. I feel like when that card was made, they meant that he couldn't attack. Oh, if no. You if you call it way. wrong, you just reduce your... This is before attacking. Reduce your life points by half before attacking. Oh, okay. That's what they say. All right. Yeah, 2200. Just hope I get lucky. All right, so I will... Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> I'm going to normal summon my Jirai Kumo. Oh, you have one, too. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Oh, you don't want to attack with your Jirai Gumo? Ah! Well, I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, since you won't attack, he's scary because, like, he 
can't even like just to run into him is is a risk. Yeah. And he can swing over the two K defenders. Yeah, he's a it, it's just a great monster. He's a scary monster. No one wants to use him. I honestly think the best the best case scenario was for me to summon mine with yours on the field. We're play now we're playing chicken. All right, I'm gonna set a card face down. That's my turn, duelist. Enter. <laughs> Draw. I don't want to summon anything because I'll just die. But like, also, I mean, guys, we're stalling with a 2200 attack monster. <laughs> this is the best possible start to this because who knows where it goes. It's like, it's like, do you do you want to take damage? Mm -hmm. like, to be honest, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want either. All right. And my turn. I gotta figure out a way to deal with him. So, I'm going to activate my Germ Infection. What's that? Do? So, I'm going to equip it to your Jirai Gumo. A non-machine monster equipped with this card will have its attack decreased by 300 points each standby phase of yours. Oh. It says at each of its standby phases. I'm assuming that's yeah, its control. Yeah, sounds like it's gonna be. Yeah, okay. So, uh, with that, I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> you ain't right. I ain't. <laughs> All right, your move. Let's draw for Terran. Standby phase. Standby phase means you lose 300. We'll keep track of it with this Maturian Chain. All right, so now my Dragomo has become He's 1,900. <laughs> I mean, or he's still pretty good. Basically useless. Still pretty good, but you know. With time, you'll become weaker and weaker until I can safely swing over him in two more turns. Switch my Dragomo to defense mode. Huh? Smart. I'll have my turn. I'll draw for my turn. Alright. Time to mount something of an offense. By normal summoning an old friend, Araby. He has 1500 attack points. I activate Trample. Never mind, Duelist. Hunter. My Araby is destroyed. Your move. Draw for turn. With another passing standby <laughs> phase, your Jirai Gumo loses another 300 attack points. He now sits at only 1,600, offering very little to you. I did what I had to do. <laughs> All right, just making that clear. I did what I had to do. And you still have to get rid of mine. Uh, we'll figure that out when the time comes. <laughs> yeah. I'll set a card face down. And I'll end my turn. All right, that means I can draw. Let's see how you deal with one of the newest additions to my deck, my Hiosubi. It has 1,500 attack points. Okay. And normal summon it to the field. Into the battle phase, Yosuke is going to attack your Jirai Guma. Goodbye, Jirai. Oh, do I want to take the risk of attacking your face down call? That's up to you. I don't know if I want to. I mean, it's just, there's so many problems here. <laughs> um, right. Your move. Draw for turn. I will flip some of my Mask of Darkness. Oh. I can target a trap card in my grave, my trap hole, and add it to my hand. Interesting. Okay. That is a strategy. A real strategy. Trap holes are frightening. Yeah, 1500's a lot, man. <laughs> that is a lot. 2200's a lot. That makes me upset. <laughs> you have a trap hole to reuse. Up I'll there. set a monster face down, and set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right, and draw another new monster, oh. my Blackland Fire Dragon. A dragon that dwells in the depths of darkness. Its vulnerability lies in its poor eyesight. You got every 1500 attack monster, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> All right, I enter the battle phase. Yosubi with 1500 is going to attack your Mask of Darkness. It has 900. Mirror Force. Prepared a special surprise. The power of my Mirror Force trap card. Wow, <laughs> very unkind of you, Duelist. <laughs> You saw your most powerful card. I should have switched my Jirai Gumo or something to defense, but that would have just made it useless anyway. <laughs> All my monsters are destroyed. Goodbye. Wow, Duelist. Wow. Your move. <laughs> <laughs> I am peeved. Oh, man. That really, that you baited bad. me. See, I thought that was a trap hole. It was bait. <laughs> you guys should have flipped my heavy storm. So I'll tribute these two monsters. Oh, a tribute summon. For the blue eyes. Oh, you're wrong for White that. White dragon. You're wrong for that. That's my blue eyes. <laughs> well, you won't be obeying you because I'm activating trap hole. Oh. Since you normal summon blue eyes white dragon, it's going to be destroyed. That's fair. <laughs> Goodbye, blue eyes. All right. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there's no monster reborn <laughs> for either of us. Gone. All right. So when things are gone, they're just... When monsters are gone from trap guards, they're just gone. <laughs> 
I'll set a card face down. Now what could that mean? And I'll end my turn. Say hello to another new monster. Oh my gosh, you need Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. 1500 attack points. This monster moves so fast it looks like an illusion to mortal eyes, so you can't even see it. I can see it. What was that? What was that? Enter battle phase. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, you're thinking. I might just try to pull it. You might. I might. You might not. I also might not. You have, neither of us have even taken any damage yet. Yeah, you're good. Gazelle, attack his life points directly. Take it. 1500. <clears throat> I gotta rethink things. My big play got blown up now, so. It's your move. My gazelle is alone on the field. Draw. I'll activate the spell card. Pot of greed. Oh, wow. Okay, draw your two cards. Is that what it does? It's too late to ask that now, fool. Set a card phase down. I'll end my turn. I draw to normal summon. Urabi once again. Attack his set monster. You hit Spirit Art. Oh, 500 damage. I'm on the board. You really didn't have to use Trample after all. All right, well, your move, Rare Hunter. That's right, your my move. move. Wow, prolonging the duel, I see. I do what I gotta do. Prolonging the duel duelist. Now end my turn. Draw. All right, it's time. My Irby is going to use its claws. You don't want normal summon first? I don't. Oh. I enter the <laughs> battle phase, and I attack your set monster with 1500. Prevent right, 2000 defense. Wow, <laughs> duelist. Okay, I see how it is. We can't hear. We're gonna go We're gonna go to main phase two then. We're gonna set a card face down and pass turn. All right. Draw. I will normal summon. My blue winged crown. Ooh, rude. With 1600 attack. Okay. Your crown might be powerful, but that doesn't mean it'll win you the duel. It'll win this battle. Enter battle. Battle blue enter. Blue winged crown. Attack his so called king. No, my king of mythical beasts is destroyed. I take 100, leaving me at 69. Nice. nice. Okay, well. Does All that right. end your turn, duel? We both need help. We both seriously need help. <laughs> We're working from there, I think. <laughs> Those are probably the jokes that get made all the time around there. Sure. That, that's what flies for America is like 16 years old. He probably laughs at that like every time they say it. Okay, I'll end my turn. All right. I draw for my turn. I will normal summon my own blue winged crown. It also has 1600 attack points. I'll just like your... Trap hole. My blue winged crown is destroyed. <laughs> well, that's okay. I didn't need it anyway for I have something even more powerful. But for now, I have to switch air view defense. Yeah, you get the defense mode. I pass my turn. All right, let's draw. I know summon Urabi. Oh, you have one too. You speak the language. Language of what? Of okay. drag or dinosaurs with 1,500 attack and 800 defense. <laughs> All right, enter battle. I have my Urabi attack your Urabi. My Urabi's destroyed. And I would attack your face down, but I have a strong feeling I can't get over it. Do you think so? And I'll end my turn. I'll do it. It's time to set another monster face down. This one oh, might come in handy for me. And I pass my turn. Let's draw. Although getting over your therapy will be a bit of a struggle, I think I might be able to eventually mount some sort of an offense. Let's go to battle. Battle phase Let's and test them up. I have my blue wing crown attack this face down. You attack. My spirit of the harp. <sighs> Take the In the same off. zone as your spirit of the harp. They're both playing the harp. Alright, well, Samara has gone this far. Irby, attack the other face down. You got lucky. You attacked. Giant soldier of stone. I didn't get lucky. Exactly. <laughs> You take 500. Oh my gosh, all right. Say hello to my very powerful defenders. I believe that, that's fair. I will, I'll set a card face down. I guess I'll end my turn. That's uh, right, do it. Um, all right. I'm going to set one card face down. And it would be nice if I could actually swing over one of your monsters. But you can't. Yeah. I'll end my turn for now. All right, let's draw. What will you do against my 2k defenders? I don't know. Draw your Trihorn Dragon, perhaps? If Shoot, it's still in your I deck. I hope so. Don't tell me you gave up on your Trihorn Dragon after it led you to victory. I'll never give up on my cards 
not you. I'll set a car face down, and I guess I just gotta end my turn. All right. Let's jump. Normal summon Skull Red Bird. 1550 attack. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're bigger than my hero, at least. Into the battle phase. My Skull Red Bird will attack your hero. I'm sorry, hero. 50 damage. Not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm dealing the damage this time around, I'll tell you what. Your move to work. Draw for time. I'll normal summon my Ryukishin Powered. Oh, he's 1600. powered up. He's a bigger version of Urbi. Urbi. So I'll be taking that 50 back. Ryukishin, attack Skull Red Bird. I take 50 as well. I'm no longer at 69, I'm now at 6850. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> and I'll end my turn. Euro, tribute my two monsters. Oh my gosh. To summon Garnesia Elephantis in attack mode. Did you really think I was gonna let that through? I did. Cause I am. Well that's good. <laughs> that's very good. I'm going to enter the battle phase. Bring it on. My Garnesia Elephantis will attack your Ryukishin power. I gotta take it. Well, when I declare my attack, Whoa. I'm going to activate a trap card, Robin Goblin. Ooh. Each time one of your monsters inflicts damage to your opponent's life points, one card is randomly selected from your opponent's hand and discarded. I got a lot of cards, though. Yeah, I know. He <laughs> currently has how many cards in your hand? Is it six? Six. six. Alright, destroy Ryukishin Powered for 800 Damn. damage. And now, say goodbye to a card in your hand. I should have sacrificed this last turn when I attacked you, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, that would make It would have been great. <laughs> but it kept me guessing on what the phase down was. That's true. It was all strategy, you see? Alright, six cards. Say goodbye to this. What is it? A pale beast. Your move doors. All right, draw. Going for the gold, folks. Harmony. I flip summon the man eater bug. No, my Garnisa Elephantis is destroyed. It's destroyed. And then, I'll tribute for the tri-horned dragon. Ooh, brutal. I knew he would make an appearance. Yes. I guessed it. Tri-horned dragon, attack for 2850. Two, eight, five, and zero. And then Blue Wing Crown for 1600. Ooh, the holograms are hurting me. Now, what will you do? End turn. Draw. I don't like to bait a spell card. You know what it does? I don't know. Pot of Greed. Oh, God. This spell card allows me to draw two cards from my deck. I already used it, Paul. I we all one. know that. I draw two. My sores are revealing the light. Come on. This prevents man. you from attacking my monsters for three full turns. And now, I will set a card face down. And another card face down. Your move? You ain't right. <laughs> this duel's not over yet. It's clearly not. <laughs> yeah, this, this duel's not over yet. Draw for turn. Wow. Wow. It'd be nice if you had Heavy Storm, wow. wouldn't it? You really would. Too bad really I would. pulled that card. Even though I didn't get to destroy your mirror force, I'll still destroy your soul with my powerful cards. Uh, you gotta sit here. Oh, that's, uh, this, is, this is frustrating. All right, I will end my turn. End your turn, you say? That's one turn down for Swords of Revealing Light. I'm going to activate, or rather flip up, my Magician of Faith. I can select a magic card in my graveyard and return it to my hand. I've got a number of very useful spell cards in my game. I'll equip Germ Infection to your Trihorned Dragon. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And finally, let's tribute Magician of Faith oh, to summon wow. Shadow Ghoul, oh. the other level 5 monster. It increases its attack by 100 points for each monster in my graveyard. Wait, that's what it does? That's what it does. Wait, that card's kind of... It's kind of good. So, I have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve monsters in my graveyard, giving him twenty-eight hundred attack points. So now I'll enter the battle phase and have my Shadow Ghoul attack Blue Winged Crown. Wow. Uh, the twenty-eight that means you take twelve hundred damage. And don't forget my Roblin Goblins yeah. on the field. So you'll have a random card discarded from your hand, Rare Hunter. Six cards. Right, six cards. Well, this one's going. Your paralyzing oh. potion. What is that? What's this do? Very useful card. 
Wow, this would have been great to have against my Shadow Ghoul since it stops non-machine monsters equipped with it from attacking the shame that you don't have it in your hand anymore. Thanks, my Robin Goblin. All right, Duelist. Well, I think that's going to be the end of my turn. Back to you. Okay, all right. Let's draw. During the standby phase, my German Fection is going to decrease the attack of Trihorn Dragon by 300. It's now 2550. 25, still 50, 2800. I couldn't think over it last turn. But next turn, I'll be able to attack your Trihorn Dragon and destroy it. That's tough. That is tough. I will switch my Trihorn Dragon to defensive mode. Since uh -huh. it'll just get spawned anyway. There's literally nothing. Saving yourself the card loss. And then I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Alright, I draw. So two turns have passed in which you couldn't attack me. And you've done a lot in these two turns. I made them count, you might say. And now let's see if I can do even more. Don't. Mm. Just don't. I'm going to normal summon my pale beast. It has 1500 attack. Really all it's here for. All right, Shadow Ghoul is going to attack your Tri Horned Dragon. I'm sorry, Dragon. It's just you mean it's, it's 28. I mean, you know, and with him destroyed, my German faction does go to the graveyard. It's a little unfortunate. And unfortunately, Pale Beast is not strong enough to do anything. So that's gonna end my turn, Duelist. All right. This is crazy. Draw! What will you do against my unbreakable field of a, a single turn of Swords of Revealing Light? I'll set a card face down, set a monster face down. And that ends my time underneath your swords. My swords may have vanished, but your disadvantage has not. That's true. That was, <laughs> this was a costly series of plays. Costly is right to do list. It's now time to take a bite out of these life points of yours. I normal summon my armored lizard and attack me. I'll enter the battle phase. Shadow Ghoul. Attack. Spirit of the Harp. That's fair. And my pale beast will attack this monster. 15 hits. Yeah, he lands well. And finally, armored lizard. Attack his face down monster. I know this guy's gonna die, my Hyosube. And now, I end my turn to it. <sighs> Can you make the comeback you need? Or will we finish this game next turn with my Shadow Ghoul? Draw! I activate my face down card. Block attack! What? We're switching your Shadow Ghoul to defense mode. Oh no, he's only got 1300 defense. Well, sheesh. And then I'll normal summon my seven colored fish. Ooh, ooh this is actually not good. <laughs> okay. Respect the fish. I was so close to winning easy. <laughs> I, I was close to winning easy. Well, not easy, I had to work for it, but you know. I have my fish attack your Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul, unfortunately, will not be dying this turn. I activate two-pronged attack. I destroy two of my monsters and one of yours. Pale Beast and Armored Lizard are both getting destroyed. Destroy your seven-colored fish. And with his destruction, my Shadow Ghoul gets to stay in the field. I even have 14 monsters in my grave now, so it'll be 3,000 attack points next turn. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know what to do. Okay. I'll set a card, and I'll end my turn. All right. That means I can draw Heavy Storm to destroy all the spell and trap cards in the field, I thought you might do that. including my Robin Goblin. Trap hole and a robin goblin of your own, huh? Wow, I see how it is. I, 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 I kind of, I was like, I, I think it's gonna happen. I see how it is. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, well, you know what, Duelist? The main phase two, I'm gonna set a card face down. And normal summon my ground attacker bug raw to the field. The worst thing you summon. Your move. All right, draw. Seems the gods aren't done with me quite yet. I activate the spell card. Shield and sword. Oh, I see. I will I see. swap the attack and defense of all 
your monsters. Shadow Ghoul and Ground Attacker Bugroff. Wow, okay. Clever, clever. And then, our normal summon, Ground Attacker Bugroff. Smart. I'm assuming that... Yeah, it won't affect you yours, okay. so... And now I have my Ground Attacker Bugroff attack your Shadow Ghoul. With only 13, that means I'm going to take 200. I guess you did manage to get rid of my monster after all. Hmm. I appreciate it. And then I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Drop. I tribute my ground attacker Bugroth for my rare Summon Skull. Here's what I've got. The mighty Summon Skull. I enter the battle phase. Summon Skull attacks your ground attacker Bugroth. I'll take it. 1,000 damage. And now to your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Are you admitting defeat, Duelist? I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll enter the battle phase and attack with Summon Skull. You hit my cannon soda. Okay. Look <laughs> at his stats. Oh, he's, he's rather small. In my main phase, too, I'm going to set a monster face down. You move. All right. Draw. I have to rely on this. I'll activate the spell card, Pot of Greed. Okay, draw your two cards. You better hope they help you. Because you don't have many options left, Duelist. I literally don't. <laughs> I know. Good. I set a card face down and end my turn. All right, I draw. I summon my white magical hat. When it inflicts damage to you, you have to discard a card from your hand. And now, that kills the Avenger from Pot of Green. I will flip my Sangin. I will use my. Hmm. Do I want to risk what that might be? Don't you know they say risk it for Master Merrick's biscuit. <laughs> I'm going to take the risk and attack with my Sangin. <laughs> Such a fool! You hit! It actually was Black Clan Fire Dragon. Oh. <laughs> Good! We're going to take everything from you then. White Magical Hat, attack for 1,000. I'll take 1,000. And you have to discard the card in your hand. Goodbye, Reaper of the Cards. Oh. And now, my Summon Skull, attack his life points directly! 2,500! Ding, 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 ding. That means I win this duel. Darn it. And in the process, I win your most valuable prize card. My blue eyes white dragon? No. Your mirror force is mine. All mine. It was a good game, Duelist. It actually really was. But I came prepared to win. God. Mostly Shadow due to Shadow Ghoul. Cool. Heck out of me! I, I gotta. Yo, did y'all know what Shadow Ghoul did? Because I should. <laughs> yeah. I should. Well, duelist, I have won this week, and that means I'll be taking your rarest card. Take it already. That's right, guys. I win, Alex Mirror Force card. This <laughs> duel. <laughs> and I get to keep my summon skull. Woo! Yeah, guys, this is my total and complete loss. Paul pulled better than me, and he won the game, so. I don't know if I pulled better. Man, you got a heavy storm, too. I guess that's true. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of The Rare Hunters. Next week, we're going to be opening Spell Ruler, which introduces a lot more strong cards. AKA my comeback story. Yeah, we'll see about that. So yeah, let us know what you think. As always, leave any suggestions in the comments. We did try to read as many as we could from the last episode so we That's can incorporate right. them going forward. It's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a time. It's time to do, 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 do. Welcome back to the Rare Hunters. The weekly series where we take classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, open them up, and we have to stake our rarest card on the outcome of a duel. This week, 
we're using magic ruler. You're supposed to raise it up on that. Oh. This week, we're using magic ruler. This set includes such powerful new cards as Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, Giant Chirunade, Painful Choice, and the recently unbanned Cyber Jar. And I'm gonna pull all those cards and beat up our good buddy Paul here. We'll see about that. But before we jump into the video, make sure you drop a like. Let us know how you're enjoying the series. We love reading your feedback every week. It's been really fun. And without further ado, let the hunt begin. Cool. Sweet. Let it rip. Speaking of rip, I'm about to rip open Magic Ruler. All right, where's the thing? Here we go. Here's my side. The rest are Paul's. Whiptail Crow, 1650 attack. Flying Kamakiri. Penguin Knight, great card. Whiptail Crow again. Mother Grizzly. Dark Zebra. Rush Recklessly. Come on, where's my hollow? Oh guys, you see that little bit? We got Delinquent Duo, ultra rare. This is gorgeous and banned, yeah. Paul, Paul's gonna hate this. Paul's gonna lose some cards out of his hand. Firecracken, UFO Turtle, Ancient One. What? <laughs> Got Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon. It's kind of fitting because I already have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So now I have the Toon, who is significantly worse. Ooh, I, I, I'm gonna wager this. I don't even care if I lose it. <laughs> All right, I'm already pretty happy with my pulls so far. Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Giant Trunade, let's go. Giant Trunade, Mirror Force, Mirror Force what? Ain't no Mirror Force around here, boys. Cyber Jar, recently unbanned. We might do some things with this. I won't say no to another hot hollow, but like, hamburger recipe. We got Toon World, man, we got Toon World. Not amazing for my deck right now, but maybe along the road. Summon that blue eyes too. I could, could summon the blue eyes too and drag it, you know? Shouldn't do it, but I might do it. All right, Paul, beat that. So it's time for me to open my packs of Magic Ruler. Got 12 of them things, so. All right, got a good angle. Dark Zebra, Shining Angel. I don't know exactly what I would like to pull in this set. Really anything will do. Upstart Goblin, this will be good for draw power. Horn of the Unicorn, you can use that. We have yet to see a foil card. Red Archery Girl, Malevolent Nuzzler, and Axe of Despair, ultra rare. So this thing increases a monster's attack by a thousand. That's gonna be really, really huge in these duels. Next pack, trying to be delicate with these things. Giant Rat, another Elemental Searcher. This... Giant Germ, one of my favorite cards as a kid. Oh wow, I just saw it. Stone Ogre Grotto, painful choice. This is actually one of the most busted, overpowered cards in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's still banned to this day, probably never changing. Might be a little hard to use in this duel though, but we'll see. Penguin Knight, Mystic Tomato, the Dark Searcher. Final pack, I'll follow Larry's advice and slap it for good luck. Final Destiny, and <gasps> super rare card, one of the better ones, Mahavelo. So all in all, I've got some pretty good, you know, foil cards in here. Definitely got a little equip strategy maybe going on, so this should be fun. I did not pull, you know, anything insane, like a secret rare, but that's okay. That's all the I'm starting out with a few familiar faces. Then I have new, fun cards that I'm working with too. I think my main advantage here will be in my effect monster lineup. Spell-wise, I think this card's gonna be huge. I wanna see it early game, that's why I have multiples of it. I think this card's gonna be crazy late game. And uh, this is my diet uh, heavy storm. Uh, and then uh, to replace my mirror force, I just have this card, which is uh, kind of like um, a worse, trap hole. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have my brick, because this is what I'm wagering, and we made the rule that if you're gonna wager it, you have to play it, so here he is. I don't even have 
uh, I don't even have Tomb Raider in here. But that way, I don't have to wager anything important. So I'm gonna show you my deck list while Alec isn't in the room, and I'll explain a couple of the choices and changes that I've made. Okay, so here's what we're working with. These are the cards that I took out, and these are the maybes. Just to quickly explain, my monster lineup has not changed in the high-end department those guys stayed. We also have a range of new effect monsters. This one's probably gonna be a strong new beater. This is pretty much the central part of my strategy, although it's actually hard to search. And we do have our floaters. Also, spells are looking pretty samey, although we, of course, have two really powerful new additions. I think Act of Despair is gonna be a big one. And these for consistency. And my trap lineup has actually been slimmed down slightly. So, with all that said, wish me good luck. I wager the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. I wager my Axe of Despair. Are you ready, Hunter? Oh, I'm ready. All we'll right, see about Hunter, that. shuffle up and play. And let's see who Master Merrick favors in this duel. I mean, he doesn't have a say in this. I mean, That's true. He's, who's, he's who the rare cards are going back home to. That's true. We don't need to keep these. High roll duelist. High roll! I rolled a Seven. nine. All right. I'll take the first move. You'll need it. All right. I will begin by setting one monster face down to my field, and then I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Mm. You know what they say, right? What do they say, Hunter? Fortune favors the bold. Our normal summon, my whiptail crow with 1650 attack. Oh, higher attack points this duel, I see. And I'll enter battle. Whiptail crow, attack his defenseless monster. It's defenseless. It's my Mystic Tomato. But even though it's destroyed, it activates its effect and lets me special summon a dark monster from my deck with 1500. A or special less summon? My Sangin in attack mode. And I will. Main phase two, set one card phase down, and I'll end my turn. Draw. Your Whiptail Crow might be powerful, but is it strong enough to deal with my dark zebra? That would be pretty good if I allowed it. Oh. Activate. Trap hole. I have a powerful new monster is sent to the graveyard. And my very old trap killed it. Well, you know what? I'll switch my very weak Sangin to defense mode. Yeah, I'm getting defense. And I'll pass my turn. Draw. Normal summon. Seven colored fish. Enter battle. With Tail Crow, attack his Sangin. Sangin is destroyed, but like I said, when it goes to the graveyard, I'll be able to add a monster with 1500 or less attack. And I think. It'll be worth it to get my Magician of Faith to my hand. And now seven colored fish, attack. I take 1800 damage, putting me at 62. I'm on the board. And with that, I'll end my turn. I draw, activate this. My Pot of Greed, it allows me to draw two cards for my deck. Oh. In case you weren't aware, that's what the effect is, Duelist. Seven colored fish is certainly powerful. Wood Tail Crow's are not too shabby either, but Will either of them stand a chance against this? I don't know, you have to play it. Listen, Duelist. <laughs> I'll summon my Blue Winged Crown and That's, a 1600 attack points. That is weaker than both my monsters. It is weaker than both of your monsters for now. What if I equip it with Sword of Deep Seated? All right, so that puts my Blue Winged Crown at 2100 attack points. Into the battle phase. Attack your seven colored fish. Goodbye, my fish. For 300 damage. I'll go to main phase two and set one card face down. You're moved. All right. Draw. Let's equip my Whiptail Crow with. Oh, I had a feeling. The Malevolent Nuzzler. How much attack does that give it? 700. Wow, no fair, Duelist. Clearly stronger than your puny sword. So 2350 to my 2100. Which I don't even know how a crown holds the sword, to be honest. It doesn't it's have It's like hands. holding it in his feet. It just seems, flying it seems awkward, to say the least. No need to judge, Duelist. Now set the monster face down and enter battle. With Tail Crow, attack its crown. So at 2350, my monster's destroyed, I take 250 damage. Now that my sword is deep-seated got into the graveyard, it gets placed on the top of my deck instead. Top of the deck it goes. Cards in hand? Five cards. Five cards? House three. House three? I activate Delinquent Duo! Oh no, I was fearing this card would I show pay up. I a thousand. Oh, Jesus Christ. And now, we'll randomly discard one card from your hand. All right, pick it, Duelist. This card. Which card is it? Sent. My Horn of the Unicorn. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good one to send. Yeah, it kind of is. And now, I you choose card. one card. 
Tossing me your car own cards is hard. My white magical hat. That was a hard decision I thought it would need to be, but all right, there I'll end my turn. Zero. I will. Set one card face down on the field and end my turn. You think I don't know what that card is? Hmm, what could it be? Draw. Could I saw that play time. coming a long time ago. Flip summon, man eater bug. Oh. I'll destroy your face down. My magician of faith. As I thought. That is not a good position for me to be in. I'll tribute my man eater bug and set a card. Hmm. A tribute set, a very uncommon play. For obvious reasons, I'm not putting two monsters in attack position against you. Afraid of something, duelist? Maybe. Whiptail Crow, attack! And I'll end my turn. No. I'll set one card face down. Your move. Draw for turn. Ow. Flip summon, Reaper of the cards! Now what does this one do? We have not seen him. My Reaper. I flip it, select a trap card in the field, and destroy it. And if it's face down, I get to look at it. And if it's a trap, I destroy it. Ooh, okay, which card would it be, duelist? I'm genuinely curious what this fresh card that you might have set. However, show me this card. This card was my Robin Goblin, and it's destroyed because it's Get out. Card. And now, I enter battle. Reaper, get reaping with the awkward 1380. One, three, eight, zero. Whiptail Crow, end this game. Not so fast. I activate this. No way. My Tailor of the Fickle. It selects an equipped card and switches it to another correct target, so I'll have your Malevolent Nuzzler go on Reaper of the Cards. What? That's right. Technically, I'm I'll just gonna, remove I'm, it, I'm but for visual sake, visual that's thing. why we're doing it. I know people are going to be like, I think I'm going to move the cards. Now you only take 1650. Yeah, more awkward life points galore. I'll end my turn. True. I'll activate a card you're all too familiar with, my Swords of Revealing Light. Oh. Three turns you can't attack a duelist. This isn't good. <laughs> your move. Draw for turn. Uh, I'll, I'll set a card face down. Uh, your swords are revealing things, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll activate my Upstart Goblin. I'll draw a new card. Oh, the card I drew is Pot of Greed. A card lets me draw two cards from my deck. Normal summon my dream clown. What the what? And now I will end my turn. What is this? This is your second turn on your sword of your Draw light. I just got that. I can't really try and like commit things to the board either. I just got a stupid clown. This is It's not a stupid clown, is it's even, a cool clown. Is that even your deck last tool? I think so, I just didn't get to use it. It's oh. for Metal Raiders. Yeah, look at that. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I drew another upstart goblin. So you're gonna gain another thousand life points Please if this roll. duel ever ends. So many cards. Let's see what else I can do. How about switching my dream clown to defense position, allowing me to destroy your reaper of the cards. That is fine. Reaper is destroyed, Malevolent Nuzzler goes to graveyard, and I'll activate its effect. I'll use some of those life points you gave me. You're Pay 500, 500, and I'll place my Malevolent Nuzzler on top of the deck. I normal summon my Maha Velo. Ooh. So, now we're going to equip my Maha Velo with a familiar card, Malevolent Nuzzler. And that's not all, Duelist. Let's equip it with another equip spell, my Sword of Deep Seated. Oh, wow. This gives it 500 attack and defense points. But thanks to its effect, it's going to be getting 1,000 in addition to that. Wow. So, it's at 25, 50, 30, 50, 37, 50. All right, Maha Velo. 3750 attack, his Whiptail Crow. You hit my Whiptail Crow, who only has 1650. Mm -hmm. I still can't attack. That's true. Draw for turn. I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. All right, Swords of Revealing Light is now destroyed. I draw. Tribute my Dream Clown. Oh, what? For my Summon Skull. And now let's enter the battle phase. Bring it on. Summon Skull is going to attack this monster. You really attack that monster? Oh, I attacked that monster. This monster. That monster. You don't want to switch that. I don't want to switch. You hit my Cyber Jar. Oh boy. My Cyber Jar is going to destroy all the monsters on the field. My Maha <laughs> Yeah, I lost some cards, but I think you lost some better ones. And then we're going to pick up five cards from the top of our decks. We are going to summon all level four or lower monsters 
in face up attack or face down defense position, and the rest get added to our hands. Oh my gosh, this, this is, is chaos. This is huge. This is chaos. This switches up the game for real. This is face down. These are face up, these are face up, this and is face press, down. go to my hand. Okay, and my shadow pool goes to my hand. Okay, well it is still the battle phase. It is definitely still the battle phase. My seven colored fish attack your fire kraken for 200. All right. And guardian of the throne room will attack skull redbird. And I'm gonna have to go to main phase two with nothing else and end my turn. All right, draw! You played a good game. Did I? But this game is over now. I flip summon. Spirit of the Harp. I don't know how that's gonna beat me, Duelist. When I play this next card, which if they paid attention, they know what happens next. I activate Shield and Sword. Oh no. Yep, we're gonna swap the original attacks and defense of all the monsters on the field. Oh, that's brutal. That's right. So my Spirit of the Harp is 2,000 attack, and, and my your seven, seven colored, colored fish is only 800. 800. We're gonna go straight to battle. You're taking the easy way, I see. That's right. Spirit of Harp, attack seven colored fish. Karibo, no. Seven colored fish is destroyed and I lose this duel, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was well fought. I had some really good plays in mind there, but unfortunately they didn't all come to fruition. I can't lose when I have Cyberjar. <sighs> <laughs> so, I am the victor with my blue eyes tune dragon. You guys saw it, I did play it. And you win my Axe of Despair this Ooh. episode. I even brought a sleeve for it. Well, that's okay, because the hunt continues next week with Pharaoh's Servant. We already got it here in the studio. I wonder which card I'm gonna win next. Drop a like if you're excited for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode of The Rare Hunters. Drop a like if you did. Let us know down in the comments, uh, what were your favorite plays? And what were your favorite cards? And any uh, all other feedback for the series, we would love to hear. We've been reading it and we've got something pretty interesting in mind coming up. Oh yeah. See you guys in the next one. Pass turn. Welcome back to The Rare Hunters. The weekly segment where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs in search of rare cards that we will then stake against each other in a duel. And this week, we're hunting through Pharaoh's Servant. The fourth set release in the TCG that introduced such powerful cards as Call of the Haunted, Premature Burial, Imperial Order, and Jinzo. The yeah. namesake of this channel, by the way. It'll be my Jinzo. And yes, guys, we heard you from our last video. From now on, we will only bet impactful cards. So I will not get away with what I did last week anymore. Drop a like in the video, leave a comment with who you think is gonna win and what your rarest card would be. And we're gonna hop right into the duels. Let the hunt begin. All right, guys, I'm about to pop open this Pharaoh Servant. You know I've opened pretty well so far in the series. I always pull from the left side of the box. But I'm gonna keep with that and keep pulling from the left. All right, first pack. All right, we have, ooh, 1800 attack Harpy's brother, twin-headed fire dragon, Hayabusa Knight. All right, all right, I'm happy to see the Harpy's brother. Fairy Meteor Crush. Feels, oh wow, these cards really feel different from modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, pack number three, we have Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, huge card, and it's common. We have Twin-Headed Fire Dragon, the Shallow Grave. This could be good, because each of each player takes one monster from their graveyard and special summons it. Come on, let's see an Ultra. Oh, I know what that is. Nobleman of Crossout. This is a huge super rare card. So, you know I play Manator Bug, so uh, this would suck if Paul played against me. I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. Four Star Lady Bug of Doom, a big card. I do love my flip effects. Gravity Bind, a disgusting card. Burning Land, ooh, what? Ultra Rare Call of the Haunted. Guys, we didn't pull Monster Reborn. This is the only monster recovery card we have. You know, the only good one. We have Ground Collapse. Select two monster zones and they, can, they can't be used. Very mean. Last pack, 
It, I'm actually pretty, I feel pretty good about my pulls, so, uh, ground collapse. Dimension hole, remove one monster from on your side of field from play into your next standby phase. This card still counts towards the five card monster zone limit. What? So I don't know anything about that dimension card, but uh, I like these. I like these a lot, which means I really need to win so I don't lose my card on it. Okay, so before I show my pack, I dug out this Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector magazine. So you guys might not know, but these were actually unofficial Yu-Gi-Oh! magazines published in the early 2000s. Each one corresponded with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! set. And in this one, they're talking about the release of Pharaoh's Servant. And so, a couple of funny things I just wanted to show real quick. They had a hot list of all the cool cards at the time. There's also a game selling toll-free number you can use to buy Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. The Power of Pharaoh's Servant. So it shows you some cool combinations. And last but not least, this shows all the cards in the set, like Jinzo that I'm hoping to pull, in addition to just sort of everything. So with that out of the way, it's time to open my 12 packs of Pharaoh's Servant. Pack number one, Mr. Volcano, the science soldier, Harpy's brother, Morphing Jar number two. Interesting, this is the evil brother of Cyber Jar, or this is part of the Jar series. So it returns all monsters in the field to their respective decks and shuffles them. Then we pick up cards until we both have the same number of monsters, level four or lower, that return to the deck and summon them all in face on defense position. Very crazy table turning card. Pack number two. This print control was all over the place. Light of intervention. Mr. Volcano, maybe it was a sign because I got a super rare parasite? Parasite. We will use this against Joey in Battle City. A cool super rare card. Twin-headed fire dragon magic drain. This is really useful. It can actually stop an opponent's magic card unless they're willing to discard one from their hand to negate it. Presumably upwards. Time Seal, this card recently got unbanned. It makes your opponent skip their next draw phase. Prohibition, so I declare the name of a card and as long as this remains on the field, the declared card cannot be played. Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, very powerful. More, they're a servant. Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Mirror Wall. Very useful trap card. I remember that Mai uses this card against Yugi in the anime to very great effect. Hopefully I can do the same. Next pack, DNA Surgery, Michizuri. This is one of the very powerful early removal traps in Yu-Gi-Oh, so this should come in handy. All right, just a few more packs to go. Burning Land, Nobleman of Extermination. It's the spell trap version of Nobleman of Crossout. That could come in handy. Insect Imitation, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Really powerful ultra rare card, although one that I don't think I'll be able to use because I don't have a copy of Relinquished. A very nice pull, though um, not exactly one that I would prefer to have, at least not for my deck. And Pharaoh's Servant, the final pack. We'll slap it for good luck, as Larry would do. Hopefully this is a slightly better approach. You know, my secret red Jinzo that's in here, I don't want to damage him. Attack and receive, a world suppression, burning land, dark fire, so- Editor, don't cut a thing. Don't cut a thing, they have to know. They have to know that I did not do anything. I called it. I it's a sign. Jinzo, the monster that this set is known for. Secret rare in the last pack. Longtime viewers of the channel will know that this is actually the namesake of this channel. Fun fact. Well, I know what I am betting on this duel and I cannot afford to lose. All right guys, so for today's episode, I decided to leverage the strengths of my deck. You guys already know one of my big, my biggest strengths is effect monsters, especially flip effect monsters, adding this card to the mix, even more destruction potential. I'm leaving Mask of Darkness in because I run some of the best traps that we have access to in the form of these trap holes and call it the Haunted. I got my hands on Molten Destruction one week, so I'm gonna be using all these Dark Fire Soldiers and Fire Krakens and boosting them up by 500 attack. And of course, I can't forget the great cards that got us here. These are just powerful cards. As far as what I've pulled so far, I see no reason to stop using these. Let's see Paul beat that, and I'll be taking his Jinzo home. Okay, so here's what I've basically got going right now for my deck. I have not finished it yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a few of the cards that I'm considering. But I've gotten some really strong spells. I think that some of these could be useful. Uh, as you guys can see, the sh average level of normal monsters is a little bit higher here. Got 16, 17, and... 
1800 with Harpy's brother. A few effect monsters that I'm just sort of eyeing. He's got piercing. This can destroy level fours. This is just a wild card. Everybody loves the jars. I wish I'd pulled a third copy of Bubonic Vermin so I could actually like, use its effect multiple times, but this could still be worth it. I flip it and I summon another one face down, so that could be tribute fodder for the beautiful boss ace monster. Mr. Android Psycho Shocker himself. The thing with this set is that really like the spells and traps are kind of the highlight. This is a good negation tool. This can actually really eat away at his card advantage, which I'm hoping will be good. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, that's all I've really got for now, but we- I wager Call of the Haunted. I'll wager this, my Jinzo. So, are you ready for this week's dual rare hunter? I'm ready to take my new card. We'll see, my rarest card can negate yours in case you hadn't noticed, so. Well, I think it's a little bit easier to use mine than it is to use yours. We'll see about that. All right, let's roll. I rolled an eight. Right above average, seven. You got a seven. Right on average. All right, I'll be taking the first move, Hunter. Let's go. Draw. All right, I'm gonna start by summoning a monster I just pulled, my Harpy's brother. So you summon Sky Scout. Basically. <laughs> I'll set one card face down and pass my turn. Draw for turn. Hmm. Speaking of drawing, I'll activate the Pot of Greed. Oh, okay. What does that do? I'll draw two cards. Set a card face down, and set one more face down. And I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll do you one better. I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Do you know what this does? Yeah, yes, I just used it. This is a spell card that lets me draw two cards from my deck. Continue my assault by normal summoning Dark Zebra. Oh, Dark Zebra. Dark Zebra, attack his face down monster. You hit, spare the harp. Oh, always there, always there. I take 200 points of damage. That's right. That's gonna end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll activate Fisher. I'll destroy your harpy's brother. Oh no. I mean Sky Scout. Yeah, that harpy's brother is destroyed. I'll end my turn. Defending, prolong your defeat, I see. And what if I draw a card and it's the card I need? I will activate my Upstart Goblin. Even though I'll give you a thousand life points, it's a small price to pay to draw one more card from my deck. Draw. How about an old friend that might be familiar to you? My Mahavelo, my Malevolent Nuzzler. I'll equip it to Mahavelo. It gives it 500 more attack points. But thanks to Mojave's effect, it'll also gain another 500, so now it's at 2550. I don't like that. You shouldn't. Mojave, attack, Spirit of the Heart. All right. It does no damage to you, but my Dark Zebra can now attack you directly for I'll 1800. And that's gonna end my turn. Draw. I set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. A difficult decision duelist? What if I draw one card? What do you mean, what if? You have to. What if I don't? I'm gonna enter the battle phase, duelist. My Maha Vela is going to attack your set monster. I couldn't even stop to smile. Because! Uh -oh. What did I attack, duelist? My four starred ladybug. Oh, snap. Destroy all level four monsters on your field. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Maha Velo and Dark Zebra are both destroyed. You lucked out, Duelist. You got to destroy my two cards for free, but it's okay. It costs a card. That's true. <laughs> In my main phase two, I'll set a card of my own face down. Oh. I'll end my turn. All right, let's draw for turn. I will activate my Nobleman of Crossout. Ah, oh, it's the one card I didn't want to see. What is it? You attacked my Bubonic Vermin. It's a flip monster that would have summoned another Bubonic Vermin when it left the field. Unfortunately, it's banished. And now we both must remove all copies of the vermin from our decks. I even had a second one. Hey, I thinned your deck. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Hey, I'm one step closer to drawing my Jinzo. Next, I will normal summon Darkfire Soldier number two. Deal 1700, my soldier. This could be fun. I don't know. I'll pay a thousand life points and activate the Delinquent Duo. Ooh, not kind. Which is it gonna be, Duelist? This one. This card is my Horn of the Unicorn. And now you discard one card from your hand. I'll discard my Curse of Fiend. All right, your turn. My turn indeed, I draw. Set one card face down and pass my turn. All right, draw for turn. Well, might as well keep up the aggression. Mom ain't raised no coward. No more summon Dark Zebra. Fine by me. Enter battle. 
Darkfire Soldier, attack for 1700. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, and then my Dark Zebra attacks for 1800. 18 it is. And I'll end my turn. Draw. Activate the Swords of Revealing Light. <sighs> it's your move. All right. Draw. See, that's the most consistent card in your This is the only ever. card that shows up every duel. <laughs> it's every time. I think it's been in every episode. Golly, all right. I will set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Now I draw one card. Pass my turn. All right. Draw. I'll set another monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal summon. My dark fire soldier, number two. I'll set one card face down. I'll attack your set monster. You hit the man-eater bug. Ooh, I'm Bug, destroy it. There goes my dark fire soldier number two. All right, your move. Draw. I set a card face down, I'll end my turn. That's all for Swords of Revealing Light. Let's see if the time I got was worth it. I'll normal summon Girochin Kuagata into the battle phase. All right. I attack this monster. You hit Maneater Bug. Oh. Maneater Bug, destroy it. Goodbye, Girochin Kuagata. All right, then. It's your move, duelist. Draw for turn. Yep. 2,600 life points? I have 2,600. Well, this is enough to get the kill, then. Darkfire Soldier attack for 1,700. You've activated my trap card. Mirror Force! I thought so. I, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Normal summon my Dark Zebra. I'll activate from my hand the Shallow Grave. I'll special summon the Maneater Bug. Oh, very rude. I'll summon Harpy's brother in defense. And I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Flip my Harpy's brother. I'll attack your set monster. You hit Darkfire Soldier number two. Oh, good, he's destroyed. And next, I'll set a monster face down. I'll activate my trap card, Time Seal. How's that fair? It, it isn't, it's been banned for many years. So that's it, you just skip your next draw phase. Your move. No, you can't, yeah, oh. no draw. You Earlier this duel, you told me that if we didn't draw, the game ends. Well, what's it like not getting to draw? Fine. I'll flip summon the man-eater bug. Well, very rude of you. And I'll use this effect to destroy your face down card. You destroyed my Sangin duel. Ah! Oh! Sangin has an effect. When it was sent from the field of the grave, I get a monster with 1,500 or less attack. From my deck to my hand. Not bad. I'll be getting my Magician of Faith to my hand. Get a spell back. I will tribute both my monsters for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh man, I thought I was preventing you from drawing something good. Enter battle, Blue what? Eyes, attack! You thought you caught me in your little trap, but I caught you in mine. I activate Mirror Wall. Huh? That's right, during damage calculation, it will have the attack of your monster. And that means your blue eyes white dragon only has 1,500. Oh no! So, say goodbye. Ah! My blue eyes. And you take 300 damage. I am my turn. I draw. I will let my mirror wall go to the graveyard. So you're going to your main phase? I'm going to my main phase. Activate my trap card! Call of the Haunted! Oh, oh, okay. I will special summon from my grave the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'll switch Harpy's brother to defense position. And set one monster face down. I end my turn. Can I draw now? Yes, you can draw. You finally get a draw phase duelist. All right. Draw for turn. Blue Eyes White Dragon attack Harpy's brother. Harpy's brother is destroyed. I'll end my turn. I draw. Activate my upstart goblin. I'll give you 1,000 life points. Don't you wish you could get some 1,000 life points? To draw one card, I will. Set one card face down and pass my turn. Draw. I will normal summon fire kraken. OK. And I'll enter battle. Blue eyes, attack this face down. It's my Magician of Faith. She will return a card from my graveyard to my hand. 
I'll get Swords of Revealing Light. Ah! And I'll add it to my hand. Well, get that off the field. And now, Fire Kraken, attack the other one. You attack my seven colored fish. Main phase two, I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Extermination. Your face down card will be removed from play, and if it's a trap, we'll have to remove all copies in our decks. Not bad. But you hit my Taylor of the Fickle. Oh, okay. I'll use Swords of Revealing Light. <sighs> and set one card face down, and pass turn to you, Duelist. Fine. Draw! Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw! Girojin Kuwagata. Put that on there. And I'll enter the battle phase, and attack your Fire Kraken. I'll take 100 damage. Okay, your move. Draw for turn. I just set a card face down and end my turn. I activate my Pot of Greed. Oh, man. Draw two cards from my deck. Tribute. Girochin Kuwagata. To summon Jinzo. Uh, no way. That's right, and Jinzo negates the effects of all trap cards. Now, thankfully for you, called on to is still all, it just the monster will just stay and it just <clears throat> kind of just hangs around, I believe. I'll activate this malevolent nuzzler and I'll equip it to my Jinzo to give it 700 more attack points, uh, putting it at 3100. Jinzo, attack his blue eyes white dragon. My blue eyes. You'll take 100 damage. I'll set a card face down, and it's your move. Draw. I'll set a card face down. And I'll end my turn. All right, my swords are revealing light goes, and I draw. All right, Jinzo, let's attack this monster. Mm. You know you just messed up, right? I probably did. You attacked my spear, Cretan. Ooh. That's right. We're both going to special summon a monster from our graveyards in face down attack or face up, or face down defense or face up attack position. That's fine by me. I'd love to just bring this back. I really would. But you probably have something much more dangerous in store, don't you? A bug! Oh, how very kind of you. I'll be getting my Magician of Faith. I will set another card face down and pass turn to you, Duelist. All right, let's draw. Flip Summon Mater Bug and destroy his Jinzo. He's destroyed and my Malevolent Nuzzler as well. I'm going to pay 500 life points and put Malevolent Nuzzler on top of my deck. Interesting. I will normal summon my Fire Kraken. Enter battle. Battle entered. I'll have my Fire Kraken attack this face down. You attacked my four star Ladybug of Doom. All oh. the four star monsters in your side will be destroyed. Goodbye, Kraken. I got life points. Swing! She only has 400, which is just Ooh. underneath. <laughs> Magician of Faith, though, will get a card from my graveyard. Let's grab the Pot of Greed. Oh, not, okay, you're not toxic. I'll end my turn. Draw. You already know what's next. I activate my Pot of Greed. You know what this does? Draw two cards from my deck. Set one monster face down. All that for a set? And I'll pass my turn. Draw for turn. There's no way my man bug can swing on that monster. That's this possible. Is, there's just no way. I will switch my bug to defensive mode. And I'll end my turn. I draw. All right, let's see. It's been a fun duel, duelist. There's no it's way. It's not actually about to end. I'm about it's to say. about to get a little bit crazier as I flip my morphing jar. Whoa. Number two. All right. So basically we're so excavating. You get one, I get two. Yes. And these get sent to the deck. And these get shuffled into the deck first. Okay. So this could even be the card that I get. Well, I can always get my man or bug back. I have no issue with that. Yeah, there's no telling. One, painful choice. Harpy's brother. Okay, so I've gotten my one, so no more for me. Oh, I, I can keep going? Yeah, you're gonna go until you get two. Oh, oh, he's going till you hit two. All right, there we go. Normal summon my Dark Fire Soldier, number one. I activate the Trap Hole. Ooh, not kind of you, Duelist. Ooh, just not destroy kind. your little soldier. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll activate my Giant True Nade. Oh, that returns all the spells and traps from the field of the hand. And that's no? right. Well, I'll activate this. My magic drain. What? It'll negate your card unless you're willing to discard a magic card. Uh, I don't even have one. If you don't, then your giant trunade is negated. 
want to bounce the call back to my I head. know. None of that, Duelist. None of that. <laughs> All right, then. The other idea. Flip summon. Enter battle. Battle enter. Dark fire soldier number one. Attack. All right. I will. Hmm. Activate my trap card, Earthshaker. I select two attributes. You select one of the two attributes and destroy all face-up monsters in the field with that attribute. Fire and water are my choices. Oh, wow. This feels like Gozen. A little bit. A uh, much worse. <laughs> fire. Okay. So all fires are destroyed. Seven colored fish attack the face down. You destroyed my harpy's brother. I'll set one card face down. I'll end my turn. Draw. Normal summon my Jirai Gumo. Whoa. I can attack, but I have to call a coin, and if I call it wrong, then well, you know what happens next. Well, you're not paying that much. I'm not. We're just gonna attack your seven colored fish. All right, let's flip a let's coin. Flip the coin. Heads. Heads, All yes. Right. He is destroyed. I'll take 400 damage. I'll take 400. I'm slowly whittling away. Set one card face down. Your move. Draw for turn. How many cards you got left in your deck? I have seven, six. I'm about to get really close then. Activate the Cyber Jar. Ooh, I had a feeling that might show up. He's Five cards. Destroyed. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is nuts. This is going to be interesting. Oh, this puts you in a really bad spot. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to lose this way. <laughs> Well, I will obviously be setting my man eater bug and mask of darkness. Make dark zebra, dark fire soldier, and working jar number two. And the rest of our cards go to our hands. Ooh. I activate pot of greed. Let's draw two cards in case you didn't know. Normal summon harpy's brother. Okay. Harpy's brother, attack it. God. <laughs> All right, it's Morphing Jar number two. So that means that we're going to return all our cards to the deck and do the do. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, no. Okay, it came at the end. Oh, yours came first. That is an interesting card. It's something. <laughs> Set one trap or spell face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I should be able to shovel my grave into my deck. There's what a card this? for that. Not we don't have it, but. Well, since I can't actually do any damage, I guess I just lose. So. But yeah, because I'll yeah, draw for my turn, to, and yeah. that's that. <sighs> I win. Looks like, unfortunately, you're the proud owner of a Pharaoh Servant Jinzo. <laughs> man, Paul, we're really, we're gonna have to come up with some rules to help you out, man. I might need you just it. can't beat me. I'm, I'm that good. good. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the duel. It was a lot of fun. It really came down to the wire. I did not expect it to go. That was crazy. <laughs> quite as uh, close as it did, but Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let us know, of course, any feedback that you guys have in the comments, things that we can change. Mm -hmm. A couple of things that we're currently considering is adding in maybe a reprint set like Dark Beginnings or Dark Revelations. I still think we should use the starter decks. In order to uh, get some more cards into our card pool. And uh, one other thing, buying these boxes is kind of expensive. So if you do enjoy the content, you can use YouTube's new Super Thanks feature. It's down in the- uh, Yeah, it's like a video. thanks, but super. All right. It's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn. Welcome back to The Rare Hunters. This week is episode five where we're going to be opening Labyrinth of Nightmare. If you guys forgot, this is the series where we will be opening up one box of a legendary you have set, split the packs, make decks, and then we will wager our rarest cards. This time, some of the best cards that we can pull are... Torrential Tribute. Dark Necrofear. Magic Cylinder. And Card of Safe Return. 
So without further ado, we're about to hop in, rip this open, see what cards we get. And if you guys like this, make sure to drop a like. Let us know what you'd stake as your rarest card. And don't forget to super thanks if you like it. All right, let's do it. Once again, guys, we have the relevant Beckett magazine. And in this Beckett, there's all kinds of wonderful things. But most notably, Labyrinth of Nightmare has arrived. And here are just some relevant cards from the set. The Masked Soldier, United We Stand, Jar of Greed, Gilosaurus, and whatever this is. I'm sure to use what I learned in this Beckett magazine to defeat Paul. Okay, so it's me opening first. Let's see what we get. Uh, I've been opening the right side, so I guess I'll keep doing that. All right, 12 packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare. We're doing these separately this time so that neither of us can see the cards the other's pulled. Pack number one. Spirit Message A, one of the Bakura Spirit Message cards. Offerings to the Doom, this card's actually sometimes used a little bit today, so that'll be cool. Fairy Guardian, and my first super rare card, Revival Jam, now I really do feel like a rare hunter. Skull Lair, Hysteric Fairy, and Headless Knight. We got another Offerings to the Doom, Milk of the Four-Faced Beast. Nuvia the Wicked, and Ikebiao Drakmord. This is actually a really fun equip card that can get rid of monsters slowly over time. Bait Doll forces the activation of a face down trap card. If it's incorrect, it negates and destroys it. If it's not a trap, though, then it returns to its original position. Infinite Cards, another card used by strings to power up Slifer infinitely. Only seen one super rare so far. Hopefully, we still have a little bit of luck left in the tank. Dark Spirit of the Silent. A super rare card. It can only be activated during my opponent's battle phase. Negate the attack of one monster and select another of my opponent's monsters and have it attack. Two super rares so far. Still not what I would consider a rare card. Gilosaurus, a card that is actually... Uh, this is actually used like vaguely today. It special summons itself, but it does let your opponent get a card from their grave. Return of the Doom. Discard a monster. Return one of my monsters that was sent to the graveyard by battle to my hand at the end of the turn. Could be helpful. Only a couple packs left. Serious Lady, Tornado Wall, and Ultra Rare Card. Uh, not exactly the best one to have, though, but I did get a Destiny Board, so at the end of each of my opponent's turns, I can place a Spirit Message um, from my hand or deck face up on the field. And if I can get all of them, then that means that I win, but I don't think I have all the Spirit Messages, so I don't know if I'll be able to use that. Really cool, though, a Bakura card. All right, final pack. Maybe a Secret Rare. I've not had great luck today. Tornado Bird. All right, cool. All in all, not the best pulls, but these are certainly interesting, and I suppose this could be considered a rare card, although I don't think it's what I would wager in a duel since the other guy wouldn't be able to use it. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, glad to see Paul left me the left side of his box. Grave Robber's Retribution. <gasps> oh, secret rare Gemini Elf. 1900 base attack. Not like, not a crazy powerful card, but I mean, I could slap this down and it's it's automatically the strongest thing, strongest level four on the board. Sick. <sighs> that feels good, guys. All right, we got it up. I opened it up backwards. All right, here we go. Dream Sprite. Ultra rare United We Stand. Yo, that's in two packs. Two hollows back to back. Very impactful. All right, let's go. Mask of Brutality. I love these Mask of Equip spells. Skull Lair. Bait Doll, a great spell and trap removal card. And Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, a very solid 1800 attack monster that can remove from play up to two cards from your opponent's graveyard. And Epicure Drakmord. Spirit of Flames, Lightning Blade. Destruction Punch. I kind of love this artwork. Mask of Dispel. Super rare. Nice. Last pack, last pack, last pack. Spirit Message I. Blind Destruction, Scroll of Bewitchment, The Rock Spirit, Flame Dancer. I don't know what Paul pulled, but uh, I think I think I won this hunt so far. So since I didn't end up pulling any card that I can actually wager in this duel. I took some pity on him. Yeah, we decided to make a slight change and Alec was so kind as to lend me 
his United We Stand so I can wager in this duel. And you know, I'm gonna win it back anyway, so I really am just lending it. Okay guys, so here's the deck I'm working with today. You guys might notice that these are more or less the same vanilla monsters, and these are mostly the same effect monsters. However, I have added a few new interesting ones. This one mostly because of its strength, and also this guy as well. Uh, same spells and traps for the most part. Well, same spells. Here are the new ones. This can be a really great form of removal. This can be a great form of removal. And this is two interesting new equip spells that should be fun. This can sort of get rid of a monster and debilitate it for a bit. And, uh, well, you know, my rare card, United We Stand. Trap cards, they're all pretty much the same except for these last two. So I thought these might be some fun ones to play around with. This can actually destroy cards in the field and this can change a monster's attack and defense. Have a look at my weapon for this hunt. Notable changes are uh, my beat stick lineup. I went heavier on the fire monsters. Uh, I'm happy to be able to keep the call of the haunt, my trap lineup. The core of the deck, my flip effect lineup. That just didn't change, not gonna change it. Uh, quip spells, they stayed the same, except I upgraded my uh, Paralyzing Potion. You saw how I won last time, I wanna win much faster. I don't wanna leave it up to chance or... Uh... I'll wager the Gemini Elf. I'll wager this, United We Stand. All right, Rare Hunter, are you ready to duel? Yes, I am. I'm ready to take your rare card. All right, well, high roll to see who goes first then. And after this roll, I'll take your United We Stand. You got what is 12. it? I can't see. Oh, yeah! I got a 10. Wow, interesting. Oh, yeah. Hoodie, hoodie Alec gets good rolls. All right, so you're going first? Yes. Okay, I can't do this. I, okay. I, I, I couldn't see. Five cards in the hand, and I'll be starting our duel. All right, bring it on, Rare Hunter. I'll start with Upstart Goblin. That's a great start to I'll the I'll give duel. you a thousand life points, and I get to draw a card. I'll normal summon Firecracken. I'll set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. Your puny Firecracken won't stand up to the threats of my deck. That's I a draw. Kraken. I'm gonna start this duel by activating a spell card. You know what it does? It's Pot of Greed. This card is a spell card that allows me to draw two cards from my deck. I'm sick of you. <laughs> Sorry, I have to normal summon my new monster, Zombria the Dog. Ooh, it can't that's Zombira. Zomb Zomb Zombria. I'm sorry, y'all, he okay, can't listen. read. It can't attack you directly, but it does have 2100 attack, and each time it destroys a monster in battle, it'll lose 200 attack points. 2100 attack, huh? 2100 attack points. You know what's cool about that? Trap hole! What? Set one card face down, duelist. Your move. And I draw. So you played Pot of Greed, right? I did. It's only fair I take some cards back from you. Oh, duelist. I activate Delinquent Duo. Let's get rid of that one. You hit my gnome of extermination. And now you can choose. Hmm. I'll discard my upstart goblin. And now, I'll equip my puny firecracken with the malevolent nuzzler. Now, firecracken, attack him directly. And I'll end my turn. Draw. Set a monster face down. I'll set two cards face down as well. Your move, duelist. Draw. Somebody's on the back foot. For now. I will move straight to battle. Firecracken, attack his face down. You attack my Magician of Faith. Back from my graveyard, let's have my Pot of Greed. Come on, guys. I need Come. to draw a few more cards, eh? Well, get that off my field. And the Magician of Faith is destroyed. I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. I'm gonna activate a spell card. Can you guess what it does? It's the one that lets me draw too, right? It's not. Set one card face down and pass my turn to you. Question, do you intend to like win this duel or are we gonna keep just... Patience, duelist. Patience. Draw. My master plan is all coming together. We'll see. But while you plot and think, I'll just move straight to battle phase and attack your face down. You attack my Sangin. It'll be destroyed and I'll be able to search my deck for a monster with 1,500 or less. <clears throat> attack my four-star Ladybug of Doom. Hmm. I'll go to main phase two and I'll activate my Pot of Greed. But alas, I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I will set a monster face down. All right, your move, duelist. Draw for turn. Now, 
You probably expect me to think that's the four star ladybug of doom. It might be. So I'm not gonna worry about it and go straight to battle phase. Firecracking attack. It is in fact. Four star ladybug of doom. It'll okay. destroy your firecracking. I will activate the effect of my malevolent nuzzler when it goes to graveyard. I pay 500 life points to place it on top of my deck. Hmm. I'll normal summon seven colored fish. And I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll start by normal summoning my Maha Velo. So as you know, it gains 500 attack points for every equip card that it has. And lucky for me, I've got a malevolent nuzzler right here to equip to Maha Velo. Let's enter the battle phase and have Maha Velo attack seven colored fish. Goodbye, my fish. Let's activate this, my time seal trap card. Wow. You'll skip your next draw phase. What a jerk. Your move. All right, I'll not get to draw this turn. Oh my God, that is a powerful trap. I will banish or remove from play the fire kraken from my grave. Oh, banishing cards, are we? To special summon my spirit of flames. And I play Fisher. Oh, and Fisher I'll destroying destroy. my card, huh? Lowest attack on your side of the field. I won't use Malevolent Nuzzler's effect, but I will activate my Michizuri. <laughs> wow. So when a monster gets sent from the field of the grave, I can destroy a monster in the field. So say goodbye to Spirit of Flame. End my turn. Drew. All right, well, I'll just summon a new monster from Labyrinth of Nightmare, my Hysteric Fairy. I'll enter the battle phase and attack you for 1,800. You got to get some offense in, huh? I have to try. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Gemini Elf. Oh, a new face that I'll be winning from you in this duel. I equip them with the malevolent <laughs> Nuzzler. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. And I'll enter battle. Okay. Gemini Elf, attack his fairy. Hmm, I'm going to activate my trap card, Mirror Force. Oh my god. It destroys all your attack position monsters. Gemini Elf did not get to stay in the field very long this time. You gonna put Malevolent Nuzzler back on top? No. You should. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Hysteric Fairy is all I have to attack you with. Enter battle. Attack you for 1800. Gotta take it. I'll set one card face down and pass my turn to the list. Draw! I'll normal summon my Fire Kraken. And then I'll equip my Fire Kraken with Axe of Despair. Oh, the card you ripped from me in the. At a recent duel, not the last duel. That's right. Firecracking attack. So he is 2,600? Mm -hmm, gains 1,000. All right, so I'll be taking 800 damage. And I'll end my turn. How about your 2,600 Firecracking fall victim to a new equipped spell card? My Ikibayo Drachmore. Oh. A monster equipped with this card can't attack, and it destroys the equipped monster at the end of the second turn of its controller. I'll normal summon Darkfire Soldier number one and pass my turn. Draw for turn. Sure, why not? I activate Giant Trunade. Oh, very rude, duelist. I'll send our spells and traps back to our hands. Now, I can re-equip the Axe of Despair to my Fire Kraken. Ah, <sighs> depressing. At 2600, <laughs> now it can attack your Dark Fire Soldier unabated. Attack! I'll end my turn. Draw. Activate Ikibayo Drachmorn on your Fire Kraken. It's you know going what? to die eventually. I've gotten more work out this card than I expected. Then I will normal summon my Dark Zebra. I'll set one card face down and have to end my turn. Draw! First turn of Inky by a Drachmore again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Just set another card face down and pass turn. Draw for turn. I will flip summon the Maneater Bug. Ooh. Now target to destroy your Dark Zebra. Dark Zebra is destroyed. And now, I'll tribute Man Eater Bug and my Fire Kraken. Oh, to summon go. the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Rude card. Don't like that. Mm-hmm. Enter battle. Battle entered. Blue Eyes White Lightning. I'll activate a spell card. My offerings to the doom. It'll oh. destroy a face-up monster, but I'll have to skip my next draw phase. I end my turn. Ah, I can't touch my deck. I'll set one card face down. Your move, duelist. And I'll draw 
I set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw, finally. Normal summon the Harpy's brother. Mm. I'll enter the battle phase and attack. You hit. What did I hit? Mm. If it's Spear Cretin. Oh, okay, that's different than what I expected. So, we both check our graveyards, and then we can special summon a monster from our graveyard and either face up attack or face down defense position. Oh, man, I just destroyed blue eyes. It's no fun. All, All right. right. One, two, three. Magician of Faith. Blue eyes, white dragon. All right, face down. I will, unfortunately, have to end my turn. Good. Draw for turn. At least my Magician of Faith will be able to get me another valuable card next turn. That is pretty good. You thought, nobleman of crossouts. Oh wow, rude Targeting duelist. Targeting your face down. Rude duelist. Magician of Faith is banished. As you know, I don't have any more copies. But if he did, because of the flip effect, he'd have to banish all of them. Blue eyes, white dragon, white lightning attack. You thought. Oh my gosh. I'll activate my mirror wall. <sighs> your blue eyes, white dragon goes down to 1500. So it'll be destroyed and you'll take 300 damage. All right, then in main phase two, I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. Okay, so for the standby phase, I'm gonna take a chance and pay 2,000 life points. Yeah, cut that down. Yeah, you can to help keep me Mirror Wall on the field for one more turn at least. Enter battle. Harpy's brother, attack his face down monster. You hit the four star ladybug of doom. Oh, you're still running that too. Destroy all your level four monsters. Your move to list. Draw. I activate the Pot of Greed. Oh, okay, what does that do? I draw two cards from my deck. So I'll set one face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. All right, I'm letting Mirror Wall go. Oh, you should have paid again. I'll normal summon. Girochin Kuagata. Hmm. In a 1700 attack, I'll attack your face down monster. You hit. What I hit. Man Eater Bug. Oh, well goodbye Girochin Kuagata. Get off my field. Draw! This is awful. Set, now end my turn. Draw. He won't see a monster. I didn't see a monster, unfortunately. I'll set one. Here we go. Draw for turn. Normal summon, Dark Fire Soldier number two. All right, then I'll go straight to battle. Soldier attack for 1,700. I'll take 17. And I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll activate my upstart goblin. Draw. One card. I'll normal summon. My hysteric fairy to oh, the field. Oh, got these things. With 1,800 attack points, it's just strong enough to pass into the battle. And just strong enough to trigger my trap card. What do you have for me, duelist? Trap hole. Hmm. Fine, my hysteric fairy is not banished. Destroyed. Now who's looking death in the eye? Hmm, your move, duelist. Draw for turn. You know what? I don't need to play any more cards. Enter battle. Okay. Dark fire soldier number two, attack. I'll activate the offerings to the doom. How many of those did you get? A lot, apparently. <laughs> so this will destroy your monster, though I'll have to skip my next draw phase. Then I'll normal summon my harpy's brother. Okay, not pleasant, but okay. And I'll end my turn. All right, so I don't get a draw phase because I use other offerings to the doom. Back to you, duelist. Oh. Draw for turn. Enter battle. Harpy's brother, attack. I will use my trap card, Skull Lair. So I remove from play any number of cards in my graveyard, and I destroy a face-up monster whose level star is equal to the number of cards that I removed from play. What? Yes, this is a new trap card that I was like, huh, this can actually work. We're going to get rid of really anything works. Any cards, wow. Any cards from my graveyard. This is a continuous trap. Yeah, that's right, I can do it every turn. So I'll banish these four cards and destroy Harpy's brother. Yeah, it just pops. I didn't think that something like this existed in this set, but apparently it does. How am I gonna play through that? No idea, to be honest. I'll end my turn. I'll normal summon my Jirai Gumo. And then you have a Jirai Gumo? Come on, yes, Come and on guys. I will. Attack with Jirai Gumo for 22. Do the gotta do the thing. And blip. Call it. Heads. It's, it's heads. heads. 2200. Guys, I don't know I'm playing out of this. Draw. I'll set a monster face down and one spell I trap. And I'll end my turn. I draw. All right. I will 
into the battle phase and attack your monster with my Jirai Goomba. I have to flip a coin, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tails. Heads. Okay, my life points are halved. Oh, my gosh. You hit my Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. And he... he can't. I Good. Couldn't, I couldn't summon him attack mode or anything, so that's just that. I'll set one card face down. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll set a card face down and my turn. Yeah. Let's activate my Bait Doll. It'll force the activation of your face down card. Ooh, if it's a trap mean. card, then it'll be destroyed. That's only if it misses timing though, right? Yeah. Activate card on it. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, I loathe you. I get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's see, I can banish eight cards to destroy it. He though. sure can! I don't actually need Skull Lair to defeat you. You, you wanna know don't? why? Because I'm going to tribute my Jirai Gumo for something much more terrible. My old friend, Shadow Ghoul, in attack mode. And now I play my final card. United we stand. For every face up monster I control, it'll give my Shadow Ghoul 800 extra attack Why points. Why doesn't that card say for every other? So now he goes from 2700 to 3500 attack points. This ain't right. Which is perfectly enough to swing over the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'll enter the battle phase and attack your Blue Eyes. Wow. With 3500? I believe I'm losing to Shadow Ghoul again. It will be destroyed and deal 500 damage to you, Duelist. You only have 450. Yeah, you got that. Which means your monster is destroyed and you lose this duel. I'm so mad. If if I would have known, if I would have known what you had back there, if you do you known. know what I had in my hand that I couldn't use because it was too late? What did you have in your hand, Duelist? Jinzo. Oh, good. that You deserve it. All right, Duelist. That means I'm going to be taking your rarest card. I was robbed. I feel robbed. You took my Genzo. I want that My back. Genzo. All right, hand over your Gemini Elf. Duelist. You can have them. So that's going to conclude our duel, guys. I did manage to finally get a win and take the valuable, the rare, the Gemini Elf. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of The Rare Hunters. This was a hard-fought win because honestly, it wasn't looking very good for wow. your boys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it though. Next week, we do have a bit of a surprise in store for Cyber you. Charles, We've got um, a very different sort of product coming in that will change up the way that this works just a tad bit. Nothing if you want a, pr a hint on what it is, it makes my deck stronger. And mine. <laughs> I mean, I hope. They don't want to see your deck being stronger. Guys, if you enjoy this series and you want to see more of it, you know, no pressure, but YouTube has a new feature called Super Thanks. You can give us a super thanks and help us offset the sheer cost of these boxes. Yeah, all right, that's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass, Pass turn. turn. Welcome back to... The Rare Hunters. The weekly segment where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, build decks, and stake our rarest cards in the outcome of a duel. This week, we have Legacy of Darkness. That's right, the sixth main Yu-Gi-Oh set to be released with powerful chase cards such as Exile Force, Bottomless Trap Hole, Fiber Jar, Injection Fairy Lily, and Last Turn. But this time there's also a bit of a twist because Master Merrick has bestowed upon us a special pack to add to the duel. This is Dark Beginning number one. That's right, the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! reprint set, allowing us to get our hands on powerful staple cards that we might have missed from the previous packs. More man-eater bugs. We'll start with three packs in addition to our packs from Legacy of Darkness. That's right, so this time the hunt gets a little bit more interesting. Before we get started, leave a like if you love the series and comment, what would you wager from Legacy of Darkness? And without further ado, let the hunt continue. Uh. Before we get into the opening, check this out. This was the only Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! magazine that Alex and I owned when we were kids. This is the August-September issue from 2003. It shows off 
all the cars from the set and the most impactful ones just from that time period. It has very relevant ads for that time, Spy Kids 3D. But you know, also great cars like Opticops, Twin Headed Werewolf, Exiled Force, Marauding Captain. Yo, this set is fire. This is my favorite set of all time. And uh, yeah, let me get back to this so I can beat Paul and take all his cards. All right, guys. So uh, right before we get started, I have Victor behind the camera. So Paul doesn't get to know all my good pulls. Let's just get into it. Oh, man. So a lot of people think that um, Hino Kagasuchi and Yamada Dragon are the cover cards here. But this is actually the artwork for Last Turn. The very busted card that uh, if we see, will completely change the way these rare hunter. Oh, my God. I thought only the top was dead. Oh, oh. This pack is definitely, like, almost surely damaged, right? Well, guys, you know, I always pull from the left side, which seems to be the more crushed side, so, um, maybe, maybe, maybe it's fine. Let's do it. Let's find out. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so these cards feel slightly damaged, but hopefully it won't be a big deal. Let's go. Great Long Nose, our first spirit monster. Soul Demolition and Convulsion of Nature, a staple of all like eight way playground duels. I don't think I'll be using this. I hope this is, I got the damage pack out the way. I'm, I'm hoping the rest of these aren't, oh, this one feels strange, but all right. They are a little shapen, misshapen. The A Forces, Dragon's Gunfire. So guys, if you hadn't noticed, this set has a lot of dragons, fiends, and warrior support. Next pack. So no supers yet, but that's kind of good because I think they get less damage as we go along. Possessed Dark So Twin-Headed Behemoth. That's our super. This is the guy that when he gets sent to the graveyard, gets special summoned back, but with less attack and defense. Very good if you need to get a tribute summon off. All right, we got one super in the books. Can we see an Ultra, I wonder? After Genocide. Ooh. That's a heavy name. I'm getting low on packs and I only have one super to show for it. We have Spirit Ryu, Troop Dragon, Exiled Force. Now that's a solid super. Offer, offer face up this card. Ooh, that's weirdly worded. Offer face up this card on your side of the field as a tribute to destroy one monster on the field. If this card is used for a tribute summon or this card is offered as a tribute due to other card effects, this card's effect is not activated. Great card. All right, we have two supers. I still would like to see an ultra though. All right, we have Susa Soldier, a 2000 attack spirit monster, ready for intercepting. A very solid card. You can target a, a warrior or spellcaster monster on the field and flip it face down. We have Skull Knight number two, Warrior Die Greffer, a 1700 warrior, and the dragon dwelling in a cave. That's uh, Giant Soldier of Stone stats, I believe. This is the first monster to match that. We have Spirit Ryu, Opticlops, 1800 attack fiend monster. All right, I'm into my last two packs, y'all. Last two packs. Bring of Rebirth. <gasps> Hino. Kagu Suchi. Oh my god. Guys, guys, this is. I are, I see, I have a Yamada Dragon in my collection from this set. I never got my hands on a Hino Kagu Suchi. This is a 2800 attack, two tribute spirit monster. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent must discard all cards from his or her hand during the next draw phase before they draw. It's kind of big. It's a little bit weaker than a blue eyes white dragon, but if you get damaging with this card, your, your opponent has to just discard their hand. I, I love it. I love it. Oh my. I have to, I have to use it. Last pack. Skull Knight number two, Thunder Nyan Yan, a 1900 attack normal summon. All right, guys, so these are my good pulls here. It looks like I will probably be wagering my Hino Kagusuchi here, but uh, Exile Force is a great addition to my deck, one that probably won't be leaving anytime soon. Uh, there's definitely room for Paul to pull better than me, but I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. And now I get to open my three packs of Dark Beginning number one. I definitely think I can use some staple help here. My pulls were useful, but not like, not just immediately powering up my dex level. All right, pack number one. We have Amazon Archer, Fairy Meteor Crush. All right, all right, I had to get the I had to get the weak pack out the way, but you know the next pack's about to be fire. Deck formulas. 
most decks have about half monsters and about half spell and trap cards. Whether you have more spell cards or more trap cards is not important, as long as the spell and trap cards combined are about half your deck. Ooh, Gear Freed the Iron Knight, Right Arm of the Forbidden One, Hain Hain, Fairy Box, DNA Surgery. Last pack, come on. Toon Summon Skull, I won't be using that. <laughs> Fairy Box, DNA Surgery, Noble Man of Extermination, and Taylor of the Fickle. All right, not the hottest cards in the world, but I've got a Gear Freed and a Hain Hain, and you guys know how much I love the flip effects, so uh, I'm still pretty satisfied. Good luck, Paul. All right, so uh, 12 packs. Hopefully only the top few are damaged, but we'll see if that's true. Don't know what Alec pulled, but um, hopefully I can just pull better. All right, top card is in fact damaged, but nothing too awful. Stabbing Destruction, really good dragon card. Royal Oppression, whoa! Okay, so you guys might not know, this is actually one of the strongest trap cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's you pay 800 life points to negate a special summon or the effect of a card that special summons monsters. It's been banned for a very long time, and I actually don't think it would be all that useful in this format, per se, but um, it's banned for a reason, so I'm gonna say. Robo Lady, and my first super rare, Dark Balter, the Terrible. This is a fusion of Possessed Dark Soul and Frontier Wiseman. Pray to Master Merrick for some good pulls. Bark of Dark Ruler, Winged Minion. All right, next pack. It does suck that these are damaged, but I guess that's just what you get when you're buying old school packs. Lesser Fiend. As long as this monster's on the field, monsters destroyed by this card in battle are removed from play. Oh look, Possessed Dark Soul. The Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Another Fiend support card. We've only pulled one super rare. Will we get another? Fiend Skull Dragon, another fusion monster. Is my next super rare. It takes Cave Dragon and Lesser Fiend. Serpentine Princess, Bottomless Trap Hole. So this is going to be a huge addition to my deck. If my opponent normal flip or special summons a monster with 1500 or more attack, the monster is destroyed and removed from play. This is gonna help a lot. Ask him for a little help with my pulls. Maybe give me an ultra. Bark of Dark Ruler and a very interesting ultra rare card. Fiber Jaw. Flip, both players unite all their respective cards in the field, in their hands, in their graves, and put them all in the deck. And both players draw five cards. So I just have to say, in previous episodes, Alec has given me a lot of trouble with his Cyber Jar card, so how cool would it be to use a card like this and troll him back? I don't know how useful it'll be, it kind of just resets the whole duel, but that's sort of fun. Should I do it? All right, final pack of Legacy of Darkness. Give it a tap for good luck. See what we pull. Winged Minion, the warrior returning alive. It's like the warrior monster in your graveyard and return it to your hand. A fun fact is that Rhoda actually comes in this set, but we didn't pull it, at least not in mine, so. Either way though, these are my three cards that I pulled and I'm definitely going to be wagering my fiber jar. All right, now I'm gonna open three packs of Dark Beginning One. Let's see what we get. So something really fun about this set is that we actually get 13 cards per pack, or I believe it's 12 and like a hint card or a tip card. Whoa! The super is the first card. Another, okay. Super rare summon skull. I thought it would be in the middle, but uh, we'll take it. I actually already have a summon skull in my deck, but I guess I can't complain about two. Miri, the fallen one. A trap hole, this will be very helpful. Alex trap holes always destroy me, so it'd be nice to give him a taste of his own medicine. Painful choice is common in here? That's crazy. Sheesh. Off to a good start. And still two packs to go. Also, I guess, now that I know that Super Rare is the first car, that's a little... Okay. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Melkid the Four-Faced Beast. Another Time Seal? Is a common? Sheesh. That could be good. Another Mirror Wall. Have the attack of my opponents attacking monsters. You guys have seen that be... Pretty helpful in previous episodes. And the final pack of Dark Beginning. What dark cards will we get? Really? All right, Electric Snake. Light of Intervention. I saw some comments in the last video saying that I probably should have used this card because Alec uses so many flip effect monsters, so I might have to reconsider. And Infinite Gods. Not the best pack, but I have to say that I will most certainly take another Summon Skull. So. All in all, I have to say, I think this has been a better week than some previous ones, as you guys know, and I do finally have a card 
that I myself can stake as a rarest card. I know you guys got a little bit upset about last episode, but uh, we just decided to do that to keep it more fun. This time I've got my own though, and I'll use it. Wish me good luck. Hey guys, so this is my list for today's episode. I kept my Flip Monster core with one notable, notable addition. The biggest change is the dragon package that we're running in this deck. Since you already know who our boss monster is, I'm running lots of dragon support cards to hopefully gain a type, an advantage over Paul. And I even ran a card to, uh, you know, push odds in my favor. Uh, this card's here to kind of make everybody dragons and I can even make his monsters dragons. I think I had the better cards, so, you know, I'm just gonna win with the better cards. Hey guys, Paul here. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at my new and improved deck from Legacy of Darkness. I changed quite a lot of cards. I think you guys are gonna like it. So I actually took a lot of cards out from my old strategy and decided to instead commit to a new fiend strategy. The reason why I did it is because I actually have two summon skulls now, as well as another really powerful fiend tribute monster in Lesser Fiend, plus a few older cards and just new things, new tricks and treats that I added in. There are some really cool new fiend support spells as well, like the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, Bark of Dark Ruler. I did it to make some hard calls about which spells and traps to drop from the deck, but I'm really excited about this and just seeing how it goes. I'll wager Hino Kagusuchi. I'll wager this, my fiber jar. Are you ready, Hunter, to lose it all? Are you ready to give me my fiber jar? We'll see about that. I have changed my deck quite a bit, Hunter. What about you? <laughs> I'm an all new Hunter now. High roll. Eight. Eight. 11. 11, okay. I'll be taking the first move. All right, bring it on, Hunter. And draw for turn. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a card face down. Coward. And I'll set two more cards face down. Your move, Hunter. All right, draw for turn. I'll normal summon Harpy's brother. Harpy's brother, attack! You attacked an old friend of mine, my Mystic Tomato. When it's destroyed, I can summon a dark monster from my deck. My Skull Knight, number two. Oh, that's weak. It's very weak. It might appear that way, but we'll find out. Like, that's an impressive weak. It's truly weak. weak. It's an impressively weak card. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're playing. But I'll end my turn for now. All right, I draw, and I will tribute Skull Knight number two for this. My Lesser Fiend in attack mode. It's a level five Fiend monster, so it does require a tribute. As long as it remains face up on the field, any monster that it destroys in battle is removed from play. That's not all the Duelist. It's not? Because for the first time, there might actually be a combo in this series. My Skull Knight number two special effect. If I attribute summon a Fiend type monster by offering it as a tribute, I can summon another Skull Knight number two for my deck. Oh, combo! Yes, Duelist. That was early in the game. Yes, Duelist. I'll summon another Skull Knight number two for my deck in defense position. Interesting. Very interesting. And now, let's enter the battle phase. I'll have my Lesser Fiend attack your Harpy's brother. Yeah, I'll take it. That's 300 damage. And it's banished or removed from play. Oh. That ends my turn. Draw for turn. That will in fact be a difficult monster for me to deal with. It doesn't even re require a response. I'll pass my turn. Confident, are we, Hunter? I draw. Let's see how you handle this. I will switch my Skull Knight number two to attack position, and we'll take a bit of a risk. I'll attack your monster with Skull Knight number two. It has 1,000 attack points. 1,000 is enough to pass, but you destroyed my troop dragon. Hmm. Troop Dragon says when it's sent to the graveyard, I can take a Troop Dragon monster from my deck and special summon it to the field. Okay. Well, that's not a threat, thankfully, because my Lesser Fiend will be able to destroy and banish it. I'll special summon my Troop Dragon. Well, that's fine. Lesser Fiend will attack Troop Dragon as well. This time it'll be banished, preventing you from using its effect. You're cutting me off from my cards, huh? I am, and now I will end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Noble Man of Extermination. Ooh, brutal, okay. I'll destroy this face down card and remove it from play. And if it's a trap, we have to remove all copies of it from our decks. Interesting. You hit my trap hole duelist. Oh no. Which means that if we have more trap holes, 
They'll both be banished, and unfortunately, I do. I assume you do too, Hunter. Wow. Yeah, I only have this many copies. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow. Well, no more trap holes. Yeah, there's no <laughs> trap holes happening here. <laughs> I will normal summon Twin-Headed Behemoth, and now I'll activate Stamping Destruction. What does that do? If I control a dragon type monster, I can destroy a, a magic or trap card on the field and inflict 500 damage. I choose that one. Oh, you destroyed my Michizuri. Oh! So I also take 500 damage. That's a oh, good one. Jesus Christ. That's a good one. That does hurt. But alas, my twin headed behemoth isn't strong enough to defeat a lesser fiend. Without help, I'll equip my twin headed behemoth with the axe of despair. And speaking of attack, twin headed behemoth. Attack Lesser Fiend. So Lesser Fiend will be destroyed and I'll take 400 damage. And I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll switch my Skull Knight number two to defense mode. Coward. And, oh, well that's what we're doing. Okay. Mm, I will set another card face down and set a trap card. No, not a magic card. It's definitely trap. Okay. Oh, it could be either one duelist. Uh, that's not what you said. I'll set a card. Your move. Draw for turn. Twin-headed behemoth, attack his face down. You attack this, my Sangin. I'll add my winged minion to my hand. And I'll go to main face two. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my twin-headed wolf. Mm. If there's another fiend monster in the field, it'll negate the effects of flip effect monsters that it destroys in battle. So. I'll enter the battle phase. Twin-headed wolf will attack your face down monster. You hit troop dragon. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to hit. Okay, well, it's back to you then, duelist. Draw. All right, I'll go to battle. Battle enter. Twin-headed behemoth attack twin-headed wolf. You thought, duelist. You've activated my trap card, Bark of Dark Ruler. I don't know what that means. I can activate it during the damage step of the battle phase that a fiend monster is attacked. I can pay life points and multiples of 100 to decrease the attack of your monster by the same amount. Since you have 2,500 mm -hmm. attack, I'll be paying 1,100 life points to decrease your monster's attack by 1,100. Aha, uh -huh. so then my twin headed behemoth loses the battle. It'll be at 14, take you'll take 100, 100 damage. Not bad. I did expect something like that, so I'm not really impressed, to yeah, be exactly. honest. That really means a lot that you were safe. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll move to end phase. And then my twin-headed behemoth special summons back to the field with a thousand attack and a thousand defense. All right, I draw. I'll use twin-headed wolf and attack your face down. If it's a flip effect monster, its effects will be negated. You hit my four-star Ladybug of Doom. Good. Finally, some use out of this twin-headed wolf. I'll set one monster face down, another card. Your move. Draw for turn. Normal summon my seven-colored fish. Mm, An oldie okay. but a goodie. That's still there. I'll enter battle. Battle enter. So assuming you don't have another Bark of the Dark Ruler, seven-colored fish, attack twin-headed wolf. All right, I'll take 300 damage. And then I will end my time. Draw. I'll summon my Opticlops in attack position. A card that you traded me, Duelist. I'll activate a spell card you might not have seen before, my Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. I select a fiend in my graveyard or move from play monsters on my field whose levels exactly equal the level of the fiend and I can special summon that fiend from my graveyard. What are you planning? I will remove from play Skull Knight number two to summon this fiend from my graveyard my Sangin. Oh, that's wild. That is wild. Yeah, I have the most offbeat monster reborn you'll ever see. <laughs> that is wild. And now, Opticlops will attack Twin-Headed Behemoth. Goodbye, my behemoth. That will end my turn. Draw for turn. For once, I get to use this card first. Hmm. But what does it do? Pot of Greed! What does it do, Duelist? Please I get explain. To draw two cards from my deck. Perhaps I'll see mine soon. You'll probably see yours literally next. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's how these go. I will normal summon my harpy's brother. Oh, okay. Seven colored fish attack his face down. You attacked this. What is My that? mysterious guard. It has a flip effect. I select a face up monster in the field and I return it to the top of the deck. So we'll return your harpy's brother to the top of the what? deck. What? 
Yes, a new flip monster I found. That's better than that. Yeah, if I had a warrior, I would also get to return another card, but I don't have a warrior, so. Myster Mysterious Guard was better than I thought he was. Yeah, I know. It's a random good find. Wow. It's time to deal with your seven colored fish with this. I summon Winged Minion. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> you think that puny thing deals with anything? I can offer it as a tribute to select a fiend monster and increase its attack and defense by 700. Ah. I like to the effect of Winged Minion and tribute it to give my Opticlops 700 more attack and defense. I'll switch Sang into attack mode as well. Opticlops attack seven colored fish. I take 700. And Sangin will attack you directly for 1,000. I gotta take it. You're moved. Draw for time. So now, and it just stays big, huh? Yeah, it's 2,500 forever. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw. All right, it's time now to press the advantage in this duel. I'll tribute my Sangin to normal summon the Summon Skull. A new fiend monster since it's a second copy, and now Sangin's effect activates to let me add a monster with 1,500 or less attack. How about another winged minion? I hate that card. I love it. All right, now, summon skull, attack his face down monster. You hit spear Creighton. Ooh, okay. We will both special summon a monster from our graveyards in face up attack or face down defense position. I'll get four star Ladybug of Doom. My sang. Yeah, I thought you might do that. Well, I'll attack your monster with Opticlops. You hit. Four Star Lady Bug of Doom. Destroy level fours. Goodbye, Opticlops. You're moved to list. Draw for turn. Normal summon my Harpy's Brother. Harpy's Brother attack is face down. You know what it is. It's Sangin. This time, I'll get a new fiend for you to worry about. My possessed dark soul. Then I'll set one Speller Trap card face down, and end my turn. Draw. Let's enter the battle phase and have my Summon Skull attack your monster. He has 2,500. Goodbye, brother. I'll set a card face down and pass. Draw for turn. Activate my Call of the Haunted. Ah. I will special summon my Harpy's brother. I'll activate Giant Trunade. Oh, you're just weighing all duel for this combo. Huh? To send our spells and traps back to our hands. Harpy's brother, attack his face down. You attacked. My magician of faith. I think I said magic magical stuff. Anyways, her effect lets me get a spell card. I actually only have the one puppet magic of Dark Ruler. But I'll add it to my hand. She's been destroyed. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I'll normal summon winged minion. You know what that means. I'll activate its effect and tribute it to give my summon skull 700 more attack points. It's now at 3200. So, enter the battle phase. Summon Skull. Attack Harpy's brother. Goodbye, brother. Dealing 1,400 damage to your life points. I'll set two cards face down. Your move. Draw for turn. The I activate. Mm -hmm. Pot of Greed! What does it do? I'm drawing two cards from my deck. I'll normal summon the Exile Force. Ah, new card. Okay. That's right. And I'll activate their effect. I'll tribute my exiled force to destroy your summon skull. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. What monster will you be summoning back, though, Duelist? You don't have much of worth in that graveyard. I actually don't have a lot of like great things. I can't lie. <laughs> but I'll get back Harpy's Brother. And I'll enter battle. Battle enter. Harpy's Brother attack for 1,800. 18 it is. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Zero. Hmm. I just drew a very powerful magic card. You know what it is, Norris? No. It's my Pot of Greed! Ah, a spell right card. That. It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. First, use this. My Gnomon of Extermination on your face down card. If it's a trap, we'll have to banish all the copies in our decks with the same name. I'll chain! Will you, Duelist? Rush recklessly. And I'll give my Harpy's brother 700 attack during this turn. Will you set one card face down, Duelist? Your move. Draw! I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Harpy's brother attack for 1800. My mirror force. It'll wow. destroy your monster. All of your attack mission monsters. They only have one. Fair enough. Set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set a monster face down. That's not a monster. I'll set a card face down. <laughs> your move. Draw. 
I'll set an actual monster face down and end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set a monster and end oh. my turn. Draw for turn. It's become a setting war as you've gotten rid of most of my monsters. Just, I just think you're copying me. I am. But you know what? I can make better use of my face downs than you can of yours. We'll find out about that shortly, dudes. We sure will when I activate No Man of Cross out. So a very what is, worthy card. What am I banishing? More like, what are you discarding with my magic drain? Whoa! Unless you discard another spell card, it will negate your spell. Last time, I didn't have a spell to discard. But this spell's been dead all game for me. Well, what's it gonna be? I discard G Dragon's Gunfire. <laughs> okay. You banished my mysterious guard. And I am only running two in a oh. deck, so I don't have another one to banish. I wish I had hit that earlier. Thank goodness. I'll flip summon Mask of Darkness. Hmm. It'll allow me to select one trap card from my graveyard and add it to hand. I'll get my Call of the Haunted. With what good monsters in your grave? Boy, I don't have anything. <laughs> I just don't. I'll enter battle. Mask of Darkness, attack for 900. I'll set a monster face down and two speller traps and end my turn. I draw. I'll normal summon my possessed dark soul. I can offer it as a tribute to take control of all face up level three or lower monsters on your side of the field. Do you want to do that? I don't You're actually right bigger now. than Mask of Darkness. I'm going to just enter the battle phase. <laughs> possessed dark soul attacks your Mask of Darkness. That is fair. I'll end my turn. Draw. I will activate Call of the Haunted. Okay. I'll get Harpy's brother back. I'm going to activate my bottomless trap hole. It will banish him. Oh, so no. in case you decide to recycle Call of the Haunted again this duel, he won't be coming back. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. Hmm. I'll activate my bait doll. It forces the activation of your face down trap card. If the timing's incorrect, it'll be destroyed. If it's a spell, then it's just Activate fine. DNA surgery. Oh. So I can declare a monster type and as long as this card remains on the field, all face-up monsters become that type. All face-up monsters are dragons. Set one card face down and end my turn. Let's draw. Flip summon, Spear Cretan. Interesting, okay. We will both special summon a monster from our graveyards and either face up attack. Oh god, is it gonna be Mask of Darkness to get another Call of the Haunted? How, how, about, you, how about you stop try, trying to read me, all right? Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Mask of Darkness. Fiend. And then I'll pay a thousand life points for Delinquent Duo. All so right, now, a random card discarded from my hand. The middle card. This card is the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. And now you choose which card you discard. I'll discard my Masked Sorcerer. Next, I will Flip Summon the Dragon Manipulator. Hmm. I can take control of one face up dragon type monster on your side of field until the end of the turn. Oh, clever. Okay, so it was DNA surgery. There was a strategy there. All right, what card are you taking? I'll take Lesser Fiend. I don't appreciate it, Duelist. I don't. I'll have my Lesser Fiend attack your possessed Dark Soul. All right, since it has 2,100, I'm going to be taking 900. And then I'll have, this is a risk, Dragon Mip Manipulator attack the face down. Are you prepared for what card you might have just attacked? No. It's the craziest card in this game. Oh my, my god! My fiber jar. This flip effect, both players unite all their respective cards in the field, their hands, and their graveyards with their decks, shuffle them, and then we both draw five new cards. Ruling question, ruling question. Yes. Does that mean this goes into my deck? No, this will go, it'll go into my deck. All right, so everything. So everything. It, I, I'm going to reread this one more time. The duel is about to get re- Oh wait, I still have my banished cards, aren't Yeah, your banished cards, yeah, these stay gone, so we don't get our trap holes back. Yeah, so these, everything is shuffled back in, duelist. Bet you didn't see this coming. <laughs> <laughs> Five new cards to restart the duel. But I'm still on my battle phase. That's true. So I don't get that back. Yeah, you don't, I mean, in a sense, you, maybe there's something you can quick affect somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't want you to like get too far with your planning, so I'll pay a thousand life points. Oh boy! For delinquent duo. She's rude, duelist. <laughs> What's it gonna be? This card. 
Ah, you hit what could be very useful. Swords of Revealing oh, Light. Oh, that is great. That would have been pretty handy. And I'll also great have hit. to discard... It'll be Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. No, oh, that feels a little familiar. All right. I'll set a monster face down and one spell or trap. I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll activate Pot of Greed. This oh. spell card draws two cards. Oh, yeah, both our Pot of Greeds are back into the deck. <laughs> that is true. I, too, will set one card face down and two spell or trap cards. You move. All right. Draw for turn. I'll activate Spirit Ryu. Activate. Okay, just activate the monster then. Yeah, he's activated. And then I'll use Stamping Destruction. Hmm. That destroys one of my spell or trap cards. That's you know? right. I want to destroy that one and deal 500 damage to you. You destroyed my mirror wall duelist. Ooh, great hit. I'll end my turn. I draw. Flip. My Mystic Tomato. The battle phase. Mystic Tomato will. Attack your Spirit Ryu with 1,400. Because we're in a battle step, I'll activate Spirit Ryu's effect. What does it even do? I can discard a dragon monster from my hand and increase its attack by 1,000. Oh, rude duelist. Okay, so you'll go up to 2,000, which means my Mystic Tomato will be destroyed and I'll take 600 damage. A little bit scary given how low that I am. And its effect will activate. I'll summon my Sangin to the field. I'll set one card face down. End my turn. Draw! Activate Dragon's Gunfire. I don't know, what does this do? If I control a dragon type monster on my side of the field, I can activate one of two effects. Okay. I can either burn you for 800 damage or destroy a monster with 800 defense or less on the field. Oh, I see what you're going for, Duelist. That's right. Why, why, why fight you and I can burn you out? No, I won't do that. I'll destroy your Sangin. All right, Sangin is destroyed, and that will let me use a new card. In addition to Sangin's effect, I'll activate my Michizuri. Oh. I can destroy a monster on the field. The monster I'll destroy, because it will kill me otherwise, <laughs> Spirit Ryu. That is fair. And Sangin will search my deck. I'll get Skull Knight, number two. Normal summon. Exiled force. Oh, I was hoping you didn't have a monster to summon. Exactly. 1,000 attack. Uh, Exiled force. End this game. I take 1,000. That's enough to kill me. My face down card was a bark of dark ruler. Oh, that could have... Because... That yeah. could have, that could have like snuck the game away. Yeah, it would have allowed me to... Uh, well, I may not have enemy life points to pay, but yeah. It's not impossible. Do All right, thing. Duelist. Well, since you won, Rare Hunter, not only will you be getting my rarest card in this duel, <laughs> my Fiber Jar, which I actually don't mind giving you because I kind of hate this thing. It's probably why I lost. <laughs> I actually took Cyber Jar out of my deck, so this won't be going in my deck. Yeah, uh, these cards are, these are fun, guys, but they are chaotic. All right, so we also have some packs. Since you won this duel, you'll only be getting one pack of Dark Beginnings. According to you guys', per you guys' suggestions, he'll be getting only one pack of Dark Beginnings. I'll be getting two. Guess we open our packs? This better not be like my last pack of Dark Beginnings. Wait a minute, you pull a trap hole! That's true. All right, I pull. I didn't pull anything in mine. All right, so in this, I get a tip card and a Hayabusa Knight. Harpy's Brother, Toon Mermaid, Jinzo Number 7, Griggle, on, Shining Abyss, nothing. Ceasefire. Uh, I don't like that. Powerful Trap Card, Enchanted Javelin, another Mirror. Oh my god. Cheerful Coffin, and Polymerization. What? Finally, Polymerization oh, is in this. No. Finally, Polymerization is a card. Hey, you want to trade that? Uh, we'll see about that. Close Here's that. All right, Tip Card, Drill Bug, Headless Knight, Left Arm of the Forbidden One, Armed Ninja, Harpy Lady Sisters, Celtic Guardian, Shift. Forced Requisition, Time Seal, Axe of Despair, oh, Molten Destruction, and Jam Breeding, jam breeding Machine. Yeah. Okay, you get a tip card. Shuffle your deck really well before you play. You don't want all your monsters to be clumped together. You want a nice random spread of cards that you have variety in your hand. And I get, a, oh, a super rare Red Eyes Bee Dragon. I made the good stuff from this. Shining Angel. Novaya the Wicked, Sonic Bird, Banisher of the Light, Milk of the Four-Faced Beast, Magical Hats, Fake Trap, 
Type zero magic crusher. Confiscation is a common in here. What? Do I'm you confiscate this? this. Uh, I won. I should be able to take it. Nope. Confiscation, guys, you uh, pay a thousand life points and just look at your opponent's hand and discard a card. So even though I lost this duel, it almost certainly helped me next it's time. It's like he won the duel. Rush recklessly point. and mask of brutality. Another oh. guy's a crummy fiber jar. And that's a wrap for today's hunt, guys. I've taken another one. And uh, I feel like I lost still. I yeah, don't know. I have to say, I actually fuck, I got some really good pulls. So my deck this time was very experimental. I think I had a lot of fun with it, but um, I did get some very powerful cards. I think next episode's going to look a little different. Thank you again, as always, for you guys' suggestions. We really do appreciate it. You guys were the reason why we decided to use Dark Beginnings the way that we did. Give it back. And we just appreciate you guys watching. For anybody who's done Super Chats, we also appreciate that. It's a great way to afford these very expensive older packs. And that's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next episode when the hunt continues with Veronica Guardian. And I'm going to win that one too. Best turn. Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. The series where we take classic Yu-Gi-Oh products, build decks with them, and stake our rarest cards. Which means he stakes his rarest card and then I win it. This time we're going to be opening the next classic Yu Gi Oh set Pharaonic Guardian. A very cool set that includes such powerful cards as Ring of Destruction, Book of Moon, and Mirage of Nightmare. So before we hop into the video, make sure to drop a like. Let us know what your rarest card from this set would ideally be. We'll see what we pull and let the duel begin. Okay, so before I start my packs, I just want to show you guys we have another Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector magazine. Alright, so um, I'll just show a few cool things from here. Here's actually a list of anime and comic conventions. Um, Beckett's hot list, in-stock cars that you could buy. Man, to live like back in this period of time where he was buying these old packs, you know. Also, um, I think Yami Yugi was doing the whole card games on motorcycles long before Yusei. Even though this is fan art, this is bizarre to look at to say the very least. And you could win Mattel's new dual disc system if you entered the sweepstakes. I wonder what would happen if I sent this in now. And of course, the Pharaonic Guardian card list that shows all the cool cards that we could potentially pull in our packs. Okay, enough of that. All right guys, here it is, Pharaonic Guardian. Also known as one of the ugliest Yu-Gi-Oh sets of history. I mean, look at these monsters. This is the best looking one on the box. Because you, you have Fuchio Richie, and uh, I don't know what that is. Either way, we're ripping it open. All right, guys, so this set actually has 36 packs. This is a different edition of this set. Normally, we have 24, but we are still cutting it in half like normal, so it's all fair. I'm not changing how I usually do things. I'm starting with the left side of this box. And let's get started. First pack. Old packs always open a little bit differently. When I open up normal packs for too long, or modern packs, I forget how to open up the old packs. Let's go. Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship, a great card. New Doria. D-Tribe. Makes everybody dragons, which could come in handy. Next pack. Trap Dust Shoot. Crazy card. Banner of Courage. Oh, we got Gravekeeper's Chief. Are we doing a Gravekeeper deck here? Let's see what we got over here. Banner of Courage, King Tiger, King Tiger Wangu. This guy's nuts. As long as it's face up on the field, all monsters with attack lower than equal or lower than 1400, when they're normal or special summoned, they just get destroyed automatically. So you can just lock your opponent out of all their weak stuff. This is a great card. Swarm of Locusts, Lava Golem. Yo, Secret Rare Lava Golem. Oh my god. Tr you tribute two of your opponent's monsters, pop it down their field, then you burn them. This is definitely going in my deck, and I'm gonna feel bad wagering this, because if I lose, I'm gonna be so upset. Dark Dust Spirit. Another really strong card. Mucus Yolk. Uh, that's a disgusting name. Mirage of Nightmare. So this card's nuts, guys. So during your opponent's standby phase, you draw until you have four cards. Then during your standby phase, you randomly discard the same number of cards you drew. This card's banned for a reason and I fully intend to use it. Shape Snatch, Needle Ceiling, Royal Keeper, and Pyramid Energy. Here we go. Arsenal Bug. 
Rite of Spirit, and Terraforming. Wow, this is this is terraforming. I have mmm, this changes things. This changes things. Soul Leader. Question as my ultra rare. When activating this card, your opponent cannot check cards in the graveyard. Your opponent calls the name of the first monster found at the bottom of the graveyard, of my graveyard. He or she call it, if the he or she call it right, the monster is removed from play. If he or she call it wrong, the monster is special summoned onto your side of the field in a face-up attack or defense position. Such a wacky card, I, I guess I'll use it? Swarm of Locusts. Oh no, <laughs> the Great Dizard. So I got a second Ultra. You can special summon one Fuchio Richie from your hand or deck by offering this card as tribute during your main phase. <sighs> I just don't see it happening, especially since I don't have a Fuchio Richie. Why did you have to show up in my pack? I wish you were in Paul's. Giant Axe Mummy, Reaper on the Nightmare. Ooh. All right, three packs left. Not really feeling the difference between, you know, a smaller box and this box. Some more cards. Needle Wall, Spirit Reaper. Really solid card. All right. We have Needle Wall, Book of Moon. Has a, is this a rare here? Oh, this is good. And last pack. Let's make it good. Gravekeeper, Spear Soldier, Reasoning, Master Kyonshi, Soul Leader, Curse of Royal, Gravekeeper's Guard, Hieroglyph, Lithogryph, Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder, and Cryule. All right, guys, those are my packs. I pulled the Lava Golem, so needless to say, I'm also wagering the Lava Golem, but uh, Paul's gonna have to survive this first. So I've got the remaining 18 packs of Pharaonic Guardian. It's time to not quite duel, but open packs. 18 of these things, so I'll try to go as quick as I can, but no promises, because I gotta savor the history here. All right, first pack. We get Reasoning, Master Kyonji, Soul Eater, Arsenal Bug, 2000, 2000. Huh. Winged Sage Falcos, Hieroglyphic Lith Lithograph. Pay a thousand of your own life points. During the current duel, the limit of your hand in the end phase becomes seven cards. That's very odd. Reversal Quiz, Cryul and Cobra Jar. Rite of Spirit, Metamorphosis, another really powerful ban card, can summon a fusion monster from your fusion deck, not extra deck. Next pack. Does anybody know what the monster behind Yugi is on here? Maybe I'll pull it, but otherwise I'm not sure what it is. Curse of Aging, I feel like I'm feeling this right now in my life. Yomi Ship, strong removal. Gatekeeper's Vassal, oh. First ultra rare card is Fuchio Ricci which can only be summoned with the Great Desert, a card that I don't even know if, I don't even know what card that is, but um, uh, you can flip this into face down defense position and it can negate magic and trap cards that target it. Ooh, hopefully that's not the rarest thing we pull. We'll see though. Okay. Dice Jar, another crazy jar. Trap Dust you a banned trap card, though I feel like this card could come back these days. Banner of Courage. Book of Moon, flip a monster in the field in a face down defense position. One of the most, if not the most, iconic quick play spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Curse, Banner of Courage, Spirit Reaper, a good stall card. This might end up in our deck for sure. Dark Room of Nightmare, a super rare card. Each time you inflict damage to your, other than battle damage to your opponent, inflict 300 more. This is used by Bakura, Yami Bakura against the Pharaoh. Cool super rare card, I've got the shadows of these monsters. Charm of Shopti, Pyramid Turtle. This can summon Spirit Reaper. That could be useful. Great Keeper's Assailant, Trap of Board Eraser. A super rare card, this is why I don't remember. When an effect that inflicts damage to life points is activated, you can negate the damage to your life points. Your opponent then selects a card in their hand and discards it. I wonder if we can make use of this. Okay. Another Royal Tribute, Raigeki Break, a really good removal trap card. A few packs left of Pharaonic Guardian. Your Arsenal Bug, Dark Jeroid, I think this is actually used by Merrick against Mai. A few packs left. A needle Wall and Guardian Sphinx. Uh, I'm surprised that this wasn't like the kind of poster child card of this set. Guardian Sphinx, Pharaonic Guardian, Guardian Sphinx, Pharaonic Guardian. Anyway, you can flip this card in a face-down defense position once per turn during your main phase. When it's flip summoned, 
return all monsters on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. There could be some use for this. You have the tribute set it though. Like, a little tricky, but we'll see. All right, final pack, slap it for good luck. As our friend Larry might do. Although we've pulled a good amount of foil cards, so we're unlikely to pull another, but you never quite know. Curse of Aging, Yomi Ship, a good floaty monster. Cobra Man Sakuzi, Giant Axe Mummy, and Doc Designator. Declare a monster card name. If the card's in your opponent's deck, you add one of that card to your opponent's hand. Swarm of Scarabs, Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, and Bird Face. So, it looks like we did get four foil cards, and it seems like I'm going to be wagering my Guardian Sphinx. That means I am gonna try to use it in my deck. It'll be difficult, but hey, we pull it off, it's pretty cool. As you guys know, we're opening up two packs of Dark Beginning, just to get more reprints. Let's see what we get. First pack. I love feeling these packs with lots of cards. It feels like I have plenty of chances to get something good. Flame Manipulator, Grand Tiki Elder, Larva Moth, Cure Mermaid, Kisitai, Mystical Elf, Magic Drain, Attack and Receive, Gift of the Mystical Elf, Elegant Egotist, Mask of the Accursed, and Card of Safe Return. Pack number two. Cyber Jar, Sangha of the Thunder, Blast Juggler, Sword Hunter, Skull Servant, Hitatsumi Giant, The Eye of Truth, Minor Goblin Official, Gravity Bind, uh, Horn of the Unicorn, Co Chorus of Sanctuary, and Final Destiny. I got nothing. All right, I've got my two Dark Beginnings packs. As you guys know, we are adding these into the rotation in the hopes of getting some older reprints. These treated me really well last time. Right Leg of the Forbidden One. Huh, cool. Four-star Ladybug of Doom, Reaper of the Cards, Sinju of the Thousand Hands, Invader of the Throne, The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, Jar of Greed, Not a Bad Trap, Backup Soldier, Infinite Dismissal, Burning Land, Horn of Light, and Toon World. Guess I can finally use that Blue-Eyes Toon Dragon, eh? Mm -hmm. Second pack. Flame Swordsman, Red Moon Baby, Mosky the Legendary Swordsman, Humanoid Wendrake. Mystic Lamp, it can attack your opponent directly. The Portrait Secret, Dragon Capture Jar, Grave Robber, select the spell on your opponent's grave and take it until the end of the turn. If you use it, you have to take 2,000 points of damage. Solemn Wishes, Toll, Scroll of Bewitchment, and Gaia Power, to power up all the Earth Monsters. Nothing super special here, a couple of neat cards that we might be able to throw in, but it's always nice to have another chance at the old reprints, so I'll see if I can implement anything. Alec here with his new deck for today's Rare Hunters. So I abandoned the dragon theme to go all in on what I do best, which is flip summoning monsters. My boy Blue Eyes is gone in its place. I have the brand new Lava Golem, but I need something to play on my side of the field. So I'm running Hino Kagusuchi. I have Jinzo, Dark Dust Spirit. Dark Dust Spirit's in the same way of Hino Kagusuchi. I just want this thing to hit the board and do a thing, in this case, destroy all his monsters. I have Jiraigamo, 2200, very awkward effect that has to burn half my life points if I lose a coin flip. So I'm trying to just control my opponent's board with all these flip effect monsters, set up a, just a big Jiraigamo next to it, and I'm just trying to use those few cards to muscle my opponent's board while using all of these convenient controlly monsters to just hold him back and hold him down. But uh, yeah, this is the list, and uh, hopefully it brings me another W. And if it doesn't, well, it was a fun experiment. Okay guys, Paul here. So I'm going to show you the deck I'm working with for this episode of The Rare Hunters. I took a very different approach. Ditch the fiends, and I have something a little bit cooler, and probably more stable. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Basically, I went with a more defensive, um, generic sort of monster theme again this time. The fiends were fun, but they kind of had to go, so I'm going to be using things like Gravekeeper's Guards, Yomi Ships, the Swarm of Locusts and Scarabs, Keeping Mysterious Guard, adding in things like Spirit Reaper, and basically these are just monsters that are defensive and floaty and they allow me to take more of a tribute summon approach to things. So of course I got Summon Skull still here, but also Guardian Sphinx. Now he's hard to use because you have to tribute set him and then flip summon him like the next turn, so it's like three turns, but if it works, it works. Also Patrician of Darkness and Time Eater, two cards that could be really fun and quirky and like weird if I summon them. As for new spells and traps, we've got mostly the same lineup. Book of Moon of course joins the party. We took out an Offerings to the Doomed. And other than that, we just have a couple new traps. So also added in Ceasefire from the Dark Beginnings pack, but we have some really cool highlights like Needle Sealing, which should take Alec off guard, especially because I'm going to be setting so many monsters. So I can get a lot of cards in the field, 
without necessarily having them be destroyed by needle sealing. So hopefully this will be enough to win me a duel and bring the count at least a little bit closer to even. We're going for three, four this time. Let's see how it goes. I wager Lava Golem. I wager Guardian Sphinx. All right, the stage is set for the next hunt. So let the duel begin, Hunter. I'll be, of course, wagering my Guardian Sphinx. And I'll be wagering and getting back my Lava Golem. Hmm. I think next time I actually want to go for your Jinzo, but we'll see about that. We will see. Unless you want to go for it now. I mean, we could do a double wager. Oh. I get my Jinzo back. What card would you like from me, though? I want my Mirror Force back. Okay, so a double wager. Two cards on the line, guys. Double or nothing. All right, dice roll to see who goes first, Hunter. I got Seven. five. All right, I'll take the first move. All right, bring it on. Draw for turn. I will set one spell or trap face down and one monster. I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. Hmm. Let's start this duel out with a new card in my deck, my Confiscation. After getting hit by Delinquent Duo in literally every single pass duel, it feels so good to finally have a way to reach into my opponent's hand and rip out some of their cards. I pay a thousand life points, duelist. And I get to take a look at your hand and send one of these cards to the graveyard. Come on, man. Swarm of Locusts, Nobleman of Crossout, Card of Safe Return, and Yomi Ship. Hmm, I certainly don't like a lot of these cards. Why does he get to look at my hand? I'll have a go at Nobleman of Crossout. Say goodbye. It goes to the graveyard. Goodbye, my nobleman. I'll set a face down card of my own. And I'll activate Trap Dust Shoot. Yeah, I know I'm grimy, but look what I changed it to. Confiscation. Trap Dust Shoot is just a slower, worse version of that card, so there's nothing wrong with me using it. Ooh, okay. That's right. Now I get to look at your this hand first and discard a monster from I had to run it. We get shuffled back into my deck. Yeah, shuffled into the deck. I'll send your Dark Jeroy to the deck. Shuffled in he goes. You take a card from me, I take a card from you. All right, well, since as you know, I don't have a monster, it's your move. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh, you're gonna wish you had one. I already do. <laughs> I'll set and activate, because you know I have it, my card of safe return. Mm, okay. So if a monster gets special summoned out of my graveyard, I get to draw a card, but I'll end my turn there. This is my first copy of this card and I had to run it. All I need is to summon twice from the grave and this card has paid for itself and more. All right, I draw a duelist. I too will sit and I'll set one more card face down. All right, your move. Draw for turn. I'll flip summon my swarm of locusts. Oh, ugly. Not so a pretty now, card, what? I can oh. destroy a spell or trap card on your side of the field. Magic or trap, that's what it says, magic. I'm gonna hit the one you just set. Well, I'm going to also activate, I'll activate my trap hole on your swarm of locusts since it has a thousand attack points that will be destroyed. Wow. And you destroyed my needle ceiling. I'm happy I got rid of that, but golly. Next, I will set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a monster face down. Your move to list. Draw. I will flip summon my Mask of Darkness. Okay. So I can add a trap from my graveyard to my hand. Oh, trap dust you might not be too helpful for you for a bit. I only have two cards in my hand. I'll tribute my Mask of Darkness for Dark Dust Spirit. Now, normally it destroys all of their face-up monsters on the field, but we don't have any. Do your worst, Hunter. And I'll have my Dark Dust Spirit attack this face now. You attack Sangin. Since it was sent from the field of the graveyard, I'll be searching a monster with 1,500 or less attack from my deck to that's my hand. That's a lot hand. of things. Oh, that's problematic, though. The card I get will be hit by Trap Dust Shoot. Exactly. Oh, that's brutal. Well, fine. In that case, let's just get something I don't need. I'll get my Yomi Ship to my hand. Main phase two, I'll set a trap face down. And I'll move to end phase, and Dark Dust Spirit is a spirit, so it returns to my hand. All right, I draw for turn. I'll go to my standby phase. In your standby phase, I'll activate Trap Dust Shoot. Okay, so have a look, duelist. Oh, wow. 
Wow. I do have a monster in hand. You know exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. We'll hit the Yomi ship. Yomi ship shuffles back into my deck. Now it's gonna pray and actually draw another monster with my next card. Well, that we all know. Do you know what it does? I believe you get to discard your whole hand. It's part of greed, a spell card that lets me draw two cards from my deck. I'll set a monster face down and set a spell or trap card on the field. Your move. All right, draw for turn. Normal summon, Jirai Gumo. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Jirai Gumo, attack this face down. All right, so you're gonna have to flip a coin. Tails. It is tails, so your life points are safe. You attacked Swarm of Scarabs. But with that, I'll end my turn. I draw. Pass my turn, duelist. Draw. Mm. Scared duelist? I've never known fear a day in my life. Afraid of what might lie in wait on my face down cards? I'll flip summon Gravekeeper's Guard. Oh, okay. And then I'll return your face down in your hand. It's returned. And then I'll normal summon Arsenal Bug. Arsenal Bug, interesting. Its attack and defense get decreased if I don't have another insect on the field. But I do! Hmm. I will activate my bottomless trap hole. Hmm. Since it has over 1500 attack, it'll be banished. Destroyed and banished. I still have two monsters. I'll enter battle. Battle enter, duelist. Guard attacks for 1000. 1000 damage. Jiragamo attacks for 2200. All right. Call your coin. Tails. It is heads, ah. which means your life points will be cut in half, but I will still take 2200 damage. I'll end my turn. All right. I draw. I set one monster face down and a spell or a trap guard. Your move. Draw for turn. Jiragamo, attack his face down. All right. Tails. Tails. It is tails. You attacked. My Yomi ship. Mm. It'll be destroyed, but your Jirai Gumo is destroyed along with it, Goodbye, thanks to its effect. Friend. But my Garg is free to attack for 1,000. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a monster face down, and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a monster face down, and end my turn. Okay. Tribute my spirit reaper. Oh. To summon my time eater. What does that do? If it destroys a monster by battle, you skip your next main phase one. Whoa. That's right. So, That's I'm going to go ahead and enter the battle phase. Time eater will attack Gravekeeper's guard with 1900 attack. You take 900 and you'll have to skip your next main phase. Wow. You're moved to list. At least I get a draw phase. And now I move straight to battle phase. That is right. I have nothing to attack with, so I move to main phase two. You ain't right. I'll flip my spear cretin. Okay. And as I've learned, he has to make, I have to make sure he gets sent to the graveyard in order to use his effect. So, of course, I can't get the effect right now. That but when I tribute it for my Dark Dust Spirit, Dark Dust Spirit destroys all other face-up monsters on the field. Oh no, my time eater. I was having a time. <laughs> Hate you for that. And now Spear Cretan's effect activates and we'll special summon monsters from our grave. We'll pick at the same time, I suppose. I think that's fair. One, two, three. Sangin. Mask of Darkness. And now my card of safe return lets me draw. Okay, duelist. I'll move to the end phase. Dark Dust Spirit returns to my hand. All right, I draw for turn. I will. Tribute Sangin to summon my summon skull. Big monster. And that activates Sangin's effect. Yeah, Sangin will get my Gravekeeper's Guard to my hand. And now, I'll enter the battle phase. Yes. I'll have summon skull attack your face down monster. You already know, it's Mask of Darkness. Oh, okay. I'll use the effect to add Trap Dust Shoot back to my hand. I know all about that. I'll set two cards face down and pass my turn. All right, draw. You got a lot going on over there. I do. I will tribute my Yomi ship for Dark Dust Spirit. Oh, brutal. Why brutal. destroy later what you can destroy now? This card's so rude. All right, my summon skull is destroyed. Dark Dust Spirit attacks you. Take 2200 damage. 
Oh, now you're in the hot seat. Set two cards face down, and I'll go to end phase. Desperate returns. All right, I draw for turn. I'll set one card face down and activate my sword's revealing light. It's old faithful. This thing has shown up in so many of these duels, and whenever I'm in a pinch, it's there to stall the game out for me. I'll also activate Pot of Greed. Oh, it lets me draw two cards, and I'll set one face down. Your move. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down. This feels repetitive. And I'll end my turn. All right, just the first turn of swords. I draw. I'll go ahead and flip up Swarm of Locusts. As you know, this, when it's flipped summon, destroys a spell or trap card on your side of the field. So, we're going to destroy this card. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. Ah, okay, Duelist. I'll summon my Yomi ship. It can summon an attack position, but it's going to yeah. be destroyed anyway, destroy, so... Destroy this, destroys that. But that does activate my card of safe return. To draw a card. I'll use my Swarm of Locusts and flip it back face down. Then, I'll set another monster to my field and pass turn to you. Draw for turn. Activate Pot of Greed. What does that do? I'm drawing two cards. Let's set a monster face down, I'll end my turn. All right, so that's the second turn. For swords revealing light, I'll draw. I'll activate my Bait Doll on your face down card. If the trap timing is incorrect, and I have a feeling it is, then it'll just be destroyed. Say goodbye to Trap Dust Shoot. Uh, you weren't going to let me get it off anyway. In addition to that, let's flip up Swarm of Locusts and get rid of Card of Safe Return as well. Just taking my cards away, huh? That's a right to-do list. We'll activate its effects to flip it back face down. I'll also set a monster and a Spell or Trap and pass turn. Alright, draw for turn. I will flip Summon Gravekeeper's Guard Okay. and send that monster back to your hand. I'll tribute two monsters to set a monster. Hmm. And I'll end my set turn. Set a monster, he does. All right. I draw. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get out of here. So Swords of Revealing Light is destroyed. I think it served me well. Hate it. Well, how about this then? I'll flip my Gravekeeper's <sighs> Guard and return whatever you just I was really set. hoping that wasn't... <sighs> Back to your hand. And then we're going to tribute Gravekeeper's Guard. For Patrician of Darkness. Mm. As long as it's face up on the field, I select the targets for your attacks. That's fair. Now it's time to get a little bit of damage on you after a very long time. Yeah. Enter battle and attack with Patrician of Darkness I'll for 2,000. I'll set a card face down. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. <laughs> Do something not great? <laughs> that be amazing. Oh, man. I'm going to tribute both your monsters. Ah, oh, okay. We're doing this, or are we duelist? Swarm of Locusts and Patrician of Darkness. To set Lava Golem to your field. Ah, interesting. And on my next turn, that's going to deal enough damage to make me lose the duel. That's right. On your standby phase, you'll take a thousand damage because you're the controller of Lava Golem, not me. Interesting. So, in my turn. All right. Well, in my end phase, I'm going to activate my Offerings to the Doom. Oh, you dirty... He destroys a face-up monster and <laughs> skips my next draw phase. So, say goodbye to Lava Golem. It was nice while it lasted. I skipped my draw phase, but thankfully I have all I need to kill you right here. Normal summon, Pyramid Turtle. No! Why did you have a real monster? With 1,200 attack points. Pyramid Turtle, attack his life points directly and win this duel. You know what? You can take Lava Golem. It didn't work out anyway. <laughs> it's not just Lava Golem I'm taking, though, now, is it, Duel? Oh, no! All right. I'm the rare victor today, which means yeah. you owe me not one, but two of the rare cards in your deck. And the Mover Hunter. Master My Merrick's God. rules. Jinzo and Lava Golem. That's right. These two secret rare monsters will make great additions to my deck. I finally take back my Jinzo. But now the Mercy Rule is in effect for me. All right, guess let's open. Yep, let's rip them open. Giant Rat, Headless Knight, Left Arm of the Forbidden One, Arm Ninja, Harpy Lady Sisters, Celtic Garden, Gift of the Mystical Elf, The Eye of Truth, Minor Goblin Official, Umi, The Shallow Grave, Messenger of Peace. All right, well, I'm gonna open my pack now, so. This pack, in general, Dark Beginning 1, has treated me well, so let's see if the trend continues. Nah. 
Deep Sea Warrior, Cocoon of Evolution, Spirit of the Breeze, Feral Imp, Beaver Warrior, Revival Jam, Gravity Vine, Shift, Force Requisition, Limiter Removal, Insect Barrier, and Reign of Mercy. Let's see what I get here. Morphing Jar number two, the Earl of Demise, Mammoth Graveyard, Dancing Fairy, Amoeba, Bubonic Vermin, Gifted a Mystical Elf, The Eye of Truth, M Minor Goblin Official, Premature Ooh. Burial. Guys, you know how much I love special summoning. Painful Choice, that's, that's, it could be good, and Mask of Dispel. Well, okay, you lucked out a little bit on the uh, yeah, I, on I'm the gonna use beginnings. this. So that concludes this episode of the Rare Hunters. Victory is mine, but the score is only three to four for now. So we'll see if that changes. Next time, we're going to be opening Magician's Force. And this is where I have to ask you guys a bit of a favor, mayhap, if you have something. Guys, you don't want to know how much it costs. You don't want to know. So if you like the series, consider using a super thanks to uh, help us out with that. It's like a thanks, but a little cape on it. That's going to be it for this episode of The Rare Hunters. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn. Welcome back to The Rare Hunters. That's my line. The segment where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, build decks with the cards inside, and stake our rarest cards. You might be wondering why things look a little different. We are terraforming. Yeah, we're mid-moving um, a lot of things around. You can see there's all sorts of stuff going on up there. Um, but Joe must go on. So today we're going to be opening Magicians. Magicians. Force. One of the coolest Yu-Gi-Oh sets for a number of reasons, with key cards including things like Dark Magician Girl, Break of the Magical Warrior, Tribe Infecting Virus, Chaos Command Magician. Yeah, that too. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Real quick, shout out to everybody who gave super thanks in the last video. You guys don't want to know exactly how much this costs, but this is the most expensive one yet. Yeah, it, it's a lot. You can, you can look it up on eBay. Uh, but we have it, and we're gonna tear open a piece of history, so drop a like for that. Yeah, all right. Let's jump right into this. Let the game begin. Okay, so before I start opening, I did want to show you guys, we once again have the Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector's Issue that came out around when this set did. There's Obelisk. I can't tell if they just chopped his legs off or he's like on his knees or what's going on. But anyways, got Yugi, Kaiba, and Anuyasha. Also, now here's something really cool about Magician's Force. So Magician's Force is actually the first set where they changed from magic cards to spell cards, and so they actually interviewed some players about their opinions on it. On September 19, 2003, Upper Deck Entertainment announced a change to the worldwide phenomenon Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Beginning with the release of Magician's Force, all magic cards will now be titled Spell Cards. They say this was to make a card game more consistent, or the lore more consistent, but we all know it's just because of Magic the Gathering. All right, what else do we have here? The Magic of Magician's Force. So this actually shows us every single card that we could get. Forgot to mention that there were Union Monsters added in the set as well, so. I'm sure that we'll see at least a few of those. Now, time to actually get into the box. What side will I choose? I'll go with the right side. Remove Brainwashing. Kaiser Coliseum, a very powerful spell that's actually banned today. Amazonist Blowpiper, she looks awesome. Gather Your Mind. You add a Gather Your Mind from your deck to your hand. A little pointless. X-Head Cannon, wow, first, uh, first pack, super rare. Rare Gold Armor. Magical Merchant, a card commonly used in spell-based, um, FTKs. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of Royal Magical Library. Magical Merchant is the one where you flip it and you pick up cards until you get a spell or trap. Necromain King, a card that's actually been teched today whenever it goes to the graveyard by one of your opponent's effects, their turn in. Magical Scientist, one of the oldest banned cards. Pay a thousand life points to summon a level six or lower fusion monster from your fusion deck. It can't attack directly and it's returned at the end of the turn. Rare Gold Armor forces your opponent to attack the monster that is equipped with it. Neko Man King and woohoo! Ultra Rare! Chaos Command Magician, nice. So let me read him. Negate the effect of a monster card that specifically targets this card, or rather specifically designates this one card as a target. Gotta say I love uh, the way that old cards are worded. Ultra Rare, this will definitely probably be what I'm Putting up, the Spell Absorbing Life. Flip all face down defense system monster cards in the field face up. Flip effects aren't activated at this time. Increase your life points by 400 for each. It's like the opposite of Ceasefire. Exhausting Spell and Giant Orc. It's similar to Goblin Attack Force. It gets changed to defense position, but uh, after it attacks, and then you can't change it back for a 
Another turn or two. Magical plant, Mandragola, Hidden Book of Spell, Dark Magician Girl, what? Secret, rare, Dark Magician Girl pulled from, oh my god, look at her. I honestly did not expect to see a secret rare card. This is awesome because, A, you don't always get a secret rare. B, it's Dark Magician Girl. C, I mean, I guess I'm supposed to wager this. That kind of sucks. But it's still beautiful, so. Ah, oh, man. Imagine she was first edition. MFC000, secret rare Dark Magician. Anything else is just icing on the cake. Burning Beast, autonomous action unit. This is actually a pretty good card. Pay 1,500 life points to summon a monster from your graveyard. So it's sort of like premature burial, though not as abusable. Burning Beast, autonomous action unit again, Dimension Jar, another super rare. Oh my god, I'm getting the goods today. Tribe Infecting Virus. Vampire Orcus, Giant Orc, Disarmament, and Old Vindictive Magician. I finally have a Maneater Bug equivalent in my deck. Flip to destroy a monster in the field. Their Kaiser Coliseum, a Blowpiper. Gather your mind, pigeonholing books of spell. Dark Core, discard a card from your hand or remove from play a monster in the field. This is actually really cool. It's kind of like a uh, tribute to the doomed, but a little bit better because the card is getting banished or removed from play. Not bad pulls, I must say. However, we still have one quick pack to add to the mix. We've got a pack of Dark Beginning One. As you guys know, this is to help us get reprints of old cards we might have missed. So let's see what we pull. We get another Magician of Faith, Hyozan Ryu, Fire Princess, Left Leg of the Forbidden One, Giant Soldier of Stone, The Forgiving Maiden, Shadow of Eyes, Fairies, Hand Mirror, Gem Defender, Insect Barrier, Reign of Mercy, and Chosen One. Not the best pack. I might be able to add this into my deck, though. We'll see. All right. I have to say, I think that Magician's Force treated me really well. Good luck, Alec. All right, guys. Time for my turn, opening up Magician's Force. I'm really looking forward to pulling Dark Magician Girl. I want to pull Breaker the Magical Warrior. <laughs> and the left side's always been good for to me, so I'm glad Paul left it for me. First pack. Let's go. We have Sonic Duck. Frontline base, physical double, decayed commander, YZ tank dragon, uh, a fusion monster I doubt I'll be able to make, magical merchant, Senri Eye, Neko Mane King, Sonic Duck, Death Koala, pitch dark dragon, Amazon spellcaster, magical scientist, rivalry of the warlords. Ah, granddaddy's first floodgate. I think Breaker's Ultra in here. I think. Yeah, I think so. People running about, magical plant, hidden book, royal magic. Amazonus Archers. I haven't seen any Amazonus Monsters, though. Send this card from the field to the graveyard during your main phase. Inflict direct damage to your opponent's life points equal to the number of your standby phases that have passed after this card was activated times a thousand. <sighs> Nekomane King, DD Crazy Beast, Magical Scientist, Rivalry, Great Angus, and Ultimate Obedient Fiend. 3,500 attack, I doubt Paul pulled anything this strong. Downside though, this card can only attack when there are no other cards on your side of the field and you also have no hand. So you have to be losing, but somehow make this. Thunder of Ruler, Demotion, Magical Marionette, Emblem, XYZ Dragon Cannon as an Ultra. Ah, uh, it's nice, but I don't have them. Miracle Restoring, Paladin, Pitch Black, Zombie Tiger. Kaiser Coliseum, a brutal spell. Amazon's Blow Piper, Gather Your Mind, Pigeon Holding. Megaton Magical Cannon. I don't even know this card. Remove 10 spell counters on your side of the field. Destroy all car cards on your opponent's side of the field. But where are going to get 10 spell counters? All right, last but certainly not least. <sighs> Here we go. Frontline base, physical double, decay commander, Kaiser Coliseum, Dark Blade. Yeah, 1800. Great Angus, Death Dendal, Jar Robber, Union Rider. All right, guys, so uh, these are my pulls. Um, Between them, which one I wager, I, I guess I just go with the higher rarity one. Neither one of these cards are great. Um, but maybe I'll see something in, or if I can find it, there it is, my pack of Dark Beginning. We have our tip card, and Wing Dragon, Hysteric Fairy, Big Eye, Minar, Penguin Knight, Dark King, Light Force Sword, Gamble, Attack and Receive, Black Pendant, Return of the Doomed and Gravekeeper's Servant. Nothing huge, Black Pen's not terrible. I think the cards I already have are more than enough to beat Paul. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so here's the deck I'm working with. Victor's behind the camera, by the way, so I like to get to know this. It's still a secret. Here is what I'm working with. So I have to say, um, though these are the cards I took out, but yeah, 
I have to say, my deck did not change a whole bunch this episode. I only changed maybe like five, six, seven cards. There are some interesting new additions, though. So first of all, Jinzo is back after winning him from last episode, which is pretty awesome. I've also got Chaos Command Magician, which I pulled, you guys saw. And um, these are going to be two really strong new Tribute Summon monsters. Got Tribe Infecting Virus. Hopefully I can maybe abuse it, if it even shows up at all. Other than that, the monster lineup's largely the same. There are a few new small monsters, though. Old Vindictive Magician is finally like a counter to Alex's very annoying man eater bugs. And Magical Scientist is actually going to allow me to summon these three fusion monsters. Because I had never really had a chance to do any fusion summoning, but he can cheat them out. So we'll see where that goes. Spells are basically the same as well, although we do have one new spell card in the form of the Dark Core, which will banish the card selectively. And I took out a couple of spells and traps in the process. Um, well, really just dispels. So, um, took this out, took this out, took out some of these strong tribute monsters that are just not as good as these. And yeah, this was just sort of in for last episode. I mean, I really like Guardian Sphinx, I do, but he's hard to use. And then Shadow Ghoul is, uh, that's gonna be a tough one to lose, but I feel like it hasn't been showing up lately, and with my monster count being not all that high, he actually isn't all that useful. So yeah. <clears throat> so, that's the deck. We'll see where it goes. I'm interested in seeing what Alec brings to the table with this new set. All right, guys, so check out my deck for this episode of Rare Hunters. Not a lot has changed, though the, I brought back my boss monster, the big man himself, because we now have ways to protect him. Because you guys might remember the last time I played with him in a duel, he died like three or four times. But now we can try and defend our boy. Uh, notable changes to the deck will include uh, the Great Flip Monster. We have, oh, this card that we pulled at the end of the last episode. So let me special summon more monsters from the graveyard, which is great because, of course, I'm running this same card that ex lets me get cards for special summoning out the graveyard. And then the robber, you know, it might come up, it might not, but it's fun. it'll be really fun if it does. And last but not least is the, uh, the game winner. There's no way he'll let me resolve this, but if he does. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get it started. I wager, Dark Magician Girl. I wager, x -Head Cannon. All right, Rare Hunter, are you ready for this duel? I'm wagering my Dark Magician Girl. Well, now I don't feel bad wagering my XYZ Dragon Cannon. I didn't even want to include this in my deck. And, but, but you have to. But it's here now. And this will be in my fusion deck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a fusion deck now, too, by the way. Duelist. Yeah, did you also get an XYZ Dragon Cannon? I got something. It's time to duel. Let the hunt begin. I'll go first. Draw for turn. I activate Pot of Greed. Okay, duel. Let's draw two. Set one monster face down. Set a spell or trap. And I'll end my turn. All right. I draw a duelist. I'll also start off with my own pot of greed. So this is going to allow me to draw two cards from my deck. Normal summons on Briar the Duck. It has 2100 mm. attack, but it can't attack directly. I'll enter the battle phase. One second. Oh, okay. I don't like Zombria. So I use my trap hole to okay. destroy it. All right, Duelist, Zombria is destroyed. Hmm, in that case, I'll set one card face down and end my turn. All right, draw. I will activate Upstart Goblin. Oh, okay, Duelist. I'll give you a thousand life points and draw one card, but I will be taking that thousand back. Ah. I will normal summon my Arsenal Bug, and because I don't have any other insects on my side of the field, its attack is slashed in half. Okay. I'll enter battle and have my arsenal bug attack you directly for a thousand. Well, we're just back where we started, aren't we? That's right, but in a worse position. I'll activate Delinquent Duo. I'll pay another thousand. Well, I guess I'll pay a thousand. Now, what card are we randomly discarding out of that hand of yours? That one. You hit. My United We Stand. That's an annoying card. I'm happy to see it go. And now... Now I have to discard a card. I'll discard... My Dark Magician Girl. She ended up oh, in my wow. hand and I don't Early really break. need her. <laughs> so uh, we won't complain too much about that. Next, I will set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Sangin to the field and has a thousand attack points. I'll enter the battle phase and I'll have Sangin attack your arsenal bug. They have even attack? With even attack points, they'll both be destroyed. Goodbye. But that means bug. my Sangin's effect will activate and let me 
Add a monster with 1,500 or less attack for my deck. Go ahead. To my hand. I'll get Gravekeeper's Guard. What's next? So it's added to my hand, and now I'll end my turn. All right. Draw for turn. Set a card face down. I'll set one more, and I'll end my turn. All right. I draw. I activate. Swords of Revealing Light to wow. flip your monsters face up and see what you're hiding from me, Hunter. What cards do you have face down? Old Vindictive Magician and Man. Woo! I cashed out! I cashed out! Okay. So neither of them is going to be doing much of anything. That is true. They both have flip effects that are mandatory, and Swords of Revealing Light does activate flip effects. So they both have to destroy one monster on the field. That's insane. Say goodbye to your cards. Yeah, they'll destroy each other. Yeah, say goodbye to them both. You still can't attack for three full turns. Wow. Let's see. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. That was the best Swords of Revealing Light I've played in this series. I've played a lot. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Jirai Gamo. Oh, of course, Tim. But I'll end my turn now. All right, so that's the first turn that you won't have been able to attack me. I cannot believe they Draw. I'll flip Swarm of Locusts. When it's flipped face up, or rather flip summon, I can destroy a Magicka Trap card in your side of the field. Say goodbye to this card. I'll use Trap Hole. Darn it, Duelist. That was going to be helpful for me. I was going to try to gather advantage turn over turn. Did not work. Well, that's okay. I'll just set one card face down and pass turn to you. Draw for turn. I will set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I draw. Let's flip Gravekeeper's Guard. I'll select a monster in your field and return it to the hand. Let's return your face down guard to your hand. And that's not all, Duelist. Because now I'll tribute Gravekeeper's Guard for my Jinzo. As long as it's on the field, trap cards can't be activated and against the effects of all face-up trap cards. So I was super happy to finally have Jinzo back in my deck, secret, rare, beautiful, and negating trap cards. So this is definitely one of the big parts of my tribute summon lineup. Once he's out on the field, my opponent basically can't defend themselves. so hopefully we can pull off a pretty easy win with him. Mm -hmm. and That's not good. It's That's time to enter the battle phase. Attack his Jirai Gumo with 2,400 attack points. I didn't think you are going to go this way, Jirai. I'll take 200. 200 points of damage, and now it's your move. Draw for turn. You still can't attack this turn either, so even if you had any hope of swinging over Jinzo, you can say goodbye to that. At least for this turn. This is going to be tough, but I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Alright, that's the end of Swords of Revealing Light. I'll enter the battle phase and have Jinzo attack your face down monster. Jinzo hits, Gravekeeper's Guard. Ooh. So I'll brutal. be sending your Jinzo back to your hand. Well, Gravekeeper's Guard is still destroyed. In main phase two, I'll set one monster face down and pass my turn. Draw for turn. I drew it, somebody you play it. <laughs> I got my card of safe return. Card of safe return. Yeah, I've been trying to get this off for a little bit now. Um, it, it hasn't done great for me so far in the series, so I'm really not 100% sure if it's going to just make it be a huge deal breaker here, but if I can get this effect off, this should lead me straight to victory. It's not my special summoning out the, out the graveyard anytime soon, but it's here. Next, I will set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right. I'll pay 1,000 life points to activate my confiscation. I'll get to look at your hand and send a card to the graveyard. What's in here, duelist? Have a look. Oh, nothing of much value. Let's get rid of Jow's Dark Demise. Goodbye. I'll flip summon Dark Geroid to the field. It won't be able to use its effect since you don't have a face-up monster. But, oh, wait a second. It has to use its effect on itself. Wow, yeah, mandatory it's effects, flip. guys. Oh, God. Okay, well, uh, he has to decrease his attack points by 800 because it seems like he's mandatory. Wow. Well, I'll enter the battle phase. Are you still gonna attack with that? I am. I'll attack your face down monster. He only has 400. <sighs> you hit my spear, Cretan. Spear, Cretan, this is your episode. I love getting this card off, being able to summon monsters from my graveyard. I have card of safe return on board. I have many flip effect monsters that I can keep getting effects off over and over and over again. The only problem is 
Paul gets to do it too. Ah, oh, come on, man. Well, I take 100. Oh my god. That's a very convenient wow. thing. That was gonna give you a lot of cards. Well, that's okay. Wow. I'll go to main phase two. I'll tribute Dark Jeroid to summon Jinzo and end my turn. Draw for turn. You always manage to have a way to summon something from the graveyard. Well, I did. The past tense is strong here. Well, he can still get his effect, right? I don't, I don't know. That is a very strange effect. Yeah, I can still. Okay. I'll switch my spear cretin to attack position. Oh, okay. And I'll enter battle. And we're going this route. Cretin attacks Jinzo. Okay, Jinzo has 2,400 attack points. To my 500. So that means you'll be taking 19? Yes. Cretin is destroyed. Act being his effect. We'll both special summon a monster from our graveyards in face down defense position. All right. Or face up attack position. Three, two, one. Great. Man is bug. Okay. A card was special summoned from my graveyard to the field, so I get to use card of safe return to draw a card. I draws two. Oh, wait, no, it only draws one. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's the other. That's very useful. Oh boy, I hope you didn't get anything too good. Yeah, Fisher. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Destroys the monster on my field with the lowest attack. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll so Jinzo. I'll take that. So I'll normal summon my Jirai Gumo. And I'll oh, end my turn. Dangerous. I draw. <clears throat> Set. A monster face down on the field and flip Gravekeeper's Guard into attack position. Okay. I'll activate its effect to return this card to your hand. All right. And now, it's your move again, Duelist. Fine. Draw! I activate the Shallow Grave. Oh, boy. Each player takes one monster card from their graveyard and special summons them in face down defense position. Let's see. This is a tough decision, Hunter. You never thought you'd be making decisions like this multiple times in a game. Did not think so. <laughs> Did not think so. All right, All right, on three. One, two, three. Oh, Jinzo. Negative. And then I special summon from the graveyard. It's a card of safe return. We'll draw a card. I've been wondering what that card is. I want to activate Nobleman of Extermination on your face down. Oh, okay. I will respond to your nobleman with my Book of Moon. Ooh. I'll target my Gravekeeper's Guard and flip it face down. Let's enter battle. I'll have Jiragamo attack the face down Jinzo. All right, you ready First, to flip a coin? Oh yeah, you can do it that way. Heads or tails? Tails. It's tails, so your life points are safe and Jinzo's destroyed. I knew I should have gotten saying it. Yeah, he had to go. <laughs> I didn't know that you were gonna be destroying my Book of Moon this turn. At least not early. I didn't know I was either. <laughs> true. That's true. I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Alright, I draw. Let's use Nobleman of Extermination on your face down card, Duelist. You hit, my body's a shield. Oh, okay. Alright, let's flip Old Vindictive Magician myself. I was super excited when I pulled Old Vindictive Magician, mainly because I finally have my own man eater bug. And this thing came in so much handy. It actually got played a number of times thanks to some of Alex's cards, but being able to actually just spot remove something as a monster, incredible. Oh man, my body would have come in handy. So, Old Vindictive Magician destroys a monster on the field regardless of position. So, let's destroy Jirai Gumo. Can't have him hanging around here. That's fair. Next, I'll flip Gravekeeper's Guard, which will return a monster on the field back to your hand. Let's return, let's return this one. All right. And next, I'll enter the battle phase. We will attack with Gravekeeper's Guard on your face down monster. Guard hits, Old Vindictive. Okay. Old Vindictive effect will de delete, <laughs> will <laughs> destroy your, your guard. All right, Gravekeeper's Guard is destroyed and now I'll attack you directly with Old Vindictive Magician. I'll take 450. I'll go to main phase two, Duelist. We'll set one card face down in my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down and then set a spell or trap face down and I'll end my turn. All right, draw Rare Hunter. I will enter the battle phase. Old Vindictive Magician is going to attack your face down monster. You hit, man or bug, man or bug effect will destroy your Old Vindictive. I also take 150 surprisingly. Cause he's actually bigger than something for once. Yeah, they have identical stats. I kind of forgot what their stats were. So I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I can swing over this. Main phase two then. I'll set one card phase down and end my turn. During your end phase, I activate 
Call of the Haunted. Oh, a very rude duelist. Okay. Let's see. My target is Jiragumo. Okay. My card will say for turn will let me draw a card. Okay. I'll activate Giant Trunade. Giant Trunade. I've been trying to bounce that Call of the Haunted to my hand. This, in every game, I've had this combination. It, it doesn't always happen. But doing that with card of safe return on board? Come on, man. I'm I'm winning. I am winning. Ooh, okay. To return all spells and traps to our hands. Now, I'll normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. And then... What does he do when he inflicts damage? Oh, yeah. I guess I never resolved it before. Pres presumably, I'll resolve it here. Maybe. Uh, when it inflicts damage, I get to banish two cards or two monsters from your graveyard. Okay. I'll enter battle. Jiragamo attack is phase down. All right. Heads or tails? Heads. It's heads. You're right. safe. You're safe. Let's you see You attack what it is. Gravekeeper's Guard. Oh. I'll go ahead and use its effect and return Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Still doesn't get his effect now. To your head. <laughs> uh, all right. Then in main phase two, I will activate my card of safe return again. And I'll set... Two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. All right, I will activate my Ikibayo Drakmor. <sighs> Ikibayo Drakmor is one of these interesting cards. It's actually older, but it always tries to at least make an impact in every game that it's in. Just preventing a monster from attacking, especially if it's something that's really big, is very crucial, and if it does get to return to my hand, I can just start picking off a board one by one. <clears throat> On your Jirai Gumo. So it won't be able to attack, and it'll be destroyed into the second turn. Next. I will set one card face down on the field and end my turn. During the end phase, I'll activate, you already know it, Call of the Haunted. This time I'll special summon my Arsenal Bug. Okay. And then card a safe return. Let's me draw again. <sighs> Feels good. Draw for turn. I'll activate my spell, Pot of Greed. Okay. To draw two cards. I will enter battle. Arsenal Bug, since I have insects, can actually attack for 2,000 damage. Brings me down to 4750. Then I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. I will. Well, a new move you might not have seen. I normal summon Magical Scientist. Magical Scientist is incredible. This card is banned for very good reason. It's crazy to think that it's a common. I got to summon a lot of really cool fusion monsters with this, and it made a huge impact in this game. What does that mean? What? I can pay 1,000 life points to special summon a level 6 or lower fusion monster from my fusion deck and face up attack position or defense position. It can't attack you directly, and it's returned to the extra deck, or fusion deck, at the end of the turn. I'll activate its effect by paying 1,000 life points. What are you going to make? Say that's hello. Why something? Fiend Skull Dragon. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it actually negates the effects of trap cards that target it. And oh. it, it negates the effects of all flip effect monsters while it's in the field. I'll pay a thousand more life points. Wait, what? Because I can do it multiple times. There's no once per turn? I'll summon Dark Balter. What's that one do? So he can negate a normal spell card by paying a thousand life points. And it negates the effects of any effect monster that's destroyed by battle by him. Y'all don't know, this actually hurts me really bad because LOD is my favorite set of all time and Paul just summoned yeah, like, these two are monsters gonna be the, uh... I always wanted to summon. Now I'm going to enter the battle phase. Attack your man-eater bug with Dark Balter the Terror. Fiend Skull Dragon is going to attack Arsenal Bug. They'll both be destroyed. They have 2,000 yeah, attack points. They will both be destroyed. And now I'll go to main phase two. I'll set one card face down and now I'm going to end my turn, which means Dark Balter returns. All right, Duelist, it's your move. That was a crazy play. It was, was fun. Oh, yeah, so... That means Call the Haunted yeah, is also destroyed. Call the Haunted destroyed. is destroyed. All right, I'll draw for turn. I will normal summon my Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. I'll activate this, my Trap Hole. Since it has more than a 1,000 attack points, say goodbye to Kaiku. Goodbye, Kaiku. Next, I will... So Ikebayo Drachmoid will destroy my Jirai Gamo, and it returns to your hand, right? Yes. <laughs> I'll set a monster phase down, and I'll activate my Book of Moon, targeting my Jiragamo. Okay, to flip it face down, understandable. Ikibao Dragon Ward is destroyed. I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. All right, let's see here. Enter the battle phase. Huh? I'll have magical scientists attack your face down monster. Oh yeah, Jiragamo has only like, <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have much, so. I was like, what is he doing? Set one card face down and end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll normal summon Arsenal Bug. Hmm. 
I'll activate my trap hole. Oh, wow. Okay. Good guy. Arsenal bug. <laughs> Set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll normal summon my Gemini Elf. Hey, secret. Let's. We'll keep an attack for now. Why not? The aggressive scientist plays, y'all. I'm only a little crazy, that's all. <laughs> all right, Gemini Elf. I'll attack your face down monster. You hit Spear Cretin. Oh, okay. He's back again. We're doing it again. All right. One, One two, two, three. three. Spear Cretin. Okay. So Sangin is special summon. Spear Cretin is special summoned. Let's go to Grave. Card of safe return. Okay. Let me draw. Okay. Um, That's going to be... Go to main phase two. Switch my magical scientist to defense position. And I'll end my turn. All right. Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Crossout to destroy and remove from play your Sangin. Okay. So Sangin is banished. Got any more copies? I don't. I don't know what you get out of your reprint packs. You yeah, didn't thankfully <laughs> for you, I don't have another Sangin. Well, it's not a flip effect monster, so it wouldn't have. Oh yeah, that's right. It's just good. Just a just a good monster. Next, I will activate Premature Burial. Okay. I'll pay eight hundred. Jirai Gamo. I'll respond with Raigeki Break. I'll discard my Dark Core to target your Premature Burial and destroy it. Mm. Let's set a monster phase down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw for turn. <clears throat> Let's see. I will activate my magical scientist's effect. I'll pay 1,000 life points to special summon. A thousand eyes restrict. Huh? And Where did you get that? <laughs> yeah, I pulled this thing a long time ago, actually. Way back in Pharaoh's Servant. What? Wow. Okay. Wow, thousand eyes here, guys. Yeah, he's here. He's hanging out. He's having a time. And next, we will I'm really getting activate here. thousand eyes restrict's effect. God, that's I'll get well within your power. This take, card. Take it. It's yours, King. That is your card. All right. I can't believe take this is happening. Face down. So while Thousand Eyes restricts on the field, no other monsters are actually able to attack or change their battle positions. What so just kind of a worthwhile thing to note there. I will. Thirty-six fifty, huh? Thirty-six fifty. Oh, my life points. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay. I'll activate the effect yeah. of magical scientists Woo! one more time. I'll pay the last thousand I'll be able to pay to special summon. Dark Balter the Terrible. Oh, that's a problem. That's a real problem. Next, we're going to tribute Thousand Eyes Restrict. Arf. It was equipped with four star Ladybug of Doom. For my summon skull. Oh, he had a real play. And now, let's see. Gemini Elf. Attack. You hit. Spear Cretan. Yeah, so. Effective Cretan. All right. One, two, three. Old Jinzo. All right. Hey, card of safe return. We'll draw a card. Okay. I will attack with my Dark Balter the Terrible. Dark Balter hits Old Vindictive. Old Vindictive flip effect. Let's destroy Summon Skull. Okay, so you lucked out. You get to live this turn. Yeah, but I, th I thought there's a, there a better way to play that. Jinzo attack you directly. For 2400. All right. I'll end my turn. Draw! Upstart Goblin. I'll take my thousand life points, Duelist. Oh yeah, Dark Balter's returned here, by the way. Activate the Shallow Grave. Oh boy, okay. We'll both special summon a monster from our graves. So this is only face down defense, Only right? face down defense. On three, Duelist? Yes. One, two, two. three. Man, Old Vindictive book. Magician. Old Vindictive's getting a lot of work this game. So much. You've gotten every revival card you run. Card of safe return, draw. So I kind of drew too much. My deck is looking light now. Luckily, I, I think I'm out of revival cards, so uh, hopefully I can bring this home before I deck out. Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Pay 1,000 life points to activate Magical Scientist again. Yes. I'll special summon Dark Balter the Terrible. Back to the field. I'll enter the battle. Dark Balter the Terrible is going to attack this monster. Dark Balter hits Spirit Reaper. All right, next we will attack with Jinzo. On your face down card. Jinzo hits Mayor Bug. Bug effect targeting Jinzo. Jinzo's destroyed. All right, we'll go to main phase two. I'll set it face down and I'll go to the end phase. Dark Balter will return to my extract. You're moved. I'm not giving you any more life points to that again. I mean, if you want to, <laughs> I won't complain. Draw. <sighs> Famous last words. A tribute my, my spirit reaper for Dark Dust Spirit. Ooh, brutal. To destroy all other face-up 
cards on the field. Gemini Elf and Magical Scientist are both destroyed. I'll attack your old Vindictive. All right. Old Vindictive Magician's effect will destroy your Dark Dust Spirit. Yes. And uh, I'll end my turn. I'll flip Summon Spirit Reaper. Oh, that's actually button. pretty decent here. <clears throat> I'll attack you directly with Spirit Reaper. All right. For 300, we'll be taking this out of your hand. Your Swarm of Locusts. Goodbye, Locusts. I'll go to main phase two to set a card and pass turn to you, Duelist. Draw for turn. Set a card face down. I'll end my turn. Draw. Back to defense position. <laughs> with Spirit Reaper. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Normal Summon Exiled Force. Ooh, brutal, brutal. Effective Exiled Force. Attribute himself, targeting your Spirit Reaper. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll Normal Summon Tribe Infecting Virus. Whoa. Which I can't use right now, but I'll go ahead and enter the battle phase. Attack. You hit, man your bug. Mm, I'll destroy Tribe Infecting Virus. Set one card face down and pass turn, Duelist. Draw, set, pass. Draw, set, pass. Draw. Activate Wave Motion Cannon. Ooh, of course it shows up here. Hmm. I'll activate Magic Drain. I'm so mad he answered my Wave Motion. Like, I, this was gonna end it. This was gonna clean it out. G guys, it got negated so fast, I didn't even get to completely explain what it does. But all I needed for this to do was to sit on the field for two turns, and then I would have burned him out. <laughs> so sad. Ooh! It'll negate your wave motion cannon unless you can discard a spell card. Yeah, that negates wave motion cannon. Thank God, because I was going <laughs> to die. <laughs> I was going to die otherwise. That hurts. All right, it's on you. Draw. Normal summon. Yomi ship in attack position. The aggressive ship. Yomi ship attack directly for 800 points of damage. I'll take it. Putting you at 150 to my 750. <laughs> Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Normal summon Swarm of Locusts. Enter battle. Battle enter. Swarm attacks. Okay. So you have 1,000 to my 800. Yes. That means I'll take 200 points of damage. So I take 200, and then Yomi Ship's effect will activate. To destroy my swarm? That's right. My body is a shield. You don't even have the life points to pay. The game's over. I have yeah. no deck, guys. I have no deck. It's gone. All right, so that concludes another episode of The Rare Hunters. It ends with another victory for me. This is such a shame. All right, hand it shame. over. Hand what, what it sure over. What do you, what do you mean? Hand over. Huh? V. Oh, 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 that? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, no. God. It's go Oh, God, it's too far away. Uh, oh, okay, he got it. I'm the proud owner of a card I won't actually be really using in my deck. XYZ Dragon King. It doesn't look nice. It does look nice, though. All right. So that is the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. So if you did, make sure to drop a like. Let us know what you thought of the duel, the cards. And let us know what was your favorite card from Magicians Forest. Wow. All right, guys. So you know our mercy rule. Two packs to the loser, one for the winner. I have yet to pull something really nice out of these, so I'd like to start now. Masaki. Humanoid Worm Drake, Mystic Lamp, The Portrait Secret, Giant Germ, Armored Lizard, Dust Tornado, it's not bad, Backup Soldier, Infinite Dismissal, Yumi, The Shallow Grave, you guys oh, know no, I love no, this no, card, no. Messenger of Peace. All you know right. what? That's one of my better packs. Thousand Eyes Idol. Relevant. Karate Man, Manga Ryuran, Flying Comic Card number one. Mahavelo, another one. Mask of Darkness, finally, I could actually use that. Spellbinding Circle could be helpful. Gamble, Attack and Receive, Soul Release, Eternal Rest, and Upstart Goblin. We have. Whoa! Whoa, okay. <laughs> this did not, I was not prepared. Uh, so I have another Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> it's a sign, I guess. Swordsman of Landstar, White Magical Hat, Flash Assailant, Kotadama, Mother Grizzly, Dragon Capture Jar, Grave Robber, Solemn Wishes, Soul Release, Eternal Rest, and Upstart Goblin. I, I have another. Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to use it. <clears throat> All right, so that concludes this episode of The Rare Hunters. Next time we'll be playing with Dark Crisis. My comeback set. We'll see, look forward to it. And without further ado, pass turn. Yum, 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 yum.
Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. The segment where we take classic Yu-Gi-Oh products, open them, build decks, and stake our rarest card in the result of a duel. And this week we have Dark Crisis. That's right, the infamous blue set, the ninth Yu-Gi-Oh set. This set has such popular cards as Vampire Lord, Didi Warrior Lady, Butterfly Dagger Alma, and Skill Drain. And without further ado, we're gonna bust this bad boy open, see what we can pull, build our decks, and let the hunt begin. That's right, drop a like, we're gonna get into it. Hey guys, real quick before we get started, I just checked and found out that over half of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed to the channel. We really put a lot of work into making duels like this, and we wanna be the first Yu-Gi-Oh! channel ever to hit a million subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't already, please, please, please help us out and sub to the channel. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, I'm up first, opening up my half of Dark Crisis. Now, guys, remember, this is one of those hobby boxes, so there are 36 packs in here. So that means we're getting 18 each. We have Staunch Defender, Archfiend Drawer, Thousand Needles, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Archfiend Soldier, a very solid vanilla, Rod of Silence Chaos, Little Wing Guard, Arsenal Summoner, Battle Footballer, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, Spell Reproduction, Gaga Gigo, another really solid vanilla, Non Spell Casting Area, yikes, Different Dimension Gate, Final Attack Orders, Ojama Trio, Guardian Elma, True S Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. We have Despair from the Dark. Now, this card's actually kind of funny because. When it's sent from hand or deck to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, it special summons itself. And we make each other discard things all the time, especially me with Delinquent Duo. So, this could be relevant. Acrobat Monkey, Shooting Star Bow Seal, Frozen Soul, Great Maju Garzet. We all knew a guy in the playground that tried to make this card work. Cetus of Dagla and Drag Down into the Grave is in here? Yikes. Sakuretsu Armor, a great battle trap. Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Loyal Goblin, Guardian Bow, Zolga. <laughs> the Zolga that people are dealing with right now is very different. Uh, Deskwork Archfiend, Guardian Chaos, and Checkmate. Still no hollow. Getting worried, but I know, I know this, it'll come through for me, I know. Agido, Kelbeck, Battle Scarred, Infernal Queen Archfiend, Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Gravity X Grarl. There's a lot of equip spell stuff in here. Maybe that can come in handy when I build my deck. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Ray of Hope. Oh! Berserk Dragon is my super, and I want to cry because this card can only be special summoned by the effect of a deal with Dark Ruler. Hmm. Sakuretsu Armor, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Loyal Goblin, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, Skill Drain. I'm liking some of these traps, guys. I don't, I haven't really pulled many monsters that I like, but the traps, the traps are good. Come on, give me something better than Berserk Dragon. Archfiend Drawer, Thousand Needles, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Keldio, or Keldo, Wicked Breaking Flamberg Bow, Token Thanksgiving, Moral Boost, or not Moral, Morale Boost, Dark Scorpion, Chick the Yellow, Falling Down. Take control of your opponent's face-up monsters? That's a reason to play Archfiends. Arsenal Robber, Dark Scorpion Gorg the Strong, Fairy of the Spring, DD Trainer, Legendary Flame Lord, a ritual monster. I feel like I'm going to pull Exodia ne Necros now. That's another card I can't use. I feel like that's just very likely here. Non spell casting area, Ray of Hope, Nin Ken Dog, Solid Vanilla, Dark Scorpion Minet the Thorn. I called it! I. I, I got Exodia Necros! So guys, if you don't know, this is the, uh, I guess, the evil Exodia. I don't know if Exodia is necessarily a good card. But this guy works with your Exodia pieces being in the graveyard. And that wouldn't be completely horrible, except I don't have them all. So... Oh, it's still a cool card, but I just don't have any enough Exodia pieces. We have Kelbeck, Battle Scarred, Despair from the Dark, Acrobat Monkey, Secret Rare! Judgment of Anubis. Discard one card from your hand to negate the activation and the effect of a spell card controlled by your opponent that includes the effect of destroying spell and trap cards on the field and destroy it. Paul does have Heavy Storm. Then you can destroy one face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field and inflict damage to your opponent equal... Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Last pack, last pack. Let's do it. 
Ray of Hope, Ninken Dog, Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn, Arsenal Robber, Butterfly Dagger, Elma. So what makes Elma cool is when this card is destroyed, I think it just, it's a return to your hand. It just goes to your hand. This is constant card advantage. It only increases your monster attack by 300, but it's always a card. These are my pulls, guys. Berserk Dragon, Exodian Necros, Judgment of Anubis, and Dark Master Zork. Um, I guess Judgment of Anubis is going to have to be my bet here. I mean, it's not a bad card. It's pretty useful. So, yeah. I wish Paul all the luck. And, guys, I have one pack of Dark Beginning. One of our, one of our last ones. I think we only have three, counting this one. So, let's see if I can get that Head of Exodia. And then maybe I can play Necros. We have Mad Sword Beast, Giant Germ, Armored Lizard, Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Hysteric Fairy, Big Eye, Shadow of Eyes, Fairy's Hand Mirror, Tornado Wall, Lightning Blade, Mystic Plasma Zone, Red Medicine. We didn't see the Exodia, guys. What can I say? All right, guys, so it's my turn to open up these packs of Dark Crisis. But first, as always, I've got a classic issue of Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! To show you guys, this is the one that released when Dark Crisis released, I believe. So, a lot of really cool things here. I didn't know that there was an SD Gundam card game, for one. Um, let's see. Merrick the Madman. As always, you can buy cards from Dave and Adam's Card World. They actually still exist today. There's Beckett's Hot List, the 10 most popular Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And they also, of course, are talking about Dark Crisis today. Let's see if there's anything else. So yeah, this shows all of the rare cards that we could be pulling. I'm hoping to get the Warrior Lady, but I also would not mind. Even just something like Reflect Bounder might be really cool. I don't know a lot about Dark Crisis. I really don't. Um, I don't remember buying much of this set as a kid, so this will at least be a new experience for me in that way. All right, we've got Mustering of the Dark Scorpion, Spell Reproduction. Send two spells from your hand to the grave. Select a spell from your grave and add it to your hand. Gaga Giko, another powerful vanilla monster, non-spellcasting area. And super rare off the bat, Spell Vanishing. Pajama Green, Token Thanksgiving, Morale Boost, and Dark Scorpion, Chick the Yellow. All the Dark Scorpions have pretty useful effects, but I think that uh, Don's Alug is easily the best one. But Chick the Yellow might have some uses. All right, another Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong, Fairy the Spring, Diddy Trainer, Agito. I know people aren't too happy with a more modern version of this card right now. Akeldo, another Shizu card. Sakuretsu Armor, we're finally getting into the Really useful battle traps, because Mirror Force is long gone, so this is kind of the next best thing. It destroys an attacking monster. Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Loyal Goblin, Contract with the Abyss. I guess this can summon, Ritual summon any dark monster. Dark Bishop Archfiend, okay. So we're getting some Archfiends to start. Altar for Tribute, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. So much focus on Ritual Monsters in the early, or not Ritual Monsters, but so much focus on equip spells in the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! with Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. All right, Fairy of the Spring, Didi Trainer, Agito, Kelbeck, Wicked Breaking Flameberg Bow, Little Ring Guard. You can change his battle position at the end of your turn. Incandescent Ordeal, another Sakuretsu Armor, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Blindly Loyal Goblin, and another super rare card, Mirage Knight. Archfiend's Roar, Thousand Needles, Shadow Knight Archfiend again, Keldo, and a super rare Mudora. And final countdown. Uh, pay 2,000 life points. 20 turns later, the duel will end and you will win. So it puts the game on a clock. And given how long these rare hunter duels go, this could actually be a viable strategy. All right. Spell reproduction. Gaga Gigo. Non-spellcasting area. Ray of Hope. Dark Scorpion combination. Sakuretsu Armor. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Blinding Little Goblin. All right. I did get an Ultra. It's not exactly what I wanted. This is Guardian Growl. I can only summon it while there's a Gravity Axe Growl on the field. Battle Scar. An Acrobat Monkey. Guardian Trice. Lots of these guardians in this set. I almost forgot that those were a thing, but they are. This is the last pack. Come on, Dark Crisis. Give me, uh... Just give me something, you know? Acrobat Monkey, Sasuke Samurai, Infernal Queen Archfiend, Arsenal Summoner, Battle Footballer, Precious Cards from Beyond, and Vile Pawn Arch. So unfortunately, unless I missed it, I did not get a copy of Pandemonium, but I did get a number of really cool foil cards, some of which I might actually be able to use, and it looks like I'm going to be Wager. My Guardian Growl. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have a pack of Dark Beginning 1. I think this is one of our last packs to open and see what reprints we can get to improve our decks. We've got the Legendary Fisherman, Minar, Penguin Knight, Dark King of the Abyss, Parasite Parasite, Aquamador, Jam Defender, Life Force Sword, Gamble, Reliable Guardian, Rising Air Current, and Malevolent Nuzzler. 
Bit of a dud, this pack. That's okay, let's get to the deck building. Hey guys, so this is my list for today's rare hunters. Um, the core of the deck is the same, but I want to be sure that I can actually use my uh, resurrection spells to great effect. So I, I kind of went hard on big guys. And uh, I have uh, an insurance policy, you know, in case uh, things go awry. And they will, you guys know what happened last time I summoned these guys. But uh, I guarantee, no matter how this game goes, that I will have the strongest monster on the board. Oh, also, alternate win time. All right, guys, so here is the deck that I'm working with. I wanted to show you what I've changed. There's actually not a lot that's different, mostly because Dark Crisis is Maybe not the most exciting new set, but I did sort of change things, so. Okay, so here's the deck list um, and a few of the cards that I took out as well, and I'll explain. So the monsters are basically the same, but I did add in these two copies of Archfiend Soldier because it's much stronger. It's 1900, so I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more on offense. I also added great Maju Garzette. It gets double the attack whatever you tribute for it, which could be pretty cool, although most of my monsters are kind of weak. I'm hoping to maybe tribute one of these to give him extremely high attack strength. Other than that, um, not too much has changed the monsters. I did take out a few of the tribute monsters and just things that didn't seem like they were being too helpful up to now. Spells, I believe, are pretty much unchanged. Traps, so I took out Needle Sealing. It was just too specific to use. Um, Raigeki Break and Mirror Wall for the Sakuretsu Armors because I feel like they're just more applicable in a number of situations. Attacks happen a lot. And that's pretty much the deck. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I wager Guardian Grarl. Just kidding. I'm wagering Swords of Revealing Light. I wager Judgment of Anubis. All right. All right, Hunter. I want your Judgment of Anubis. And I want your... Gravity Axe Gararl. Wow, I don't want toss it off the your table. Swords of Revealing Light. Why don't you want Gravity Axe Gararl? Let me see it, where is it? That card is terrible, horrible. Just a terrible Yeah, card. okay, understandably, Gravity X Grawl would not be of much use if you won it. All right. I know That's you're tired unfair. of losing to it, so. Exactly, I want, I want to win with it now. All right, well, high roll, Hunter. To see who high goes roll. first. I rolled a four. Hey, your rolls are not high. Ah. You got a two? Well, good. That means I get to go first this time. All duel. right, that's fair. Okay. Master wow. Merrick favors me. I don't know. Not very much, but. I, I don't know. He gave you a four. That's just his rating of you. He thinks you're a four. All right. I will draw for my first turn. I almost forgot that I get to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's We're smart. playing the smart. old school rules. I'll set one monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Hmm. I'll normal summon. Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Ooh, okay. What and is I, his effect again? If he does battle damage, he can banish up to two cards from your graveyard. That's fine, Duelist. I'm not afraid of Kaiku, it the better Ghost be Destroyer. Fine, because, well, it's not really going to happen right now. Enter battle! Attack! All right, you attacked my Sangin. Aww. Since it was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can get a monster with 1,500 or less attack from my deck to my what hand. What will you bring to counter my Ghost Destroyer? There are really all kinds of things I could summon, Duelist. I'll get my Yomi Ship. Aww. A card that will help me float my way to victory. We'll see about that. I'll set two cards face down. I'll end my turn. I draw. All right, well, I'm going to activate my bait doll. Oh. Forces the activation of a face down card. Ah, you're forcing my call of the haunted. And since the activation timing is incorrect, it's negated and destroyed. Say goodbye to call of the haunted. Well, it's, it's activation timing <laughs> isn't incorrect. This has no targets. Yeah. It, goodbye, call of the haunted. Set one card face down and end my turn. All right, draw. Ah, an old favorite of mine. Say hello, Jirai Gamo. Oh, 2200 attack point beat stick spider guy. That's right, and don't wear it out. That's its name. I'll enter battle. You took a risk, so I'll take one too. Jirai Gamo, attack. All right, you ready to flip your coin? Heads. Heads? Oh, you got yes. lucky. Your life points are not halved. But you attack my Spirit Reaper, which can't be destroyed oh. by battle. Spirit Reaper is actually like a low-key, really good card. It stalls, yeah, but the fact that once it starts attacking, it can rip stuff out of my opponent's hand means they have to deal with it, and it can bait out anything that wants to target it just to get it off the field. I'll set the card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. 
Let's set a monster of our own and two cards face down. Remove Duelist. Draw for turn. My Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed by battle. So as strong as your Jirai Gumo is, it's still not helpful to you here. Well, I mean, I'm not taking that risk again. I mean, and I know you got a Yomi, Yomi ship earlier, so I really, I can't just willy-nilly attack things right now. There's so no I'll telling set, what set face down. And I'll pass turn. All right. I draw. Hmm. I mean, there's really no reason to rush. My monsters are way stronger than yours. I'll set another card face down, and let's see if we can have a little bit of fun. I'll normal summon Magical Scientist in attack mode. Hmm, interesting. As you know, he lets me pay a thousand life points to summon a level six or lower fusion monster from my fusion deck. Let's pay a thousand life points to activate his effect. Who do I want? To summon Thousand Eyes Restrict in defense Ooh. mode. <clears throat> now, I'll activate Thousand Eyes Restrict's effect and take control of Kaya. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it really matters. We'll take Jirai Gumo. Fine. And it's attached to Thousand Eyes Restrict. That's an equip spell card. Well, I still can't actually do too much destroying right now, so. And go to the end phase of my turn. I'll let Thousand Eyes Restrict return to my extra deck, which means your Jirai Gumo. Is sent to the graveyard in the process. Your move duelist. Fine. Draw. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. As you left your scientist just sitting there ready to be destroyed. Kaiku, attack. All right. I will. Unfortunately, let my magical scientist be destroyed. And that also means you'll get to get some cards out of my grave, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> I'll take 1,500 damage. Kaiku effect. Ghost destruction! I don't know what you call it. I'll banish both your magical scientists and Sangin. Had a feeling. I mean, they're the only two options, so. In main phase two, I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll also set a monster face down on the field. Oh. And end my turn. Draw! You're gonna regret <clears throat> that. Flip summon. Old Vindictive Magician. Okay. And I'll use her effect to destroy your spirit reaper. Get out of here, reaper. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I don't fear the Reaper. <coughs> Spear Reaper is destroyed. I know I shouldn't, but the power of this card in my hand <coughs> is simply too powerful. A its destructive move. might will rend this battlefield asunder. I tribute both my monsters to summon the mighty Bamuai's White Dragon. Wow, a risky move, given all that you know about my deck. However, his summon is, in fact, okay. For now. Really? We'll see if that changes soon. Enter battle! Battle entered in Duelist. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, attack his face down. You attacked. Old Vindictive Magician of my own. Hmm. And now I'll use her effect to target your Blue Eyes, White Dragon and destroy it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know! Guys, he didn't know. He didn't know. He couldn't have known. Did he know? Your effect destroys my blue eyes white dragon. And now I activate a deal with the dark ruler. Okay. What? <laughs> when a level eight or more monster is sent from my field to the graveyard, I can special summon one berserk dragon from my hand or deck. What in the actual? Well, Old Vindictive is also destroyed. Say hello to, where, where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Say hello to berserk dragon. <laughs> he thought he destroyed my blue eyes, but it was berserk dragon all along. Okay, what the hell does he do? Oh, we can attack all my monsters once each. It's 3,500 <laughs> attack. Now, Berserk Dragon, attack his face down. Well, you know what this is. It's my Yomi ship. I do, in fact, know exactly what that card is. And since it got destroyed, that means that it'll destroy the monster that destroyed it. My body as a shield. Oh. I pay 1,500 to negate your destruction. Well, I would let you do that, but I have Magic Drain. That's right. If you're not willing to discard a spell card, it'll negate the effect of your spell card. Hope you've got all one too duelist. willing to discard my Book of Moon. Oh, okay. Well, all right then, duelist. Have it your way. My berserk dragon stays. 
And my Yomi ship goes. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I'll end my turn. Berserk Dragon's attack is reduced by 500. All right, I draw for turn. Ooh, I don't have a way of dealing with him right now, at least. I'm not going to lie, I did not expect that to show up on the field. But you know what? I will just set a card face down and pass my turn. Draw for turn. Speaking of draw, I activate Pot of Greed. Okay, what does that do? I'll draw two cards from my deck. I'm, I'm glad I could do that not your magic drains out the way. Yeah, normally I'd love to use a magic drain on a Pot of Greed. I'll tell you what. And now I have even more cards to play, like my other win condition. I activate Final Countdown! I knew I needed more than just to reduce his life points to zero to win this game. That's why I picked out Final Countdown. Now to drag this game out. Oh, you put that in your deck, huh? That's right. Okay. Now this game is on a clock. I pay 2,000 life points. And when this counter hits 20, this game is over and I win. So it's a ticking time bomb. Oh god, what other crazy cards do you have? Normal summon, Jirai Gumo. Oh, mounting the pressure. He's 3,000, right? Yes, he was 500 during each end phase, or each of my end phases. All right, enter battle. Battle entered. Jirai Gumo, attack directly. All right, you ready to flip your coin? Yes. Tails. Ah! Heads, oh, your life points get cut ah. in half though, Duelist. Hope you're ready for that. But you still take the damage. I activate Mirror Force ah! to destroy all of your attack position monsters. Say goodbye to Berserk Dragon and Jirai ah. Gumo. This duel is not over yet. Fine, I end my turn. I draw. Lucky for you, I don't have any offense for now. But I'll set a card face down and pass to you. All right, draw for turn. Turn, turn three. three. I activate the Shallow Grave. Oh, I figured you'd have a card like that. Well, I don't have an answer, All but right. that's okay. We'll both select the monster to special summon to the field. All right, same time. Three, two, one. I shouldn't have picked this. I picked Spirit Reaper. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the bad, no, the worst pick. I, mean, I actually picked it because I thought you'd pick the Spirit Reaper. And I'll end my turn. All right, I draw. We're on turn four. Smart move, Duelist. Okay. Well, what if I use this? I'll flip summon Gravekeeper's Guard. Ah! <clears throat> I can select a monster and return it to your hand. I want to say, say goodbye, Blue Eyes. You can say hi to your Blue Eyes in your hand. And now... I'll flip Spirit Reaper. Oh, and you know pretty what that deadly. means. I'll enter the battle phase. Spirit Reaper will attack you directly for 300. Mm. If you can target it with an effect, though, it'll be destroyed. Sakuretsu armor. Maybe it wasn't a waste. Spirit Reaper is destroyed. And that protects your hand for now. Gravekeeper's Guard attack directly for 1,000. I'll take it. Your move, Duelist. All right. Draw for turn. Go to five. I'll end my turn. Six. Draw. I will tribute Gravekeeper's Guard. Oh? To summon my Chaos Command Magician. Oh, Chaos Command Magician. Truly one of the most useful cards of this duel. I know that Alec loves his old Vindictive Magicians, his many your bugs, and getting this card out means that they can't target it. That's so helpful because that strategy is so annoying otherwise. That's a good card. <clears throat> it negates the effects of monsters that target it. Man, you should have said all that in past tense. Activate Trap Hole! Ooh, I wish it could negate anything that targets it. That means Chaos Command Magician is destroyed. I'll set one card face down. Your move to list. Draw for turn. Turn seven. Ooh. Mm. Feeling nervous? Only a little. Well, I'll just set a monster face down. Now I'll end my turn. I draw. Set a monster face down as well. Your move. Good. Draw. Ow. Flip summon. Swarm of locusts. Now I can destroy one of your spell or trap cards. Target this one. Well, I will activate <clears throat> my trap hole on your swarm of locusts. Mm. It has a thousand attack points, which will get it off the field, but this will still destroy my rush recklessly. Goodbye, my swarm. Not bad, not bad. Set a monster face down. I'll end my turn. Draw. Hmm. I'll set another monster. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll do the same. 
And I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll end my turn. All right, we're more than halfway there. I'll flip summon. Man-eater bug. Okay. I'll destroy this card. You destroyed my magician of faith. Then I'll flip summon Sukuyomi. Sukuyomi is low-key the best card I saw in my packs. Uh, this enables what I like to call bug control, where I'm just gonna keep flipping my man-eater bugs face down and flipping them face up over and over again to hopefully just out advantage him and end this game. Oh, vicious. And I use Sukuyomi's effect to reset my man your bug. Okay. Now, A Sukuyomi, one. attack his face down. You attacked my Gravekeeper's Guard. Mm. With 1900 defense, that means that you're going to be taking 800 damage. I will. Not only that, but Gravekeeper's Guard's effect will activate and target one of your monsters to return it to your hand. Which one? Let's get... Let's have... Your man-eater bug return here. You mean my face down. Your man-eater bug, maybe? Mayhap? Could be? I'll activate the Shallow Grave! Ah, okay. More of this, huh? That's right. So we both get to summon a monster in face down defense position. All right, I've picked mine. And I have mine. Three, two, one. Old Vindictive. Chaos Command Magician. Wait! Oh no! That's right, Chaos Command oh. Magician can't be targeted. Oh, by monster oh, effects. No. Oh no. Which could I'm, spell your demise. I think next I just lost this game. Go to end phase. Sukiyomi returns. That's right. And I draw for turn. Starting the 12th turn. But there won't be any more turns if this goes as planned. So, flip summon. Chaos command magician. He negates the effects of monsters that target him. You know what that means. I'll change Gravekeeper's guard to attack position. And enter the battle phase. I'll attack your face down monster. You hit old vindictive magician. I'll use our effect to destroy guard. Your keeper's guard's destroyed, but your life points are wide open, rare hunter. Attack directly for 2400 with chaos command magician. That's game. Ah. And this was my hand. And also one with only eight turns left. All right, that concludes this episode of the rare hunters. Hand over your rarest card, Hunter. Man, take this card, man. I didn't, I didn't want that card in the first place. That's right. That card ugly anyway. The Judgment of Anubis is now mine. Oh, mine. Nah, you know what? I want to apologize to my fans. Uh, I did not perform the way that uh, I was expected to, how you expect me to. I let you and my city down. You did summon Berserk Dragon, just worth I did do that. I did, and I want that to be on the record, that I did summon Berserk Dragon, but, uh... That puts the record at five and four in my favor. I know a lot of people at the beginning of this segment were like, oh, nope, it's over, you know, abandon all hope, Paul can't win. Look at me now. Next time, though. Next time. Next time is IOC. That's my sex. That's seen a name, like Alec. Yeah, that's Invasion of Chaos which is one of the most powerful and influential sets in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're looking forward to it. So as always, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for the super thanks. We do appreciate it. These boxes are not cheap to come by, so uh, any hurt. help is appreciated. So yeah, uh, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one. When the hunt continues, pass, pass turn. turn. Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. The segment where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, build our decks, and stake our rarest cards on the result of a duel, all in service of Master Merrick. This time we have Invasion of Chaos. Chaos. That's right, one of the most iconic game-changing sets in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, with such powerful cards as Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Dark Magician of Chaos. And Chaos Sorcerer. And so many more powerful common cards and rares and everything else. So this one's gonna be pretty exciting. If I don't change my whole deck this time, I quit. All right, so without further ado, drop a like on the video and comment your favorite card from this set, Invasion of Chaos. So without further ado, let the hunt begin right after a word from our sponsor. If you hate cooking but also hate fast food as much as I do, then make your next food order at Factor 75 today. Factor meals are fresh, chef-created meals that are delivered straight to your door. Every meal is designed by dietitians to ensure premium nutritional quality. 
I love factor meals because they are convenient. Meal planning and ingredient prepping, if I wanted to do that, I would have been a chef. Factor already works with my lifestyle. The meals are ready to go when I am, they can take as little as two minutes to prepare, and they have grab and go options like smoothies and shakes. Most importantly, I get to say goodbye to takeout. All that fast food and eating out was wreaking havoc on my digestive system and my wallet. So try Factor today by hitting the link in the description or go to factor75.com and use the code POGAPSJAN60 for 60% off your first box. Thanks again to Factor75 for sponsoring today's video. All right, so I'm gonna be opening first, but first I wanted to show you guys this Beckett Yu-Gi-Oh! magazine from the time period. One sec, guys. We noticed that half of you watching this video right now are not not subscribe to the channel and we'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button right now because we're trying to be the first Yu-Gi-Oh channel to hit 1 million subscribers and we'd really appreciate you smacking that subscribe button and helping us reach our goal. All right, back to the video. Rare Invasion. Here's a closer look at the rare cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh Invasion of Chaos set. And they show all kinds of cool things that we can pull. Like Chaos Emperor Dragon, the DD Scout plane, I remember this one, Freed. I also remember Strike Ninja being really impactful. Of course, there's Blackluster Soldier, and we also get all kinds of other cards that hopefully we will pull in here. So thinking back to just my childhood experiences with this set, I feel like it was uh, one of those ones that probably divided the kids with money from the kids without it. Um, I know that, you know, obviously the Chaos Monsters are in here and they're very impactful, but um, there were sort of budget versions of the Chaos Monsters. I remember like the Chaos Dragon Levia Daedalus or whatever was sort of like a nerfed Chaos Emperor Dragon, so if you couldn't afford Chaos Emperor Dragon or couldn't get it or whatever, then you could use that instead. Grin Maju Daiza, a deck that I run to this day in tournaments. I love it to death. Tower of Babel. Drilago. Merrick uses this card in the anime. Recycle. A Hero Emerges. Desk Kangaroo and Prickle Fairy. Sylphid. Fiend's Hand Mirror. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Molten Zombie and my first ultra rare is the weirdest card, Dark Mirror Force. You can only activate this when your opponent declares an attack. Remove all monsters in defense position on your opponent's side of the field from play. So we do have our first foil card, a Dark Mirror Force. Uh, not exactly what I expected, but it's a Mirror Force card, so. Griffin's Feather Duster. This is actually destroy all spells and traps on your side of the field and increase your life points. Inferno. Heart of the Underdog, a new format that actually gives some modern Yu-Gi-Oh! and a way of drawing Exodia if you actually have all the pieces. Jade Insect Whistle, Sacred Crane, when it's special summoned, the controller draws one card. And Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell, a card that is a common but I'm sure will make a huge impact in some of these duels. You discard a spell from your hand and negate the activation of a spell card and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate any more spells with that name for the rest of the duel. Blazing Apache, Zero Gravity, a super rare Wild Nature's Release. Increase the attack of a face of beast or beast warrior by an amount equal to its defense. But you destroy the monster at the end of the turn. Hmm, a little rough. You're not the best super. I fear for what Alec might pull from this now. Hello, Luster Shield. Ojama Black, Blasting the Ruins, Neobug. Berserk Gorilla, one of the stronger cards in the set. 2,000 attack, but it can't be in defense position and it always has to attack. Multiplication Advance, Terra King Salmon, Ojama Delta Hurricane, and Recycle. Blazing Impachi, Zero Gravity, Witch Doctor of Chaos, Shopman, the Desperate Outlaw, and a super rare, Freed. Freed, the Brave Wanderer. Remove two light monsters in your grave from play. Destroy a monster in the field with higher attack in this card. He's just a level four. Jade Insect Whistle, Sacred Carrion, Curse Seal, and Gigantes again. Okay, so, these are these three cards, Dark Mirror Force, Wild Nature's Release, and Freed the Brave Wonder, are my pulls from Invasion of Chaos. What will we get beyond this? Will Alec get better than me? Probably so. Wish me good luck. All right, guys, it's my turn to open up Invasion of Chaos. And, uh, guys, so I have a bit of a story about this set. Uh, this set is actually kind of triggering a little traumatic for me because a long, long time ago, Alex and I went to our first Books A Million Yu-Gi-Oh! meetup, and a guy there saw that we had the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection promos, and he wanted them so badly. So you know what he did? Well, it might have been Legendary Collection promos. Either way, we had some rare cards. He offered us two Ziploc bags 
filled with commons from this set for all of our rarest cards. And like the idiots we were, we just thought, ooh, more cards for a few cards, and we made that trade. Guys, you don't want to know how many copies of the commons from this set that I had just sitting at home. It, I've never seen a hollow from this set, so um, maybe this will break the curse. Inferno, DNA Transplant, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, Don Turtle, DD Designator, it's a super rare, declare one card name, look at your opponent's hand, and if he or she has the declared card in their hand, remove that one card from play. So, so I have this hard guess if they have it. Uh. So a hollow straight off the bat. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. That's more hollows than I saw as a child. I promise you that. <laughs> uh. Pulsary evacuation device. That's a sick rare. A very powerful rare. Gigantes, multiplication of ants, terror king salmon, and recycle. Sea serpent warrior of darkness. Chaos sand. Big koala. <gasps> Ultra rare. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. What? What? Guys, you summon this by banishing a light and dark monster. This card can either remove one of your opponent's monsters from play or can attack twice in a battle phase. This is a huge, huge card and more than likely when, I have, when I'm gonna have to wager, I can't afford to lose this. Oh, the pressure. I'd like to see one more hollow though, because just two feels low. Chaos End, Big Koala, Blazing Empachi, Zero Gravity, and wow, I asked for a hollow and I got Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. You gotta offer one, offer one Torpedo Fist on a fish on side of your field as tribute to destroy a monster on the field. I don't even know if I have one of those. Spatial Collapse, Ojama Yellow, Balloon Lizard, Chaos Greed. And last pack, I still I got a, a Blacklisted Soldier, so I, I can't be mad. I don't, I don't care what it is, really. Chaos Necromancer, Neobug, Salvage, Sylphid, Getsu Fuma. This one can... Yeah, if she battles a Fiend or a Zombie Monster, you destroy it immediately. You do not do damage calculation. Ooh, boy, this, uh, this Blacklisted Soldier, man. Guys, I think you know this is, this is going to be my wager, and uh, I wish Paul the best luck. He's going to need it. Okay guys, Paul here. So this is my new deck for this episode. I've changed a few cards. There were certainly some that I considered that I'll go over here in a second, but we're basically going with a pretty similar lineup. However, I've added cards like this for beat sticking power. Also this one. I've added, uh, this actually is an older card from Magician's Force that'll help me toolbox my deck a little bit. And let's see, are any other new monsters to speak of? Oh, and of course, Chaos Sorcerer, gotta have him. Now I did also change my spell lineup ever so slightly. This is meant to be a risky sort of search solution that hopefully will uh, pay off for me. And this is another way to deal with spell cards, another way to deal with certain nuisances. You guys know the variety. And uh, yeah, other than that, the deck is about the same. It should play about the same. We'll see if I can make use of the very few light monsters that I have. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. Some of the cards that I considered were this Cursed Seal of Friend Spell, Zero Gravity, Begone Knave, um, Destruction Ring. I didn't have enough Earth Monsters to use Gigantes. Um, I didn't feel like Gale Lizard was really worth it. Stealth Bird's kind of trolly, but like, eh. And uh, Crimson Ninja can get rid of traps, but I was just like, nah. So, this is a build. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so this is my deck for today's Rare Hunters. So, I mean, you guys saw that I did pull two very powerful Chaos Monsters. So this deck has a very strong dark and light theme to it. I did keep a lot of my uh, my favorite strongest cards from previous duels. So I spelled the spell lineup and like these Earth Monsters for the most part, they haven't really changed. Um, I did add in some, look guys, light monsters are hard to come by. So I added in some like, while decently strong stat wise, light monsters their effects aren't uh stellar but i'm gonna try to make work with them anyway because i mean at the end of the day it's about getting these guys out this is what this deck's trying to do and um yeah i'm gonna try to out chaos him and and keep my black Luster soldier i don't even remember what he's what he's wagering but uh ho hopefully i get it for this duel i wager my mirror force i'll wager Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. All right. All right, bring it on, a rare hunter. I'm going to be winning Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. And I'm taking your, 
your mirror force. I don't want that dark mirror force. Yeah, that's an understandable wager. Um, I'll wager my mirror force in exchange because dark mirror force really isn't probably worth it. So, cool. Doesn't mean you have any higher chances of winning. <laughs> I'll be sure to drag you down into the chaos. Yes, let the chaos take over. I roll. I rolled an eight. eight. It's not a very chaotic roll with two fours. Six. six. Oh, All right. We got the well, same numbers. That, that, that's, that's not great. All right. Two of the same. All right. I'm going to be going first and draw for turn. Bring it on. Hmm. All right. I'll set one monster face down on the field. And two more cards face down on the field. Your move duels. All right. Draw for turn. I will also set a monster face down, but only you? one card face down. And I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set another card face down and end my turn. Oh, someone's not very chaotic. Oh, it's gonna get chaotic very soon, Hunter. Draw. I will set another monster face down and end my turn. All right, I draw. Let's activate my Pot of Greed to draw two cards from my deck. Whoa, get the hand away from there. I activate Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Oh, okay, so you have it too, I see. I'll discard a spell card and negate your card. And this means I can't use Pot of Greed for the rest of the duel. That's right. All right, I'm going to flip up Gravekeeper's Guard. Oh. And we'll return this monster to your hand. It is in my hand. Next, I'll enter the battle phase and have Gravekeeper's Guard attack your monster. <sighs> if only we went in a different order. You hit my swarm of locusts. Oh good, I don't like it. Unfortunately, duelist, that's gonna be it for my turn. Your move. All right. Draw. I'll just set a monster and end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll enter the battle phase and attack with Gravekeeper's Guard. You hit Roulette Barrel with 2,000 defense. Wow, okay. Didn't expect to see him in this game. That's right. All right, well. Chaos needs light. True, you got <laughs> these necessary light monsters that must be included in our decks. No matter how potentially dangerous they are to your own strategy. All right, well, you're move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Activate Roulette Barrel's effect. Okay, now the chaos really does enter the game. So I will roll two die and I can destroy a level one or a level two monster. Sadly, there's none of those. Okay, so well. He's got better stats than my Gravekeeper's Guard. Would you believe me if I told you I just actually can't, like, <laughs> get rid of your card? <laughs> Not right now, I guess. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. All right, well, I draw. I will enter the battle phase. You wild man! Attack your face down monster. You hit Roulette Barrel! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. I will end my turn, actually. I'll just end my turn. <laughs> Drop for turn. I'll activate the effect of my roulette barrel. Oh, no, roll. wait just a minute. Hmm? Okay, yeah, one monster who's okay. That's right, I'll roll two die. Uh, okay, a four. I can destroy a level four monster on the field. All right, goodbye, Gravekeeper's Guard. And luckily, this isn't a mandatory effect, so I will not be using the other one, at least for now. <laughs> That'd be interesting if like, you use the other one, you rolled two fours, and like, you have to pop the first one. Uh, I would die. The whole thing. I would not be happy. But, uh, I'll end my turn. Okay. You're not as daring as I am. I draw one card. All right. Well, I'm going to... Uh, difficult situation. That's right. What are you going to do with my wall of cannons? I'll activate Ikibio Drakmord oh. on this roulette barrel. It won't be able to attack, and in two turns, this will destroy it while it returns to my hand. And I'll set another card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw! I will. Normal summon my Getsu Fuma. Interesting. Now, what does she, he or she do? When Getsu Fuma battles a zombie or fiend-type monster, it gets destroyed and there's no, no damage calculation. Well, I can't have that. I'll activate my trap hole. Since you summon a monster with a thousand or more attack, I can destroy it. Say goodbye to Getsu Fuma. I will set two cards face down and I'll end my turn. All right. That's the end of your first turn from Ikibio Drakmord. I draw. I set a card face down and end my turn. So it's at the end of my second turn that I get destroyed? Yeah, the end of this turn. So That's really like a barrel will be destroyed by Ikibio Drakmord. It will return to my hand. Draw for time. I'll activate Giant Trunade. Oh, okay. All of our spells and traps return to our hand, huh? 
Yes. Hmm, well, what if I wanted to do Whoa. something about it? I activate my Magic Drain trap card. Oh. Now, unless you're willing to discard a spell card, your giant true will be negated. Difficult decision. It's very difficult. I hate you. I, oh, I have to make it difficult. I'll Rare discard. hunters are fueled by hatred. Discard Book of Moon. Interesting pick, Duelist. Giant true nade resolves. Okay. So all of our cards will be returned to our hands. Next, I like to be Nobleman of Crossout. Ooh. To brutal. banish your face down monster. You banished Spirit Reaper. Ooh, I like that. That was going to protect I me. I like that. Got hmm. any more Spirit Reapers in the deck? Oh, wait, no, it's only for uh, flip effects. Thankfully, not a flip effect yeah. monster. But I don't have any more, so. Kind of sucks. Now, I'll switch both my roulette barrels to attack position. Fine. I'm ready to eat some attacks. Attack for a thousand, and attack for a thousand. Next, I will set one spell or trap and set a monster and pay a thousand. Oh, okay. For delinquent duo. Well, I have many cards in my hand That's for right. you to aim for this time around, duelist. That card. This card? Yes. You hit Jinzo. I like that. I like that. I'll take that. And now I get to choose a card to discard. Ugh, a little unfortunate that Delinquent Duo came at such a time. All right, I will discard Great Maju Garzette oh, from my okay. hand. Oh, okay, I end my turn. Draw. I activate Bait Doll in your face down card. I activate Call of the Haunted. Oh, gross. I'll special summon my Getsu Fuma. Normally Bait Doll would force the activation of your trap and if it wasn't the correct timing, it would get sent to the graveyard. Call of the Haunted says it's always the right time. All right. Well, in that case, we'll just use Swords of Revealing Light Aww. to flip up your face down monster, first of oh, all. That's my man, your bug. And he'll have to use his effect. He'll destroy himself. Yes, man, your bug is destroyed. Not to mention, you can't attack me for three turns. <sighs> Next, I'll activate Ikibayo Drakmord. This time on Getsufuma. Because even though you can't attack me, I have to still get rid of a card or two now, don't I? And finally, I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Fine. Draw for turn. Turn one. I'll switch both my roulette barrels to defensive mode. And I'll set one face down and I'll end my turn. That's the end of the first Ikibaya Drakmore turn. I draw. I set one card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw for turn. This is the second turn of no attacks from Swords of Revealing Light. And at the end of this turn, Ikibayo Drakmore will destroy Getsu Fuma. I'll set a card face down, I'll end my turn. All right, Ikibayo Drakmore destroys Getsu Fuma and returns to my hand. And I should destroy Call of the Haunted. Now I draw. I'll activate Ikibayo Drakmore on this roulette barrel again. I thought so. Then we'll set one monster face down on the field and end my turn. Draw for turn. This is the last turn that you can't attack, thanks to Swords of Revealing Light. I'll end my turn. Swords of Revealing Light is destroyed. And that's the first turn of Ikibayo Drakmord. I draw. I pass my turn. I draw. Switch this roulette barrel to attack position. Okay. Enter battle. All right. Roulette list. barrel, attack this face down. You attacked Sangin. It's destroyed, but since it was sent to the graveyard, I can get a monster with 1,500 or less attack from my deck to my hand. Let me see what's in my grave. Interesting. This will be perfect. <clears throat> I'll add to my hand my Magician of Faith. Yes, I'll add Magician of Faith to my hand. I'll end my turn. All right. So Ikibayo Drakmord will now destroy Roulette Barrel and return to my hand. I wonder what this card is, Hunter. I set one card face down on the field, and I'll activate Ikibayo Drakmord on your oh Roulette gosh. Barrel. Gosh. Your move. A tribute, roulette barrel. Oh no. To summon Ryu Koki. Okay, and Ikibayo Drakmord is also destroyed. Lucky you, duelist. You survived that test. Enter battle. Battle into Ryu Koki, attack his magician of faith. Oh, right. At least we think it is. It's magician of faith. So, I'll use magician of faith's flip effect. And as much as I'd love to just get back Ikibayo Drakmord, I'm sure you'd be looking forward to that. I've got worse in store because I get back Pot of Greed to my okay. hand. All right. Your job is done. I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll activate the Pot of Greed. <laughs> you can't Actually, wait, use I can't that. use that. Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I should have gotten something else. 
<laughs> this might be the end uh, of me. Fine, duelist. One that activated so early in the game. And I was thinking about it the whole time. Nasty duelist. This bear hunter has some tricks up his sleeve. Okay. Well, in that case then, <sighs> this changes things. I set one card face down and end my turn. All right, draw. I can't believe I forgot about Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. I love it. Answer battle. Battle entered. Ryukoki attack. All right, you attacked my Yomi ship. That means its effect will activate and destroy your Ryukoki. Fine. Say goodbye to them both. I'm never without monsters. I'll set a new one face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. Hmm, this one's risky. Very risky. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Indeed. I'll summon my Magical Scientist in attack mode. Oh, okay. I'm going to activate Magical Scientist's effect. I'll pay 1,000 life points to summon a fusion monster from my fusion deck. This time I'm going to summon Fiend Skull Dragon to the field. His effect negates flip effect monsters. Also, any trap that targets him will be negated as well. Ugh. So, plenty of fun to be had. All right, is this summon okay, duel? It has to be. That's good, because I'm going to enter the battle phase. Fiend Skull Dragon attack. I activate. Zero gravity. Ooh. I'll change the battle brutal. positions of all your face-up monsters. And that oh. doesn't target Fiend Skull Dragon That's right. either. All right, they're changed to defense position, so I'll go to main phase two. I'll end my turn, which means Fiend Skull Dragon is returned to my extra deck. Draw. <laughs> Zero Gravity is getting in a little bit more work than I expected. It's a great card. Hmm. You wouldn't respect it, but I sure do. Yeah, I looked over it in my deck building. Flip Summon, Old Vindictive. Ah, that's what you were afraid of. Okay, and I Now see. destroy your scientist. Darn, okay. Well, Magical Scientist is destroyed, but... Use a card on my Vindictive. Do it. Hmm. Do I want to? All Continue right, your move, Hunter. I'll have my old Vindictive attack you for 450. All right, 450 it is. Big damage. Very much so. Then I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down as well. Your move. All right, draw. Old Vindictive attack. 450 again. I'll set one monster face down, and I'll pass my turn. All right, draw. Swing on this. Not so brazen as a swing into a monster with old Vindictive Magician. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So I'll switch my Magician to defensive mode. You've stopped my aggression. Yeah, I stopped your aggressive attacks. With, with her? 450 attack points. Normal summon, Sacred Crane. Oh, okay. It only has 1600 attack, but I definitely don't mind swinging with it. Enter battle. Battle, enter to duel. Sacred Crane, attack. All right, you attacked my Apprentice Magician. Ah. Oh. So, since it was flipped face up, I can put a spell counter on a card, which is great and all. But more importantly, when it was destroyed by battle, I can select a spell caster that's level 2 or lower and summon it in face down defense position. I'll be using its effect. What is he thinking? For Old Vindictive Magician. Ah. Oh. In face down defense mode. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll end my turn. All right. I draw. I will go ahead and flip up Old Vindictive Magician and target Sacred Crane. It'll be destroyed. Goodbye, my crane. And now I'll end my turn. All right. I don't actually have anything else. <laughs> right now, at least. Draw! Look at us. Just... We've, uh... It's gotten a little bit back and forth, Rare Hunter. Just a little, hasn't it? I'm still upset about Pot of Greed. I haven't even seen a Pot of Greed. It'd be interesting if, like, Curse Seal, the written spell, said, like, in the gates, and then if you have a copy in your deck, you could add it to your hand. That would... <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be awful. Our old women are evenly matched. I think it's a manor. I don't know. Is it, it could a, be a woman. I don't actually... You know what? That's a good point. We're not going to assume. Our old them is evenly matched. They are evenly matched. We'll activate Smashing Ground to destroy yours. Interesting, Duelist. Well, in activating Smashing Ground, you've activated my Michizuri. Since a monster was sent to the graveyard, I can destroy a monster in the field. Because I'm not about to take 450 and lose that way, Duelist. I love that we are using removal cards on Old Vindictive. It, got, <laughs> it went there. It went there. Here <laughs> the we field are. is clear. 
I'll end my turn. I draw. Draw! Someone's gonna figure out a play. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> we will see how soon that happens. I'll also end my turn. <laughs> okay. I draw. I'll end my turn. Oh my wait, 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 wait. How many cards do I have? Six. Oh, okay. I guess I have to set something. All you right. You can end on six. Unless you want to. No, I have seven. You have seven. This is, yeah. I set one card face down. Now, now I have F6. Oh, okay. Your move. Draw. I'll banish from my graveyard. Oh, here we go. This a is happening. dark and light monster. I was wondering when the chaos would ensue. To special summon Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, ah, okay. Well, I'm not afraid of him. I'm just going to let you know. I, look, I, I imagine so, but I feel like I got to do something at some point here. It, uh, That's true. It's not, it's like, this, isn't, this isn't what I wanted. It's, what we, it's what, where we are, right? It's where yeah. we are. No, it's true. And you have nothing for me to use as effect to banish. That's true. So I'll go to battle. Chaos Sorcerer, attempt to end this duel. You wish. Activate Sakuretsu Armor. And he is destroyed. Goodbye, wow. Chaos Sorcerer. End my turn. I draw. Why don't I repay the favor? I'll banish a light monster. Wow. And a dark monster. Wow. From my graveyard. <laughs> To special summon Chaos Sorcerer in attack mode. Wow. It's funny, I just drew it <laughs> right after you drew yours. <laughs> All right, Chaos Sorcerer. Enter the battle phase. Yes. I'll attack you directly for 2300. I must take it. I activate Fisher. All right. Chaos Sorcerer's destroyed. Yes. At least I got an attack in, unlike you, so. Hey, man. I did what I had to do. Now, normal summon Hysteric Fairy. Oh, hysterical. Its effect is really bad, but it has 1,800 attack. Okay. <laughs> I'll enter battle. Fairy attack. I activate Sakuretsu armor again. What is up with these Sakuretsus? Yes, it's destroyed. I can't let my life points, I can't let my life points go. Let's see if my body has a shield. Man, I, I think I used it. Oh, well, <laughs> well, I discarded it. I did, yeah. I did discard it. Oh my gosh. Let me win. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I will set a card face down and end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Oh. We're gonna, <laughs> this duel has to end eventually. Draw! I end my turn. I draw. I set one monster face down on the field. Your so, move. Draw for turn. I also set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll flip Gravekeeper's Spy, or Guard. Gravekeeper's Guard. And I'll use its effect to return this monster to your hand. I'll take it back. I'll take it back, you say. I'll tribute Gravekeeper's Guard for Chaos Command Magician. Trap hole. In a t I endure. <laughs> Fine. This trap hole's been sitting here, just waiting. Um, yeah, this is fun. Oh, okay, good. Goodbye, Chaos Command Magician. All it was right. fun. Main phase two. I'll set a card face down, you man. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down and end my turn. All right. I normal summon Gemini Elf in attack mode. Oh. It has 1,900 attack points. It in fact, does. I'm going to enter the battle phase. I'll attack your face down monster with Gemini Elf. On attack declaration, I activate zero gravity. Nothing gets to go mode. through, huh? Your move. <laughs> Draw for turn. And I'll flip summon Maneater Bug. Oh, gosh. Okay. To destroy your Gemini Elf. I will. I'm going to also use this. My chain disappearance. What? Since you flip summon a monster with a thousand or less attack, that monster gets removed from play in all copies that you have in your hand and deck. Now, I know you've already used one man eater bug, so I don't even know if you actually have three. I actually only have two. Okay, well, it's banished. Oh, all right. Well, goodbye, man. Or bug. removed from play. All right. Is that a picture of Maneater Bug on the card? Yeah, actually it wow. is. Yeah, this is Maneater, this is wow. Maneater Bug on the card. All right. Well, it, it was used in a lower correct way. That was incredibly rude. Hope you didn't have a monster you wanted to tribute summon. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But what I do have is Thunder Nyan Nyan. That's a funny name. My 1900 attack monster. Ooh, it isn't pretty. Who's extremely, no, Nyan Nyan's very pretty. I don't know about that. But the issue is very conditional. But so what's for now, deal? if... If there's a non-light monster on my side of the field, this gets immediately destroyed. Wow, I should have kept a <laughs> man here bug around. Okay. And now, enter battle. All right. Nyan Nyan, attack. All right, 1900. Let's activate no minimum extermination. I'm targeting this guy. Fine. It's removed from play. Since it's a trap, we have to remove from play all copies of it with the same name. Do you have any I more? I only have one. I don't even have it. I didn't pull it. <laughs> Next. You lose? 
You wish. I activate Dark Core. I'll discard Pot of Greed from my hand. It is useless. To banish Thunder Nyan Nyan. That's fair. Or remove it from play. And end my turn. All right. Draw. I'll normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Hmm, okay. My Kaiku's safe. It's safe for now. And then I'll activate Pot of Greed. Now you wish. I activate Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. I, 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 I have to discard a happen. spell card from my hand. I'll discard <laughs> the second Pot of Greed <laughs> that I drew and can't use. Oh! To negate your pot of greed, and now you can't use pot of greed That's for the fair. rest of the duel. Although I don't know how much longer this duel is going to be going. That is very But now fair. no pot of greeds for anybody. They're all going to Maybe. hell. No pot. No pot for anybody. No pot. Pot's no bad, kids. No pot. No pot. None of that. I'll banish from my graveyard. Oh, boy. A light and a dark monster to summon Black Luster Soldier. Envoy of the beginning. How long were you waiting to do this one, Hunter? The whole game. <laughs> hmm, okay. And now I'll enter battle. Black Luster Soldier. Finish him! You wish! Trap card, go! Mirror Force! That's right, it destroys all your face up attack position monsters. Did you think I'd make this play without a backup plan? I activate my body as a shield! Ooh. Okay, I was worried you might have that. I pay 1,500 life points. That negates my mirror force. I had a Book of Moon set, but I could have only stopped one attack. So that means you win yes. this game, Hunter. You lucked out. Luck? This was pure <laughs> chaos. Pure chaos. <laughs> this was pure chaos. <laughs> All right, so that is going to conclude this episode of The Rare Hunters. Back on the board, baby. Unfortunately, it ends in my defeat. But it was a very good game. I think that this oh, was 100% sure. worth it. Uh, so, yeah. Next time, we go to the Ancient Sanctuary. A very old, expensive pack. So, like the last episodes, we do appreciate that you guys very have much. been donating with Super Thanks. It helps. Uh, some of these boxes are expensive, and some are just stupid expensive. And others are extortionate. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Yes. All right. You, if you Super Thanks us, we will Super Thank you in, a, in our own way. Yeah. Also, Happy New Year. It's the first episode of the year. Oh, this is the first episode forgot. of the year. So, yeah. We'll be back to posting these more regularly, don't you worry. Okay. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn. turn. Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. The set where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Search for rare cards, upgrade our decks, and wager our rarest on the outcome of a duel. And as you can see, we're, we're sporting new cloaks given to us by Master Merrick himself as a reward for the many rare cards we've brought to him. That's right. We've accumulated 10 different rare cards each. Well, something kind of like that, I guess. But the point is... I have more. Today we're going to be opening Ancient Sanctuary. That's right. A set known for great cards like... Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. Enemy Controller. And the End of Anubis. And I'm going to get all those cards after I defeat my fellow Hunter in a duel. We'll see about that. Hopefully you guys like the series. If you do, then Master Merrick would appreciate a like on the video and a comment. What is your favorite card from the set? What would your rare card be? And... You know, you might think he does, but Mass America does not pay for this series, so a super thanks would be very, very appreciated. I mean, rare Hunters were stealing cards. I don't know if we can like, ask for money, too. It's just, you know. And rare Hunters, we're, we're, we're so evil, we steal and we ask for money. All right, let's the hunt. All right, guys, so I'm going to be opening first. This is Ancient Sanctuary, a set that admittedly I don't actually have many memories of. I don't remember getting packs of this as a kid. Not in particular, but I do think that some of the cards in it, at least, I am fairly aware of. So, we've got a very yellow pack. I'll be opening this right side here. Don't know exactly what I'm looking to pull. Anything will do, though. Anything I can take home to Master Merrick. So, first pack. The Goblin King, Mystic Walk, Emissary of the Oasis, Microway, I make a monster's defense become zero. The Agent of Wisdom Mercury. So that means that the Agent Monsters debuted in this set. Night Assailant, one of the... Okay, this is a really, really strong uh, flip effect monster. 
quite similar to Man Eater Bug, which will give me a bit of a hint, because you guys know how much I hate that card. I got, oh, second pack, the second Sarcophagus. Three Hump Lakuda, what does this do? Ah, oh, you can attribute two of them to draw three cards. Earthquake, to change all monsters to defense position. Piranha Army, and the first ultra rare, the Agent of Judgment, Saturn. If your life points are higher than your opponent's, activate this card's effect by offering it as a tribute. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the difference between them. If Sanctuary on the Sky is in the field, this effect is not applied. So it's a boss monster for agents, but it was one of the very awkward early ones. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, this is a really strong zombie support. Delta Attacker, level limit area beat me if I want to stall the game out a little bit. Two of them? And a oh, legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. This thing is really good, so a monster that battles with this defense position card is returned to the top of the owner's deck at the end of the damage step. It's going to be an extremely disruptive card, so you'll probably see me using it a little bit. Draining Shield's not too bad either. I remember this was played a lot in the uh, playground duel. Absorbing Kid from the Sky and a super rare Needle Burrower. When this card destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of the monster times 500. It's only a 1700 attack though, and it's level 5, so might be difficult to use, but it is a really cool looking super rare, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen it in a day in my life. It's my first time. Blessings of the Nile, and the Legendary Jiu Jitsu Master, Beckoning Light, and Vampire Lady. Disc Fighter, White Mission Picaru, Soul Reversal, As One Apparition, and looks like this is my super rare card, Legacy Hunter. When it attacks a place down defense position monster, and since it's the graveyard is a roll to battle, your opponent returns a random card from his or her hand to his or her deck. And the deck has been shuffled. All right, just two more packs to go. Looks like these might be all the foils I get, so the pulls haven't been amazing, but Human Wave Tactic, Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, this is like the playground nightmare. You get two of these in the field, and they can't be attacked, and they burn your opponent to death. The Law of the Normal, Manthro Chiro, Triangle Power, Mermaid Knight. The Law of the Normal, Manthro Tro, Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray, and Soul Resurrection. Sand Gambler, Wall of Revealing Light again. Another Monster Gate. Not bad, not bad. All right, we'll have to wish Alec bad luck as he opens his packs. And I get to building. Opening up my half of Ancient Sanctuary to see uh, what we're gonna get. Human Wave Tactics, Solar Flare Dragon, Thousand Energy, Katu Death Scissors, Absorbing Kid from the Sky, Goblin Thief, 2,000 Needles, Order to Smash, Avatar of the Pot, I think this card is secretly kind of crazy. You pitch a Pot of Greed and draw three. We both play Pot of Greed and we also both play Curse of the Forbidden Spell. So this could be a way to use Pot of Greed even if we get cursed. Monster Gate, another cool card. Night Assailant, another great card. Door of Fate and Mystical Shine Ball. Once again, a very strong showing for my commons. Backfire, the second sarcophagus. I wonder if I'll get all three. Three Hump Lakuda, the first sarcophagus. That's, uh, I guess this is my super rare. My looks my first super rare. Uh, if you guys don't know, you have to use the first, second, and third sarcophagi to summon the Pharaoh thing? It's a it's a big zombie monster and it summons like vanilla zombies. Oh, and I got legendary jujitsu master. Man, I'm really liking my comments. Word of Smash, Kickman, Sword of Soul Eating, The Agent of Creation Venus, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer of the Forest, Dust Bear, and Sonic Jammer. Oh, Sonic Jammer is cool too because if you fl if you flip it, it turns off spells until the end of the, your next turn, or until the end of the next turn for your opponent. So at the right time, Sonic Jammer can just mess things up. Another super rare, the Agent of Force, Mars. So the Agent, Mars is a, a funny little agent. Essentially, if you have more life points than your opponent, he gains a difference. But you have, it, it's easier said than done. I, I'm not sold on it. All right, so my supers so far haven't been super exciting. I'm ha uh, hopefully I get an Ultra. Man, I'm already down to my last three packs. Golly. Piranha Army, Human Wave Tactics, Solar Flare, Dragon, The Law of Normal, King of the Swamp, Mermaid Knight, Ninja Art of Transformation, Ninjitsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer of the Forest, and Dust Barrier, Kozaki, Backfire, Three Hunt Lakuda, Earthquake, and Ultra Rare, Ghost Knight of Jackal. It's a level five, 1700. So if this thing destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon it to your side of the field. 
It has 1,700 attack, so that might not happen, but it is an ultra rare. So these are my pulls. Ghost Knight of Jackal, the first sarcophagus, and the Agent of Force Mars. Not great, but honestly, there's a lot of value in these commons, so at least I know I can make my deck stronger. About my wager, though. We'll have to see. So this time, I went with a pyro fire burn strategy. Yeah, my monsters can get pretty beefy with my field spell, but they can't really deal with big tribute summon monsters. So I'm just gonna try and sit behind my solar flares and burn them out. This time around, I decided to have some fun and go with a dedicated fiend strategy that I tried in the past, but with a few new members like Goblin King. I wager the Agent of Judgment, Saturn. I wager. Ghost Knight of Jackal! All right, Hunter, let the duel begin. I'll be playing for your Ghost Knight of Jackal. You'll be playing for my Jackal, but I'll be taking your Agent of Judgment. Saturn. So, uh, let's get this duel on the road. You guys might notice that we're wearing different clothes because it's a different day, because technical difficulties. But that doesn't change the fact that it's going to be a duel to remember. You mean your inevitable defeat. We'll see. All right, let's get a show on the road. All right, I'll take the first move, Hunter. All right, get your card. Get your game on. Actually, that's the wrong show. All right, I will set one card face down on the field and end my turn. Hmm, draw for turn. Scared, Hunter? I've never been afraid of anything in my life. As I say, like, one turn into the duel with a set monster. Are you afraid of my face down monster con? I'm afraid of nothing. Normal summon, UFO turtle. Okay, Hunter. My Fine. Dude, my turtle has 1400 attack, and I'm going to the battle phase. Because I don't care if it dies. Attack! I was I going to die from this. Mystic Tomato, you destroyed it. But you triggered its special effect. I get to summon a dark monster with 1500 or less attack from my deck. Bring it on. I will get... I summon my Sang into the field in attack mode. That weak little thing. It's weak for now, but it'll soon spell your demise, duelist. Card demise is in the set. I'll set one card face down. Now in my turn. All right, duelist. I draw. Hmm. How about this? I'll use my Nobleman of Extermination on your face down card. Uh, It'll be banished and removed from play. Uh, my trap hole. Oh good, I needed that out of the way. Now. That means all trap holes must go. I believe I am running some. And I am also running one more. That's the one good part about no of extermination. You just can just- Takes good cards out Takes good out cards out of everyone's decks. I'm actually only running one trap hole in my deck. So. I, think, I think you only had one. I have two, and oh. normally I'm running two, but this time, this one time, I am only running one. Maybe I should have changed that. Goodbye, trap hole. Yes, trap hole's gone. And that clears the way for this. I'll tribute my Sangin to summon my lesser fiend in attack mode. As long as it's face up on the field, monsters it destroys in battle are removed from play instead of being sent to the graveyard. Wow. Not only that, but it activates the effect of my Sangin. It lets me add a monster with 1500 or less attack for my deck to my hand. Let's see what it's gonna be. I'll get this, my Mask of Darkness. Uh, I'm familiar with that card. Yes, you must be a duelist. Mask of Darkness is added to my hand. You want to deal with it this turn though. Next, I'm going to enter the battle phase and I'll have my Lesser Fiend attack your UFO turtle. Goodbye, my turtle. You'll take 700 damage. And since it's banished, sorry, removed from play, you won't be able to add any cards or summon a monster from your deck. Very annoying. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll set two cards face down and I'll end my turn. All right, I draw one card and I'll summon this. I'll summon my twin-headed wolf. While there's another face of fiend monster on my side of the field, I can negate the effects of flip effect monsters that this card destroys in battle. All these little utility effects, huh? And since there is another fiend, my lesser fiend, I'm going to use Twin-Headed Wolf and attack your face down monster. Well, I'm gonna activate my Mirror Force. Ooh! And destroy both of your problematic creatures. Lesser Fiend and Twin-Headed Wolf are both destroyed. Brutal! What are you protecting back there, Hunter? Fine. In that case, 
I'll set one card face down myself and end my turn. All right. Draw. You might have gotten away with one good move, but do you have more? I always have more. You have more to show me, Hunter? But first, I'll activate Nobleman of Extermination. Oh. On that card. The card you hit was my Heavy Storm. It's banished, and as you know, I have no more cop well, it's not even a trap, so. Now I'll activate Terraforming. Okay. Now I can add one field magic card to my hand. I think I have a hunch as to what your strategy this time around might be then. Molten destruction. Ah, I had a feeling the fire pyro strategy that you may have once uh, experimented with slightly in one build earlier. Now I'll activate my molten destruction, increasing the attack of all my fire monsters by 500, but decreasing their defense by 400. That's true, better not keep that monster face down and waiting. I won't, I flip summon the thing in the crater. Cool. <laughs> now it has- A very like underwhelming name. It has 1500 attack. Well fine by me. And I'll have my thing attack you directly. All right. I will take 1,500 points of damage. And I'll end my turn. I'll draw. That's not too useful just yet. Face of my thing. I'll set a monster face down in my turn. <laughs> Running scared, are we? Uh, we'll see about that. Draw! The thing in the crater, if it's destroyed, will summon a pyro monster from your hand. Next, I'll normal summon Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, I know where this goes. My Solar Flare Dragon can't be attacked as long as another Pyro Monster on the field. Okay. And under Molten Destruction has 2,000 attack. Enter battle. Battle entered, Duelist. Solar Flare Dragon, attack is face down. I will use my Sakuretsu armor on your Solar Flare Dragon. It'll be destroyed. Fine. Sorry about that one. Can't have him staying on the field. It then, deals burn damage at the end of my turn, or your turn. Then I'll have my Thing in the Crater attack your face down and you attack Night Assailant. This monster will actually destroy a card in the field when it's flipped face up. Say goodbye to the thing in the crater. You hit my thing in the crater, that will activate its effect. Okay. It's a special summon a pyro from my hand. I thought you didn't have one. Solar Flare Dragon. Okay, good, I picked a, a good time to not, because, yeah, okay. Main phase two, premature burial, paid 100. Oh. The Solar Flare lock begins. Special summon, Solar Flare Dragon. Actually, I guess I put it here. It's not anything. Okay. Cool. And unpleasant. I'll move to my end phase, and then both dragons burn you for 1,000 life point damage. Oh, jeez. I remember this as a kid. There were kids. <laughs> this came in the fire structure deck, and it would actually included two Solar Flare Dragons if you could get them both out. Good times. I'll end my turn. I draw for turn. And I got a little lucky because I got Pot of Greed to draw two cards from my deck. In case you didn't know what it does. Oh, I know what I it draw does. two cards. And now, so I have to find a way to deal with these Solar Flare Dragons. And currently, I don't quite have one. What will you do in the face of fire supremacy? I'll use this, my Ikibayo Drakmord, on your Solar Flare Dragon. This one in particular won't be able to attack and after two turns it'll be destroyed. Fortunately that doesn't quite save me from the burn damage. I will set one card face down and another card face down and end my turn. All right, draw. Oh, look what I drew. What did you draw, Duelist? Pot of Greed. Oh, okay, what does that do? I'll draw two cards from my deck. Yikes. Good if they're not good cards. They're, these are cards for sure. Hopefully they're uh, something not of use to you right now, Hunter. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Solar Flare Dragon that can't attack. Attack is face down. Hmm. I'll use my Sakuretsu armor on your Solar Flare Dragon. It's destroyed along with premature burial. Don't want you using a giant trunade on me or anything like that, Duelist. I will main phase two, tribute my Solar Flare Dragon. Oh. For Ghost Knight of Jackal. Oh, wow, you actually included it. I mean, I guess I knew. That's you can summon. And then I'll activate Wave Motion Cannon. Oh, that one's gonna be mean. That's okay. right, the longer that this card's on the field, the more life points he'll lose when I use his effect. Now, end my turn. All right, well I draw. Hmm, this will be tricky. I will flip summon Mask of Darkness. It lets me get a trap card from my graveyard back to my hand. And there's really only one trap card one that I've used. 
Sakuretsu armor returns to my hand. I'll normal summon my Goblin King in attack mode. It can't be attacked if there's another fiend monster on my side of the field. And its attack and defense become equal to the number of other fiends in the field times 1,000. So right now, because I have another fiend monster, it has 1,000 attack points. Next, I'll set two cards face down in the field and end my turn. All right. Draw! So that's one turn for Wave Motion Cannon. Can I defeat you in time? I don't have many turns to do it. We'll see. So I know you set that Sakuretsu armor. I can't just attack the way I want to. You can't do it. So I'll just set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Great. I draw. Hmm. I'll normal summon my Dark Jeroid. When it's normal summon, flip summon, or special summon, I can select a monster in the field and decrease its attack points by 800. So I'm going to select your Ghost Knight of Jackal and decrease its attack to 900. Not only that, but because I have another Fiend monster on my side of the field, my Goblin King rises to 2,000 attack points. And because I'm on a clock here and I really gotta beat you as fast as I possibly can, Mirror Force is out of the picture. So surely you have nothing to stop this attack. I will attack with Dark Jeroid. He has 1,200. Goodbye, Ghost Knight. You take 300 points of damage. Then I'll attack with Mask of Darkness for 900. And finally, Goblin King for 2,000. Sakuretsu armor, get your hand away from that. Darn, okay, I needed him to stay on the field longer. All right, well he is destroyed and you save yourself 2,000 life points, Hunter. All right, draw. Not a great situation. Now, I have two turns on my cannon. Next, I'll normal summon Molten Zombie. Oh, okay. So it'll have 2,100 attack. But are you feeling brave enough to attack me? Do I'm not. Is that a once per turn on him? No, it's a completely used. Okay, good. good. <laughs> because I know you have Sakuretsu armor, I will not be attacking and I'll just be ending my turn. Okay. I draw. Hmm, your Molten Zombie is too strong for any of my monsters to deal with. And that is very unfortunate. Hmm. Zombie wall. I'll switch Mask of Darkness to Defense and Dark Jeroid. For now, I'll end my turn. All right. Draw. I need a Book of Moon to flip my Mask of Darkness back face down. No, no, none of that. Wave Motion Cannon goes to three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game's almost over. Don't feel so confident that I can't make a comeback. Though, I still can't attack through your uh, Sakuretsu armor, so I'll be setting a card and ending my turn. I draw one card. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. All right, then. Draw four. Four counters on Wave Motion Cannon. Not enough to kill me yet. We'll see about that, Hunter. We'll see. I might have a plan. I'll banish my thing in the crater from my graveyard to special summon, Spirit of Flames. Okay. Under my Molten Destruction, it has 2,200 attack. And when I go into the battle phase, like now, it gains 300 more. Interesting, so 2,500 attack points. That's right. Not a problem. Molten Zombie attack Jerry. Jerry, okay. I will have to let it go. <laughs> and now, Spirit of Flames, I'll end my turn. Oh, no attacking for you? I draw. Hmm. All right. Before you get to your main phase. Oh, what do you have, Duelist? I activate Compulsory Evacuation Device. Oh, targeting your face card. down. Brutal card. It's returned to Now, in case that was something to blow up my board, you have to reset it. All right, do have it your way. I will set one monster face down and end my turn. Drop return. Now my wave motion cannon goes to five. Hmm. I will end my turn. All right, Hunter. I draw one card. I'll flip summon my night assailant. And destroy your spirit of flames. Goodbye, my spirit. I'll activate this. The puppet magic of dark ruler. I can select a fiend in my graveyard. Remove from play monsters on my field whose levels equal that monster's level. I'll be removing from play mask of darkness and night assailant to summon my lesser fiend from the graveyard. Oh, what a wild play. Next, I'll normal summon archfiend soldier in attack mode. But my Molten Zombie's stronger than both your monsters. And finally, I'll enter the battle phase. I'll attack with Lesser Fiend. They both have 2,100 we'll attack points. both be destroyed. Points. And then I'll attack you directly for 1,900. And finally, I'll activate this. 
Just kidding, I don't have anything else. Ah. All right, your move, duelist. Then this is the end. Draw. Anything to say before I move to main phase? I don't have any cards. I'll move to my main phase and activate the effect of my wave motion cannon. I activate this. No, I have Curse the Liver in the spell, but I didn't have it in time. Aha! To negate the activation. Wave motion cannon, deal 6,000 damage to him. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, I only did 600, deal <laughs> enough damage to win. Uh, beat the clock. I wish I'd seen Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell just a turn sooner. You got lucky this time, Hunter. It won't happen again. My next, next time, I'll be back to my normal deck. Oh, I'll have and mine then too. then you won't stand a chance. But this deck's not going away. Because this duel gave me some ideas so I can make this deck a bit more offensive. Enjoy your Agent of Judgment, Saturn. Get this ugly blue sleeve off of it. Ew. Laugh while you can, Hunter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of The Rare Hunters featuring Ancient Sanctuary. Alec is the winner of this duel and goes up on the count six to five, but that's okay because next week we'll be playing with Soul of the Duelist. The first green set. The cover card, I believe, is Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. Yes, do you have the Soul of the Duelist? I think this game proved I have no soul. We will find out, all right, viewers. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like if you did, and let us know down in the comments what are your favorite cards that you saw in this game. And if you want to help us out a little bit more, you can super chat because or super thanks, super thanks, super thanks, because uh, buying Yu-Gi-Oh boxes is expensive, especially when they're old ones like this. All and then right. the best cards we pull are these. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. All right, until next time, Master Mary. This is how I'm gonna I don't think, exit I don't, stage. I, what are you, Batman? <sighs> and I disappear. All right, bye guys. Welcome back to The, the Rare, rare Hunters. Hunters. The series where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, pull rare cards, and then stake those cards in the outcome of a duel. And this week we have Soul of the Duelist, the first green set. Also the first set to introduce ultimate rare cards. I have a question for you guys. Do you have the Soul of the Duelist? I know I do. So some of the rare cards that we can pull in this set include Horus the Black Flame Dragon, Arm Dragon Level 7, Hammer Shot, and Mind Crush. Among many others. So we're gonna get into this pack and see just what all we get. But first I'd like to thank Everybody who's given super thanks for this series, it really helps out a lot. Y'all are real MVPs. Yes, these uh, classic Yu-Gi-Oh sets can be quite difficult to come by. And are always expensive. But without further ado, let the hunt begin. So I'm going to be opening my packs first. Um, by the way, the reason that we are doing this all at the table is because the office is currently having some renovations, you could say. So uh, yeah, they really changed the look of these packs in this period of time. This square boxy frame thing going on. You got Horus. Standing behind Yugi. Let's see what we get. First pack. We're kicking things off with Level Up. That's actually a pretty fitting card. This introduced the LV series of monsters that you can level up. So this actually lets you skip the leveling up process and just summon a higher level one yourself. Arm Dragon LV3. So already getting plenty of level monsters. Mind Wipe. Mind Crush. This is a very powerful metagame defining card. Up until just a few years ago when they kind of changed how it worked. Rafflesia Seduction. Huh. There's a evil plant that will seduce you and take control of a face-up monster in your opponent's field. Masked Dragon, okay, cool. Malice Doll of Demise, Big Wave, Small Wave, and Gorgon's Eye. Another LV monster, Dark Mimic, LV1. Something I'm curious about actually is what the pull rates are on this set. Uh, I don't know because they sort of changed the rarity system and the amount of cards. Howling Insect, Ultimate Insect, LV1, Absolute End, the Trojan Horse. Goblin Calligrapher. I wonder if I could put Mind Crush to use in uh, duels like these. It's, we don't really search a lot of cards from our decks to our hands, so I have to be a little careful of that. But Dark Mimic LV1, Mind Wipe, Hate Hain, and our first foil card, Greed. Just Greed. Each time a player draws a card because of a card effect, they take 500 points of damage during the end phase for each card drawn. Element Soldier, oh yeah, the Element series of cards. Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level 
for Horus's servant. As long as this remains face up in the field, your opponent cannot designate Horus the Black Flame Dragon as the target of spells, traps, or monsters. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy, Howling Insect, level up. And, oh, whoa, got a ultimate rare. First ultimate rare of the series, Penumbral Soldier Lady. So, uh, having pulled that, I can't say that I'm really sure what to expect next. I don't know if we can maybe expect another super, maybe expect an ultra. I know many of the ultimate rares are just alternate versions of rares, supers, and ultras from the set. Red Eyes B Chick, not Black Chick, just B Chick. Level up, Noble Man Eater Bug, and oh, what? <laughs> okay, this is funny. Uh, I got a super rare Penumbral Soldier Lady, so I didn't know that this could happen, but in the same box I got her super and her ultimate rare form. Armed Dragon level three, Skull Dog Marin, Fusion Weapon, Armed Dragon level five. Okay, so this will be a useful one actually. You can, what is this? Discard, send a monster from your hand in the graveyard, destroy a face-up monster in your opponent's field with attack equal or less than the attack of the sent monster. So this is a once per turn, actually no, it's not even really a once per turn. You can use this as many times as you want. A good removal tribute summon with 2400 attack. Probably in my deck. Element Dragon, Heavy Slump, Element Soldier in the Graveyard in the 4th Dimension. Man, imagine if my ultimate rare had been the level 7 of this guy. Alright, only 2 packs left. Dark Mimic LV1, 2 man Cell Battle Sandwich, Unshaven Angler, and oh, a rare copy of Hammer Shot. This is the newest form of spell removal for monsters, um, or monster removal for spells. Destroy a face-up attack position monster with the highest attack on the field. This is great for getting rid of the strongest monsters your opponent has. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We hope you guys are liking it, but we just noticed that more than half of you who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So we'd really appreciate it if you just hit subscribe, just real quick, the button right down there. It helps us out a lot because it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos and we want to be the first Yu-Gi-Oh! channel to reach a million subscribers on YouTube. But we need your help to do it. So yeah, just hit the subscribe button and that's it. All right, back to the video. All right, final pack. We'll slap it for good luck, as Larry might do. And see what the card pulling gods, what Master Merrick has in store for us. I've got Taunt, Red Eyes B-Chick, Level Up, Noble Man Eater Bug, and Mystic Swordsman, LV2. Hmm, I believe this is actually Chris's favorite card. At least one of his favorite cards. Neo Aquamador. And Big Wave Small Wave. Alright, so that concludes my boxes. It looks like we did get three foils, although two of them are duplicates, but one is Ultimate Rare, so I guess you can't complain too much. Alright guys, it's my turn to open up Soul of the Duelist. I don't know what Paul got, but it can't be what's better than in these packs. Something like that. All right, let's rip it open. Uh, okay, these packs feel different. I mean, it's the first green set, so I imagine they would feel a little bit different. First card we have is Hade Hain, Fusion Weapon, Skull da Dog Marin, Arm Draw. Whoa! Ultra Rare, Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 8? Yo. This guy is super powerful, guys. Um, as long as it remains face up on the field, you can negate the activation and effect of any spell cards your opponent plays. This card is huge, but there's a huge caveat here. It can't be normal summoned and can only be summoned by the effect of Horus the Black Flame Dragon level six. So if I wanna make use of this, I have to see level six. So now, fingers crossed. Ritual Weapon, Malice Doll, Gorgon's Eye, Enraged Mooka Mooka. Next up we have Cemetery Bomb, Noble Man Eater, Level Up, Red Eyes, B Chick, Hammer Shot, very solid card. Graveyard in the Fourth Dimension, Element Soldier, Heavy Slump, Neo Aquamador. Cemetery Bomb, Dark Mimic, Mind Wipe, Hade Hain, Greed. Wait, is this an ulti? Oh wow, it is. Yo guys, do you see that? It, it's kind of hard to tell, but compared to our newer ultis where there's more textured foiling, but this one does have ulti textured foiling. All right guys, so I've pulled, I think two ultras now, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Sandwich, I've always loved this card, so it's a cute guy. Ectoplasmer, the super rare. Only once during either player's turn, each player tributes one face-up monster on their side of the field and inflicts damage to the opponent equal to half that monster's attack points. 
then Abyssal Designator, Ultimate Baseball Kid, love this guy, Absolute, and a Neo Aquamador. And I'm liking the cards I got, but I really want to see a Horus the Black Flame level six. Please, please come through. We have Skulldog Marin, Unshaven Angler, Taunt, Sandwich, Dark Mimic level three, so that means I can now do level one and level three Dark Mimic plays. Mass Dragon, Neo Aquamador, Absolute, and an Ultimate Baseball Kid. Taunt, Unshaven Angler, Sandwich, Two-Man Cell Battle, <gasps> It came, it happened, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level six. So what's really cool about this guy is unlike level eight, you can actually just tribute summon this. I don't have to special summon it with the effect of level four, which is nice, but I don't have to. Yeah, this, is, this guy's just sick. I believe it says that it's unaffected by the effect of spell cards. Yeah, this one's just unaffected, which is still pretty useful at 2300 attack. Oh yeah, I'll be using it. Oh, and Horus's Servant. This was meant to be, guys. This was just meant to be. Oh, man. We have Dark Mimic level one, Mind Crush, Mind Wipe, Red Eyes B Chick, Ojama King. I'm not using that. There. We have Taunt, Unshaven Angler, Sandwich, Two Man Cell Battle, Arm Dragon level five, Let me pull it out. Enrage Mooka Mooka, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Horus Servant, and the Graveyard in the Fourth Dimension. So, I'll make sure I didn't leave out any hollows because I was pulling like fire here. My pulls are Horus level six, Ectoplasma, Ultimate Rare Greed, and Ultra Rare Horus level eight. All I can say is, good luck, Paul. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Okay guys, so this is the deck I'm working with. I actually added in a few different strategies from Soul of the Duelist, so I'm hoping to see a few of them pan out. First of all, I have Penumbral Soldier Lady, which I'm wagering. She's actually not the worst card, although I don't really think that Alec is gonna be using a lot of light monsters, but if he is, it could swing over Blackluster Soldier. Also, Arm Dragon level five is a really good tribute monster. I am kind of lacking in those, or at least it's a little bit funky right now, so I decided to include him. And speaking of that, I've got Mass Dragon and Arm Dragon level three. So I can use Mass Dragon to actually tutor Arm Dragon level three out, and then the standby phase will come and I can summon level five pretty easy. And I went ahead and included Dark Mimic and Mystic Swordsman. I don't really think that they're gonna make a huge impact here, but we'll see. I mean, they're decent monsters and Mystic Swordsman can deal with Maneater Bug, which I hate. The rest of the monster lineup is pretty much routine and the spell and trap lineup has not changed much, but I did add in Hammer Shot as one additional form of removal. And something I don't think I got to talk about in a previous episode is Different Dimension Capsule to search my deck for something strong like Pot of Greed if I need it. And that's pretty much what I'm working with. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So for today's Rare Hunters, I decided to upgrade my Fire deck, mostly because we got Ultimate Baseball Kid. But when I was looking through the set list, I saw that Masked Dragon is actually a target for UFO Turtles Effect. And I was like, well, how can I make use of that? Then I realized Element Dragon can be summoned with Mass Dragon and it gets an effect when you have fire monsters on board. So like, sign me up. I wasn't expecting to pull the horse package, but I really want it as a boss monster for my fire deck. And we got it, so this is the list. Also notable mentions to uh, Hammer Shot and Level Up, just hopefully to help my strategy along. I wager ultimate rare greed i'll wager prenumbral soldier lady the time has come for our ultimate battle we will see hunter i've changed my deck quite a bit this time and i'm very intent on taking your ultimate rare greed for master mary you you think you're doing that but i made some changes to my deck as well and i think master Merrick will be overjoyed when i present him his First ultimate rares. We shall see, Hunter. We shall see indeed. Draw for turn. I'll start with an oldie but a goodie. Pot of Greed. Oh, what does that do? I'll draw two cards from my deck. I'll set and set two cards face down and end my turn. I'll draw for my turn. I'm going to start by setting one monster face down on the field. I'll set a card for myself. Next, I'll activate this. Different Dimension Capsule. Yeah, that's right. It's actually from Pharaonic Guardian. When it's activated, I get to pick a card in my deck, banish it, and on my second standby phase after this has been activated, I'll add it to my hand. Playing the long game, huh? The card I pick is Pot of Greed. Ah. All now, right. if Different Dimension Capsule leaves the field, I won't ever get that card back. All right. That's going to end my turn. Cool. Draw. Let's... Normal Summon UFO Turtle. Oh, 
Oh, okay. The fire strategy remains then, I see. I couldn't just let it go. That, that it was so effective. The fiends are not back, don't worry. They didn't do me justice last time. But I wonder. 1400 might not be enough. So I'll activate Molten Destruction. Oh, powering up all of your fire monsters? By 500 attack, but their defense is decreased by 400. Well, I don't know how bad that really is, but okay. So now my UFO turtle has 1900. All right, hey guys, Paul here. Real quick, I know you're probably enjoying the video, but we noticed that more than half you guys who watch our videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you could do us a really quick favor, change that. All you gotta do is subscribe. It's free, we promise, and it helps us reach a million subscribers. We wanna be the first Yu-Gi-Oh! channel on YouTube to do it. Plus, these videos take a lot of effort to make, so we'd really appreciate it. And it's free, did I mention that? All right, now back to the video. UFO turtle, attack is face down. You attacked Apprentice Magician. It'll be destroyed, but it'll let me summon a level two or lower spellcaster from my deck. How about my old Vindictive Magician? Face down on the field. Mm. So why, why, why not make you need it? Okay. Pay a thousand. Activate Delinquent Duo. Oh, brutal. All right. You get to have a stab at my hand. We'll send the middle card. It was Mystic Swordsman, level two. Hmm. A card that could be useful for dealing with face down cards. Next, I have to discard, huh? All right. I will send my ceasefire. Oh. To the graveyard. Well, now that you only have one card, I feel pretty good about passing time. All right. I draw. Flip Old Vindictive Magician face up and destroy UFO Turtle with its effect. Goodbye, my turtle. Because it was destroyed by card effect, it does not get its effect. Next, I'm going to tribute Old Vindictive Magician for Prenumbral Soldier Lady in attack mode. Oh, did not see this coming. She has 2100 attack, and if she battles a light monster, she gains 1000 in damage step. Well, that's not happening in this duel. Enter battle phase and attack you directly for 2100. I'll duelist. take it. Prenumbral Soldier Lady, your move. All right. Draw for turn. I'll activate from my hand. Premature Burial by paying 800. 800, huh? What card are you targeting? Targeting my UFO turtle. Hmm, well how about I use my Magic Drain? If you're not willing to discard a spell card, you won't be able to use your Premature Burial. Discard Nobleman of Extermination. Okay, it continues. It passes. So I'll summon my UFO turtle to the field. I'll enter Battle. Battle enter. I'll have my UFO turtle attack your Prenumbral Soldier Lady. And right. I'll activate on declaration, Backfire! Okay, so what does this do? When a fire monster is destroyed by battle, no, just destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I inflict 500 damage to you. Okay. Well, a UFO turtle will be destroyed. It'll take 200 damage and I'll take 500 damage. And then UFO turtle's effect activates special summoning a fire monster with 1500 or less. Attack to the field. Let's summon. Oh yeah, and your premature burial is also destroyed. Oh yeah, goodbye. I'll summon Solar Flare Dragon. Solar Flare Dragon. I didn't get to talk about it in the last episode, but this is really a workhorse for this deck. I want to get the Solar Flare lock, but more so than anything else, I just want to get that, that residual 500 damage off as much as I possibly can. This is a burn deck, folks. Oh, okay, he's familiar. And my Solar Flare Dragon has 2,000 attack underneath Molten Destruction. Still short of your Soldier Lady. Not a problem. Solar Flare Dragon, attack Prenumbral Soldier Lady. Okay. On attack, Book of Moon. I flip her face down. Oh, so now that she's face down, she'll be destroyed in this battle. And then, main phase two, I'll banish my UFO turtle from my graveyard to special summon my Spirit of Flames. And now that I have a power monster on board, you will not be able to attack my Solar Flare Dragon next turn. Oh, deadly. I'll move to end phase. Solar Flare Dragon's effect activates to burn you for 500. I'm at 7,000 to your 3,900. I'll end my turn. All right. I draw for turn. Since it's my second standby phase after using different dimension capsule, it goes to the graveyard and I'll retrieve Pot of Greed. It's time to go ahead and activate it. Do you know what that means, Duelist? I'm not sure, honestly. Part of Greed is a spell card that lets me draw two cards from Whoa. my deck. Uh, okay. Solar Flare Dragon can't be attacked, and Spirit of Flames... It gains attack during the battle phase. 
or during my battle phase. Gains attack during your battle phase. Okay. Well, I'll start by paying a thousand life points to activate Confiscation. Wow. This lets me send a card from your hand to the graveyard, but you only have one. I do. What's it gonna be? Oh, compulsory evacuation device. With that gone, now I can use this. Well, okay, use it. I'll set one card face down in the field and pass turn to you. What could you be planning? Plenty. Draw! We'll move to battle phase. Battle phase it is. So during the battle phase, my spirit, spirit of flames increases the attack by 300. Okay, so he's so at 2500. Okay. Bring it yeah. on, Hunter. I highly doubt I need 2500 to swing over your puny monster. I doubt you do either. Solar Flare Dragon, attack his face down. You attacked Masked Dragon. Oh. When it's destroyed in battle, it'll let me summon a dragon from my deck. I'll summon. Another Masked Dragon, who I just remembered is actually losing 400 defense points because That's of right. Molten they Destruction. Weak. They very weak. Not that it was surviving. I'll have my Spirit of Flames attack your Masked Dragon. All right, Masked Dragon is destroyed, and its effect will activate again, allowing me to summon this from my deck. My Armed Dragon, level three. Oh, because it right. can level up in the standby phase. So I'll be able to eventually oh, do some okay. leveling up. All right, all right, all right. I did not quite see that coming. Hmm. On my next standby phase, my armed dragon will be able to level up into Big Brother, armed dragon level five. Fine. I move to end phase, solar flare dragon, burn him again. 500 damage is nothing. I draw for turn. All right, during my standby phase, I'm going to send armed dragon level three to the graveyard to summon from my deck, your deck, armed dragon. Level five. Armed Dragon level five is probably the overall best of the level monsters in this set, and so I was really glad I was actually able to use it. You can discard a card and pop opponent's monsters, but the main thing is it actually just functions as a really good tribute monster. That said though, being able to get it out from a level up with Armed Dragon level three is not too shabby either. Thank goodness it was on the top of my deck. Well, I mean, it had to be in the deck. I'm just thank like, thank goodness I hadn't drawn it. I would've sucked. All right, say hello to Armed Dragon level five, Duelist. His effect actually lets me send a card from my hand to the graveyard. Destroy a monster on your field with attack equal to or less than the attack of the sent monster, which I don't think I can actually do right now, but that's okay. <laughs> my monsters are simply too powerful. For okay, now. Well, that's currently right now, they're actually not too powerful. I'll activate. I'll enter the battle phase and have, this is a decrease win, right? okay. I'll have Armed Dragon level five, attack. Your spirit of flames. All right, I'll take 200, but you'll take 500. Oh yeah, backfire, I can't forget about that. Hmm, I'll go to main phase two, duelist. We'll set one monster face down in the field and then activate my Ikibayo Drakmord ah. on your solar flare dragon. It won't be able to attack and at the end of the second turn, it'll be destroyed and this will return to my hand. Your move, duelist. Draw, normal summon, Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level four. Oh, okay, I didn't know you actually were going to be able to do the full Horus thing. I'm assuming you can. Maybe I can. We'll see if it's you a, can. It's a big if around here. All right. Okay. Enter battle. My Horus is boosted by my Molten Destruction. It has 2100, it attacks your face down. You attack my Magician of Faith. Even though it's destroyed, its flip effect will let me get a spell from my graveyard in my hand. I wonder what spell card I want right now. <laughs> I'll get my Pot of Greed back to my hand. I'll move to my end phase and activate both my monster's abilities. Solar Flare Dragon will burn you for 500. And my Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four, because it destroyed a monster by battle, will send itself to the graveyard and level up to Horus level six. Ooh, this is trouble. Okay, so This Horus is unaffected by spell cards. So even my Ikebayo Drakmord can do nothing about him. I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll start by activating a spell card. You might know what it is and what it does. It's Pot of Greed. I draw two cards from my deck, in case you weren't aware. I, I, I am aware. I am aware. Draw. It was in the memo. Mm, there's trouble afoot because... Your monster's only level five, but mine's level six. <laughs> That's strange you say that because my monster, for some reason, has more attack points. Not no. with Molten Destruction. I'd say mine's definitely stronger. You know. <laughs> 
All right, well, I can't attack Solar Flare Dragon, but that matters very little as it will be destroyed next turn anyway. It looks like my only option is set a card face down and switch Armed Dragon level five to defense position for now. And I'll also set one card face down in the field. Your move. I'm so glad you didn't realize I don't have a Pyro on the field, so you could have attacked him. Ah, oh, okay. Drop return! I could have attacked him, but I want my Ikibio Drakmord back in my hand anyway, so it's okay. I'll normal summon. Blazing and Pachi. Oh, okay. Very All dangerous. right, let's move to battle. Blazing and Pachi attack his armed dragon. All right, armed dragon will be destroyed. There's no point in the waiting around to find out. Horus, attack his face down. All right, my monster is just a mad dog of darkness. It's oh, all right, cool. Destroy us hey. into the graveyard. It's great. Then I'll move to my end phase. Okay, do it. Activate both my monster's effects. Solar Flare Dragon will burn you for 500. And now I'll level up into Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, level eight. Hmm, a dangerous monster indeed. But that also means that my Ikibio Drakmord will destroy your Solar Flare Dragon. I will banish a light and a dark oh monster my from my graveyard in order to special summon this. My Chaos Sorcerer to the field in attack mode. That's Chaos Sorcerer is really just old faithful at this point. I mean, this is in these older duels a really good way of like surprising your opponent with something that moves beyond just a normal summon. And it outs pretty much any threat at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh, so good stuff. Man. That's fair. That, that, that does Chaos fair. Sorcerer activate effect. I target Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level eight, and banish it from the field and from the game forever. Goodbye, Horus. It was fun while it lasted, Duelist. It lasted less than a Yeah, I didn't even make a full turn on the field. That's okay. That's not all, after all. I also activate Ikibio Drakmord on your Blazing Impachi. Mm -mm. Just in case you had any plans of using it. I did. I'll set one card face down on the field and end my turn. Chaos Sorcerer can't attack the turn it uses its effect. Draw! Normal summon, Mass Dragon. I'll enter battle and have my Mass Dragon attack your Chaos Sorcerer. So he's got 1,900. That's right. It'll be destroyed by battle. All right, so you'll take 400 damage and I'll take 500 from Backfire, right? Yes, and a Mass Dragon's effect will special summon a Dragon Monster with 1,500 or less attack. <laughs> 1,500 or less attack. I summon Element Dragon to the field. Element Dragon, now I know Paul's not expecting this. Mash Dragon into this? I mean, come on, where'd that synergy even come from? It gets boosted to 2,000? I was like, this is, this is simple, this is light work. It doesn't get a bonus for Molten Destruction, but just another big monster that my opponent won't be expecting? This could really help me win the game. Interesting, okay. Element Dragon says there's a fire monster on the field. It gains 500 attack. Ah, so he's 2,000. That's right and I'll have my Element Dragon attack your face down. All right, you attack Sangin. Aww. It'll be destroyed and it'll let me add a monster from my deck to my hand. I know a cool monster I could get, but I'll have a little bit more fun and get my Dark Mimic LV1. Wow. All right, so I know that Dark Mimic is probably not really a card I should have even bothered including in my deck, but I thought it would be really fun to see if I could resolve its full effect. It does let you draw a card, and if it somehow manages to make it a full turn or more, then you can summon LV3, and then when that dies, you can get two cards, and I'm already convincing myself it's a terrible idea as I say it out loud, but hey, maybe we can pull it all off. Because we're leveling up in this duel. That's what it's all about. I, I, this will get added to my hand. Is it gonna level up, though? We'll see. <laughs> so we'll see if it will level up in this duel. I just want to find out if it can. Well, since you're blazing and potch, you can't attack. Does that end your turn, Hunter? It does. Excellent. I draw one card. I will enter the battle phase and have Chaos Sorcerer attack your Element Dragon. He has 2,300 attack points. Goodbye, Element Dragon. So he'll take 300 damage. I'll go to main phase two and set a monster face down. I wonder what it can be, Hunter. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Ultimate Baseball Kid. Ultimate Baseball Kid, a new addition to the deck. I wasn't quite sure how much use I'd get out of it, but being able to get into 2,500 attack easily, and it burns for 500, it pairs perfectly with my Solar Flare. This is a burn deck. Oh, okay. It gains 1,000 attack for each other fire monster on the field, so it gains 
500 to be at 15, and then 500 for Molten Destruction, so it's another 2,000 attack monster. 2,000 attack, huh? Enter battle. Battle entered. Ultimate Baseball Kid attack his face down. You attacked my Dark Mimic. When it's flipped face up, I draw one card. And that's it. And it goes. I won't be summoning Dark Mimic LV3 after all. <laughs> Fun while it lasted. And then, main phase two, I'll use my Baseball Kid's effect. I'll send another fire monster I control to the graveyard to burn you for 500 damage. Oh, clever, clever, which means Ikebio Drachmord is destroyed as well. Yeah, but now my ultimate baseball kid's down to just 1,000. That is true. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. Let's activate Chaos Sorcerer's effect and banish your ultimate baseball kid from the field. Oh, you just don't want to get burned. I don't want to get burned. And uh, um, next, I will. I'll set one monster face down, another card face down, and end my turn. All right, draw. Did I put this in my deck? Are you confused, Hunter? Yeah. What does this do? Hmm. Pot of greed. Draw a spell two card cards. that allows you to take two cards from the top of your deck and add them to your hand. Could that be what you activated there, Duel? Yes. And now I have three cards, and these three cards may keep me in the game. We shall see, won't we? I activate Hammer Shot. Okay. Destroy the face-up attack vision monster with the highest attack. Well, goodbye, Chaos Sorcerer. It was fun while it lasted. No more of your banishing shenanigans. I probably should have just attacked with this, but that's okay. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Setting a monster defensive, are we? I draw for turn. I'm gonna find out when I normal summon my Berserk Gorilla. It breathes fire. It should be in my It deck. really should be a fire monster and gain <laughs> 500. Can we just agree that it just gains 500? We can't. Enter the battle phase. Hmm, actually. Before I do, I'll... Yeah, uh, uh, before judge. I do... I'll flip up my Spirit Reaper into attack position. Oh. All right, I enter the battle phase and Berserk Gorilla will attack your face down monster. You hit UFO Turtle. Darn. So, my UFO Turtle will activate its effect, but you'll also get burned for 500. 500. Okay. I see, those. And now I'll special summon from my deck, UFO Turtle. All right, well, I will just set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. Normal summon, my Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, he's back. Fun. It's always gonna be here. Solar Flare Dragon attacks Spirit Reaper. Hmm, I'll take, I'll take 1800 damage. Spirit Reaper won't be destroyed. It won't. Oh wait, 1700 damage. Oh yeah, 17, 17. Sorry. Yeah, 1700 damage. And I will move to end phase. Okay, so I take 500 damage. Burn him! 500 it is. Put me at 300. I don't see how you can possibly get out of this situation. I'll end my turn. We will see. I draw for mine. Tribute. Her? My Spirit Reaper to summon Jinzo to the field in attack position. Ah! Oh. And that means that Backfire's effect will be negated. No. Not it. only that, but I still have more attacking to do, don't I? So, let's use Jinzo and go to the battle phase. Jinzo will attack Solar Flare Dragon. I do not control any pyros, so that is legal. So you'll take 400 damage. And Berserk Gorilla has to attack, so I'll be attacking your UFO Turtle. UFO Turtle will activate its effect. That is fine. There's no hope. There's no But I'll summon Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, it is summoned in attack mode, though. Oh, yeah. That's right. Just worth noting. Okay, well, that's gonna end my turn. All right, off turn. Hmm, I don't see any reason to take any extra risks. So, I'll set a card face down, and I'll attempt to move the end phase. Hmm, I will. Dangerous, dangerous. I didn't expect Solar Flare Dragon to show up and ruin my plans. I only have 300 life points. I should have, uh, not let it get this bad. I will. You're allowed to go to your end phase there. Duels. Activate Solar Flare Dragon's effect. Uh, I take 500 and lose the duel. I, that's the <laughs> one card I had not foreseen. I did have face down cards I could have used, but I knew that Book of Moon wouldn't have worked since you'd have flipped it back face up. If you did flip it back face up, I had Bottomless Trap Hole. But Jinzo's in the field, so I wouldn't have been able to use that. So I was truly out of options. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, good game, Hunter. The burn wins! The burn wins! All right, well, good game. Looks like you're the proud owner now of a prenumbral soldier lady. I don't know if that's something that every <laughs> duelist wants in his collection. But Master Merrick just wants rare cards, and now I have two to give. That's going to be it for this episode of The Rare Hunters. In the next episode, we'll be opening Rise of Destiny. Ooh, it sounds like it's my destiny to get a win streak three going. We'll see. The current score is five to seven, I believe. So I've got a couple more chances to even the score. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, of course, and give us a super thanks. Please. It's very expensive. But also leave a comment. What was your favorite card or play of this duel? We'll see you guys in the next one. Pastor. Welcome back to The, the Rare, Rare Hunters. Hunters. After a short hiatus, we've returned to the series where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, pull cards, build decks, and stake our rarest cards on the outcome of a duel, all in service of Master, Master Merrick. Merrick. This week, we have Rise of Destiny. That's right, actually our first first edition box, by the way, pretty cool. This set includes such powerful game-changing cards as the Koichi, the Battle Chanted Locomotive. The Stalos, the Firestorm Monarch. Divine Wrath. And the Creator. So I'm pretty excited to rip this open, see what we get. And also, just a quick announcement, this is the next to last episode, this portion of The Rare Hunters. So next time will be the finale. But the fun doesn't necessarily stop here because in next episode, maybe Master Merrick might make an appearance? Perhaps, he might even have some giveaways in mind for some of the faithful viewers, his faithful servants. Oh, I'm Maybe a not us, I'm a the, yeah, I mean, we'll see about that part. So uh, yeah, we have appreciated all of you guys' support on this journey mm -hmm. so far. And it's we'll, been a lot of fun. We will see how Master Merrick is, uh, what he thinks of how this has gone so far. He's gonna be proud of me. Before we get into it, of course, drop a like, let us know what your favorite card in Rise of Destiny is. What card would you wager? Oh yeah, and real quick, if you like our shirts, by the way, we got these from shopyugio.com. Oh, yeah, these are dope. Yeah, you got the... Uh, Let's Duel. Yes, and I'm part of the Kaiba Corp R&D department. I'm a rare hunter on the side. Anyways, if you guys want to pick up these shirts, you can head on over to shopyugio.com. Use the code TEAM15 for 15% off. All right, let the hunt begin. All right, so I'm gonna be opening first my Rise of Destiny packs. Let's see what we can get. I like how the packs still say, in ancient Egypt there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to duel. Creeping Doom Manta. Back to square one. This one's always really cool. Discard a card from your hand, return a monster from the field. Mirage Dragon. Your opponent can't use trap cards during the battle phase. Raging Flame Sprite. And oh, starting off with a foil card, a big core. A single tribute monster. It gets three counters when it's normal summoned. It can't be destroyed as a result of battle. If it destroys a monster, remove a counter from this card. If it battles without a counter, it's destroyed at the end of the damage step. Fusilia Dragon, the dual mode beast. It can be normal summon or set without tribute, but its attack and defense become halved. Remember this card was popularly used with skill drain in the past. You know, I, I've heard that this set isn't super popular, but I gotta say, I think the creator is cool. I remember trying to actually use that as a kid. Mind Hacksaws. Oh, okay. So another super rare. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Not exactly the best super rare unless you actually have Harpy Lady Sisters. But until the end phase, all their attacks become 2700. Your opponent cannot activate trap cards, and the effect of every trap card on your opponent's side of the field is negated. Element Saurus, Furin Kazan. You can only activate it when there's one monster of wind, water, fire, and earth face up on the field. So you can destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field, destroy all spells and traps on your opponent's side of the field, discard two cards from their hand, or draw two cards. It'd be funny if I could actually pull this off in a duel. Pitch Black Werewolf, similar to Mirage Dragon. I think it prevents your opponent from using traps in the battle phase. Okay, so two super rares so far. Inflict a thousand points of damage to each player who activates a trap card. That could really quickly burn your opponent. Moki Moki King, Fruits of Kozaki Studies, Harpy Lady 3, Harpy Lady 1. Jeez, I really want you to do a Harpy Lady deck. Homunculus the Alchemic Being, and skip to the super rare Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment. Damage to the controller of this card from card effects becomes zero until the end phase of this turn. Hmm, a cool protective card, but also not really a foil one that I think I would wager. Harpy Lady 1, Astral Barrier, Heavy Mech Support. So we're starting out with Raging Flame Sprite, I can already see. 
Yeah, Raging Flame, Sprite, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, and oh, Ultimate Rare for our final pack, thank goodness. Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. It takes Dark Blade and Pitch Dark Dragon. So as cool as this card is, I don't know if I actually have the cards to summon it, but I'll tell you what I do have. I do have Magical Scientist. Bokuichi, Invasion of Flames, Malice Dispersion, and Foxfire. So it looks like this will be my, uh, my wager for the duel. Four foils is nice. In some of the older boxes, we would oftentimes have three each. So four on one side is a pretty good place to be. All right, wish me good luck, duelists. All right, guys, it's my turn to open up Rise of Destiny. I have the left side of the box. Let's get it started. Hopefully, Exodia will give me some good luck. Light in the load, Harpy Lady number two, Creeping Doom Manta, Tactical Espionage Expert, and Ultra Rare Silent Swordsman level three. Ooh, I actually have a set of the Silent series in Max Rarity. So what can I do with him if I don't have the rest? Harpy's Hunting Ground, Mind Hack Swords, Harpy Girl, Back to Square One, Rare Metal Morph, Sing Shen Hu, Ultimate Insect Level 3. Another LV monster that I don't even know if we have the other, like, parts for it in this set. Mind Hack Swords, Harpy Girl, Back to Square One, Lighten the Load, Gaia Soul, the Combustible Collective. Might find use for this. The Crater Incarnate. Element Saurus, Moki Moki Smackdown, Harpy Lady number three. We have Mirage Dragon, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Light in the Load, Homunculus, Divine Wrath as a super. There you go, box. There you go. Discard one card from your hand, negate the activation and the effect of an effect monster, and destroy that monster. I'm definitely using this. There's no reason not to. Invasion of Flames, Mouse, Spurgeon, Eagle Eye, and Furin Kazan. Harpy Lady number two, Tactical Espionage Expert, Element Magician, Harpy Tunning Ground, Necklace of Command, The Crater Incarnate, Woodburg and Pakchi. Moki Moki King and Woodborg and Pachi. This thing seems to come in, come in twos. I don't know what that's about. We have Mirage Dragon, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Raging Flame, Sprite, Sing Shen Hu, Dark Blade, The Dragon Knight, Fruits of Kozaki, Pitch Black Werewolf, Ballista of Rampart, and Foxfire. Last pack. Come on. Come through. Come through. Mighty Guard, Nightmare Penguin, Back to Square One, Creeping Doom, Manta, and Ultimate Rare Monster Reincarnation. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. No, it's no Monster Reborn, but it can add a monster from Grave to Hand. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm wagering. <laughs> than these guys that we've seen all before. All right, guys, that's my box. My polls were Monster Reincarnation, Divine Wrath, and Silent Swordsman, Swordsman Level 3. Let's get to the duel. So this time I decided to have a little bit of fun and go for a fully wind-based strategy. This one's a little bit different because, well, it's really just Harpy Ladies and cards meant to summon it. So I've got Flying Kamakiri, I've got Garuda, which can actually search it to my hand, and Harpy's Hunting Ground, which I'm hoping to be able to use to destroy a lot of Alex spell and trap cards. The only really different thing here is that I did include Magical Scientist so that I can actually make use of my Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight fusion monster, but other than that, it's just wind monsters and a bunch of staple spells and traps. Not exactly sure how it'll work. I'm taking a bit of a risk here, but we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so nothing too, too crazy here. Uh, I decided to work with the element monsters from this set, and we also had uh, element dragon from the last set. I noticed that they're all light and dark monsters, so I was like, hmm, maybe I can run these with my chaos monsters from before, bring back my black monster soldier. Then I saw the homunculus the alchemic being card, an 1800 attack light monster that could change its attribute, and I was like, wait a minute. This could really be something. Since Element Dragon and Element Saurus both have the effects that if you have a fire monster on field, they gain 500 attack, they're 2000 attack normal summons, and that's pretty good value when all these monsters really exist for us to be banished to summon my Chaos Sorcerer or my Black Buster Soldier. And last, but certainly probably least, is Furin Kazan, the normal trap card that if you have each attribute, wind, water, fire, and earth on the field, you can use one of its very destructive abilities, but that's gonna be really hard to do and take multiple homunculus on field, so uh, it's really a, a la you know a for fun card. I'll wager, Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. I wager, Ultimate Rare, Monster Reincarnation. All right, Hunter, are you ready for the hunt to begin? I was born ready to take your rarest card. I'll be taking your monster reincarnation. And as duel. even though I don't even have an extra deck, I'll be taking your dark blade, the dragon knight. 
I'll start. All right, Hunter, bring it on. The card I'll activate first is the Pot of Greed. Hmm, remind me what that one does again. Well, I draw one and two cards. Oh, well, so you cheated. You got to draw one and then you got to draw two. That's what you're saying. That's right, I get three cards on my first turn. A lot of cards in your hand, Hunter. Will it be enough? But I'm only gonna set one monster face down, and one spell or trap, and end my turn. All right, I draw. Hmm. Well, speaking of hands, I'm going to pay 1,000 life points to activate my confiscation. No, I refuse. That's right, reveal your hand, and I get to select a card I and can't send it. Stop him! Graveyard. Ah. His hand has Nomina Crossout, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, Homunculus the Alchemy Being, Monster Reincarnation, and Mirage Dragon. Interesting. Hmm, what would be most valuable? Hmm, let's get rid of your Nobleman of Crossout. <sighs> I don't want to deal with that card. You can keep Fine. the rest though. That's not all though, Duelist. Because next, I will set, hmm. I'll set one card face down in the field. Activate my Bait Doll. Ugh. I force the activation of a face down spell or trap card. If it's a trap, it'll go to the graveyard. If its timing is incorrect, if it's a spell, then it's fine. Goodbye, trap hole. Oh, goody. Goodbye, trap hole indeed. That's gonna end my turn, Duelist. Fine, draw. You think you're so cool, huh? Oh, so I do. big and bad, huh? I do. I'll normal summon Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Oh, okay, interesting. This 1800 attack and I'll go straight to battle and attack your monster. Oh, okay, this destroys face down, oh, face up to, okay, thank goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I was afraid. You destroyed Flying Kamakiri number one. Its effect activates and it allows me to special summon a wind monster with 1500 or less attack from my deck in oh. attack position. A wind monster with 1500? That's right, Duelist. I've Ooh. changed my strategy a little bit. Say hello. Sasuke Samurai? I don't remember what the wind monster's was. To was. Harpy Lady 1. She's Harpy Lady. But her name is, well her name's Harpy Lady. But she's Harpy Lady 1. So she makes all your wind monsters gain 300, right? Yes, yeah, so all my wind monsters gain 300 mm. attack points. It's still weaker than Sasuke though. It is for now, Duelist. I'll just end my turn. We'll see for how much longer I draw for turn. All right, next I'm going to, I'll activate a Harpy's Hunting Ground. So it's a field spell. Whenever Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters is normally a special summon of the field, I can destroy a spell or a trap card. I actually have to destroy one. Okay. So Harpy's Hunting Ground was pretty much supposed to be the linchpin of my strategy. I was going for a Harpy Lady sort of deck and this card destroys spells and traps whenever you summon a Harpy. There is a bit of a problem, which is that you have to actually have a harpy to summon, and it can also self-destruct, but the advantage you can generate is kind of going to be huge, so hopefully this works out. More importantly though, it gives all my face-up wing beast monsters 200 extra attack points, putting my 1600 harpy lady 1 now to 1800. But it's still only equal with Now mine. it can't swing over ninja grandmaster Sasuke, I forgot his name, yet. yet. But how about I use this? I will summon harpy's brother. Oh, now that's a, that's a card. With eyes like a hawk and a flying speed exceeding Mach 5, this monster is a master of the sky. He also gains attack from Harpy Lady 1 and Harpy's Hunting Ground, putting him at 2300. That's a problem. Now it's time to enter the battle phase, Duelist. I'll have Harpy's brother attack Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. I'll take it. And that's not all. You'll also be taking 500 points of damage. Then I'll Why? use Harpy Lady 1. And attack your face down card. Oh, that was just. Oh, just a battle damage. Oh, I thought, I thought oh, it, it just... sounded like it was extra. You hit. I swan of locusts. All right, draw. Mm, indeed. You've set up some pretty nifty monsters over there. Some powerful wind monsters gain attack points at my command. Let's normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Ooh, an unpleasant one. And I'll have my Kaiku attack your harpy lady. Well, Harpy Lady does have 1,800 attack points. Are you willing to suicide your monster into her just for the sake of the cause? Yes, yes. All right, well, they're both destroyed. It still leaves Harpy's brother at 2,000 attack points. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a real problem. <laughs> and you're gonna have to eat Harpy's brother's claws. I don't like the way you said that. Not even a little bit. Okay. I hated that. I hated everything about that. Yeah, well. I'll set two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. Hmm, if you couldn't deal with one Harpy Lady, how will you deal with another? Harpy Lady won normal summon to the field. That's why everyone know I literally dealt with Harpy Lady. Like that happened, we saw it. 
And since I normal summon a Harpy Lady, my Harpy's Hunting Ground can activate, allowing me to destroy a spell or trap card in the field. Take it out of this card. You hit Monster Reincarnation. Looks like you won't be reincarnating any monsters anytime soon, and now I can enter the battle phase. I'll have Harpy Lady 1 attack with 1800. <laughs> I activate Mirror Force. Ooh, I'll not a pleasant both of one. your monsters. Harpy's brother, Harpy Lady One. Just oh God, listen. I, oh, I thought it was gonna be your move, duel. <laughs> your move, Hunter. Draw for time. Good card. I should have hit that with my Harpy's Hunting Ground. A nice bait, mate. But I won't take it next time. Two cards in hand, huh? Only two cards. Oh, you're gonna take them from me? Activate Delinquent Duo! Wow, Duelist. Monster. So Anyways. now, we'll discard a random card from oh, your They're hand. both gone. My bird face Woo! and the wind spirit. Oh, brutal. That's what we love to see. Especially since all I can summon is my Mirage Dragon. I guess it's not all I can summon, but we're gonna summon Mirage Dragon. And attack with 1600. Oh man, I had backup plays. I had Garuda and Birdface. Now they're in the grave. Yay. Your turn. My turn. All right, well, I'm gonna have to end my turn, Duelist. Fine, draw. You got a lucky mirror force off, that's all. No luck, just skill. I will have my Mirage Dragon attack you directly with 1600. Then in main phase two, I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. Hmm. What you got? I activate my part of greed, a spell card that allows me Two. Draw two cards from my deck. Draw one and two. Where are those cards that like banish it forever? Oh no, never. This that. is the first game in a while where we're just getting these things off. Okay. So I didn't get the cards that I exactly wanted, but this will help. I'll normal summon my bird face to the field. So mm. when it's sent to the graveyard from battle, I can add a harpy lady from my deck to my hand. But more importantly, it gains an attack boost from Harpy's Hunting Ground. So I'm going to attack your Mirage Dragon. Goodbye, Mirage. Which means you'll take 200 points of damage. Yes. I'll then set one card face down and end my turn. All right, draw. Mm. Mm, indeed, a duelist. Mm, See if 1800. 1800 attack points. Ah, ah, ah. Too, Too bad. bad. much in this duel. Flip summon Night Assailant. Ooh. I will target to destroy your bird face. With the my bird face. And then Damn. I'll normal summon my homunculus, the alchemic being. The linchpin of this deck is homunculus, the alchemic being. An 1800 attack monster that can change its attribute on the field, so my element monsters can have whatever effects I want them to have. Even better, this is a light monster, and all the element monsters are light and dark, and that enables my chaos cards from before. Now what is his story? I, I can actually just change its attribute. Oh. It can only be once per turn. Okay. I use the effect to change him into a fire monster. I don't know. It was saying if this gave like wind monsters a boost, and you change him to wind. Oh yeah. It does it. It does like beast, but <laughs> it would have been cool. Enter battle. Battle entered duelist. Knight of selling attacks with 200. Ooh, this one's good. And hurt. then attacks with 1800. I'll set one card from my hand face down and end my turn. Kind of my last resort here. I will normal summon my Harpy Lady 1. Oh my gosh. It's the good. third and final Harpy Lady in my deck. Wow, we went through it so fast. Yeah, they didn't last long. That triggers Harpy's Hunting Ground to destroy your face down card, Duel. What is You know it? what? I should have thought about that before I said this. My, my body is a shield. Oh, well, good. It's no longer being a shield. And now my 1800 attack points, Harpy Lady 1. Can attack your knight assailant. I'll say, I'm gonna kill someone. Okay. I'll That'd take 1600. Yes, yeah, so I'll take 1600 duelist. Nice. Oh, you're smiling about it. I don't like it. Normal summon Element Saurus. I really wasn't sure what to do this Rare Hunters, but when I saw Element Saurus, I knew what I had to do. The Element Monsters have got no love in Yu Gi Oh! Element Saurus is no like stranger to that. But from my last game, I knew if Element Source can get a fire monster on field, this is a 2,000 attack normal summon. And I have just the card to help me do that. <laughs> okay, what's that do? <laughs> Element Source gains an effect depending on which attributes are on the field. And like I said last turn, my, hum my homunculus is a fire monster. What? So Element Source gains 500 attack, so it's a 2,000 attack monster. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be joking. Source attack. Jesus Christ. The Homunculus and this game. <laughs> I tried, okay? <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna end up being a difference maker. 
But now you see what I was going for. Duelist. Game two. Let's go. Now that you've seen my strategy, and I've seen yours. I'm honestly not worried. <laughs> yeah, there's not one. Anyways, I'll be taking the first move. Normal summon my bird face to the field in attack mode and set one card face down. Your move. All right, draw. One of the rare times I'm actually seeing something different in this hand. But like last game, I'll start with Pot of Greed. Oh, okay. Not fair, dude. What's that two do? Two cards. Okay. I'll say, you couldn't have forgotten that fast. I don't know. You gotta remind me sometimes. I'll set a monster face down and set two. Speller trap cards. And it's I'm one of the mirror turn. forest duels. Maybe you, you can be know. honest and just tell me now. <clears throat> you never know. All right. Well, we'll find out soon, won't we? Yes, we will, because I activate my harpy's hunting ground. Oh my god! Here we go. Here and we go. I'll normal summon <clears throat> harpy lady one, which means that one of your speller trap cards is going to be destroyed by harpy's hunting ground. What's it gonna I be? I target this card. You hit <sighs> my Sakuretsu armor. Good. It's close to mirror force. And that's destroyed, which means nothing really. It just means I can attack more safely. Unless that card's a mirror force. You know what? Just to be safe, I'll switch bird face to defense mode. I learned from my mistakes. Harpy Lady 1 attack his face down card with 1800. I'm proud of you, don't. Aren't you proud of me? Because it was just force. Swarm of Locus. So no, well. Make a huge difference. Okay. Your move, duelist. All right. Draw for turn. All right. Time to show off an oldie but a goodie. Actually, it's really just a blast from the past. Hmm? Of last game, normal summon, Homunculus. Oh, I was afraid it was the liquid duo. I was going to be like, oh, no. Homunculus, the alchemic being, you say. Fine by me. Hey, man, how much defense you got? 1,400 defense points. Because my smashing ground says it destroys your monster with the highest defense. Well, that'll be my bird face then, duelist. Goodbye. Which is actually kind of a worse thing for me to lose. Now I can't float. Yeah, get off my field. I had to use it since you played the harp the hunting ground. Yeah, you choice. might as well. It makes sense. And now my homunculus, who is I guess tied with you, also eighteen. Yeah, homunculus attacks. All right, we're both destroyed by this battle. Hmm. And I'll end my turn. Afraid to set any cards face down. Here? Well, I just don't think that would work out in my favor. I draw one card. I will normal summon my flying Kamakiri number one. And attack your life points directly! I'll take it. Sadly doesn't gain for Harpy's hunting gear on He's not a winged beast monster. But that doesn't mean he doesn't still have a use for me. Does it have a use? Does it really? Do you have a use? You don't, Hunter. I'm the only one of use to best, and I'll prove it when I win this best two out of three duel. I will activate monster reincarnation. Oh, your rare card, duel. I'll discard a card from my hand, my Sukuyomi to add monster from grave to hand. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Interesting. Will it be enough? Sukiyomi's quite a useful card. Are you sure you want to discard it like that? Man, look, you killed my Swarm Locus two rounds in a row. Yeah, I always weren't able to set up anything <laughs> cool with it. Now, I'll normal summon Homunculus. Surprise, surprise. That's okay. right. And now my Homunculus will attack your flying Kamakiri. Okay, so I take 400 damage. Mm -hmm. And... Get out. It's destroyed, but when flying comic is destroyed, as you know, I can summon a wind monster from my deck. I can't get Harpy Lady because you don't have face down cards. You can, it just might I don't not be to. fun for you. I'll get. Uh, I don't think I thought this far ahead and really put that many more options in here. I'll get another flying comic number one. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Attack mode. And the, I'll end my turn there. All right, I draw. I will activate the magic. Of confiscation. Oh no! I'll pay a thousand life points. That was a hundred, not a thousand. I'll pay a thousand life points and take a look at your hand and see what's going to the graveyard. <sighs> what do you have in here? Chaos Sorcerer, Nomen of Cross on Call the Haunted. Do you have any light monsters? You do have a light monster. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to get rid of the card that I know will destroy me. Chaos Sorcerer. <sighs> Come on, you man. Can the They're strong. Yes, Confiscation lets me discard a card from his hand, and that's not all. Next. That is all. That's all it does. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, <laughs> that's not all I've got for you, Duelist. I will. I'll summon my Garuda the Wind Spirit. I can special summon it by banishing a wind monster from my graveyard. I'll banish my bird face. All right. So thanks to the attack boost from Harpy's Hunting Ground, it's got 1,800 attack points. It would have been great if this was a bird face. I could just attack under that, but I can't. So, uh, 
I will... You know what? We'll attack with Garuda the Wind Spirit. All right. We'll, we'll both be destroyed. We'll both be destroyed. And then I'll attack you directly with Flying Kamakiri. I'll take it. Number one. 1,400. You're moved. I'll set one card face down, set one more, and I'll end my turn. I drew off a turn. Hmm, not exactly what I wanted, but it's okay. All right, I will... Hmm. This deck really needs Harpy Lays sometimes. Well... That's okay. You could have just killed your Kamakiri and got one. Yeah, I probably could have a better idea. All right, I'm going to enter the battle phase. Yes. I'll have Flying Kamakiri attack face down monster. You hit Spirit Reaper. Oh, joy. Can't be destroyed by battle. All right, main phase two. I'm going to set a card face down. So another card face down. Your move. All right. Draw for turn. Well, I'm thankful that you finally gave me something face down. So I can activate Noble Man of Cross out. Yeah, I figured out how to get rid of it. It's just my tornado bird. Okay. It is a flip effect monster. I don't have any more copies. Of course not. So it's, you know, but it, it's banished. It doesn't do much. It doesn't sound like it does. It, it really doesn't. doesn't. Do much. It does not sound like it does anything. All right. Well, uh... Oh, yeah, still your move. I will activate my Call of the Haunted. Okay. To special summon from my graveyard, Swarm of Locusts. Ooh, that's like the last thing I wanted to see. But okay. I'll activate my Locust effect to flip it face down. Oh, boy. Now, I'll normal summon Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Okay, this is a little too much. I'm going to activate my Trap Hole. All right, fair enough. Yeah, he's got over a thousand. He's destroyed. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sasuke. Can't have him hanging around doing mean things. All right, then I'll just end my turn. I drew off. Uh, all right. Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed by battle. It cannot be. I normal summon Harpy's brother. All right. 2,000 attack points at least. I'm going to enter the battle phase, and I'll attack with Flying Kamakiri. Well, he only has a, a 500 defense, so goodbye, Locust. And I can't kill Spirit Reaper. Your move. All right. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Ooh, okay. Kaiku effect will banish your Harpy number one and your Flying Kamakiri. Okay, well, um, my Flying Kamakiri will activate its effect at least. So I'm going to get to summon another wind monster if I even have one. Yeah, I don't actually have that many that are under 1500 attack. Ah. Sadly. But I do have Harpy Lady One. All right, so you get Special stronger. Summon to the Field. And not only that, but Harpy's Hunting Ground is going to activate and destroy Call of the Haunted. Yeah, that's fine. At this point, it's yeah, just sitting kind there of doing its, nothing. You know. I'll just end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll activate my Pot of Greed card oh. to draw two. Let's normal summon my Bird Face to the field. And now for the final trick, let's get rid of Spirit Reaper using Rush Recklessly. I'll target oh. Spirit Reaper and increase its attack by 700. You know what that means. Oh, since Spirit Reaper is targeted, oh, yeah. it's destroyed. Oh, yeah. I forgot. If it's targeted, it's immediately destroyed. And that's not all. All my monsters are gaining 500 attack points. Because of Lady. Thanks to Harpy Lady and Harpy's Hunting Grounds going for the jugular. Bird Face with 2100 is going to attack Kaiku. I'll take it. For 300. Then. Harpy Lady will attack for 1,800. 1,800. And finally, Harpy's brother will attack you for 23. That's I'm not still to kill alive. You. Your move. <laughs> Draw for turn. Not for much longer, you're not alive. So what are current attacks? So 2,100, 1,800, 2,300. Mm. There's seemingly no way I survived this. The normal summon my roulette barrel. What's that in there? I'm gonna use the effect. Okay. So I get to roll a die. I can destroy one monster whose level equals this die result. Okay. Four! Nope, it's the two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you destroyed her, then suddenly they do get significantly worse. Okay. All right, I'll just end my turn. <laughs> I draw. I said I draw. Stupid deck. I'll enter the battle phase and finish you off with Harpy's Brother, 2300 attack on Goodbye, your roulette barrel. Roulette. And that concludes the second game of this duel. I mean, you had to win one. You had to win one. That puts us at one and one duel. I'll normal summon my homunculus, the alchemic being. Hmm. It's really the most consistent card in my deck. Yeah. Then I'll set one card face down and end my turn. All right, well, how about I draw one card? I'll activate my Nomen of Extermination on your face down card. Good moon. Oh, okay. So this. it's destroyed and removed from play. If it was a trap card, then we would have both had to remove all the copies. Thankfully for you, that isn't the case. All right. Hmm. How about I use this? My Ikibayo Drakmord, a familiar oh. threat on your homunculus, the alchemic being. It can't attack. Not only that, but also 
It will be destroyed at the end of the second turn, and then this card will return to my hand. Next, I'll summon. Winged Sage Falcos. Winged Sage Falcos is actually super underrated. I pulled it in an earlier set and I realized that when I destroy a monster with its effect, I can actually return that monster to the top of the deck. So it kind of reminds me of something like a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast or a Back to Square One where I can slow my opponent down pretty much infinitely. If this card destroys a face-up attack position monster in battle, I can choose to return that monster to the top of the owner's deck. Oh, that could be rather nasty. Rather than sending it that to the graveyard. That could be very nasty. You, though, that's not going to be happening this turn because your homunculus is too strong. But I'll set two cards face down. And in my turn... Draw. Let's see. When powered up with Harpy's Hunting Ground, my wing sage can be quite a threat, but I don't have that right now. <laughs> so my homunculus will be destroyed on my second my The end of your second, second turn. End, okay, got it. So not this end phase, but the next. It'll be destroyed and never to be seen again. I will normal summon my element Saurus. Oh jeez, this thing again. And I'll activate my homunculus' effect to turn it into a fire monster. So what does that do? So now my element Saurus is gaining 500 attack per its own effect. Fine. So he's 2,000. That's right. I'll enter battle. Element Saurus, attack his winged sage. Hmm, that's trouble. I'll activate my Sakuretsu armor on your Element Saurus. And I'll activate my body as a shield by paying 1,500. Ooh, rude. You don't want him to, to die, do you? Not easily. I don't know if I can help it. Hmm, well, how about I use this? We got a little chain going here, don't we? This is fine. The damage can start. But during damage calculation, I've got a trick up my sleeve. My rush recklessly wow. to increase the attack of Wing Sage Falcos by 700. All right. Yeah, that'll do it. I'll put Wing Sage Falcos up to 2400, and it'll destroy your element Saurus. Goodbye, my Saurus. Which means you take 400 points. Do I want to return it to the top of your deck, I wonder? Hmm, the main problem is it'll just get summoned next turn, and I'll actually have to deal with it again. So it's going to go to the graveyard, look, <laughs> Duelist. I'm going to set one monster face down in the field, and set a spell or trap. Then I'll end my turn. All right, draw. Oh no, not another element monster. I activate Premature Burial. Ooh. I'll pay 800 life points to special summon my element Saurus from the grave. Ah, oh, disgusting duelist. And my homunculus is still fire, so my guy's 2,000 attack. Hmm. Next, our normal summon, Mirage Dragon. So Mirage Dragon says you can't activate traps during the battle phase, in case you're planning something. Enter battle. Maybe I was planning something. Element Saurus, attack Falco. All right, Wing Falcos is destroyed, and I'll take 300 damage. And then Mirage Dragon, attack for 1,600. Hmm. Yeah, you destroyed Tornado Bird. I thought about using its effect to return uh, two oh, spell or trap cards in the field to the ends of their owner, but I don't think I want to give Woo! Premature Burial back. <laughs> uh, if, it went, if it left and then got rid of that, that'd be great, but it doesn't. All right, but I'll end my turn. Which means Inky Bayo Drachmore is destroying Homunculus, the alchemic being. Goodbye, my Homunculus. And returning to my hand. All right. I draw, do I'll normal summon Harpy Lady 1, which increases the attack of all wind monsters by 300, including itself, so it's at 1,600 attack points. All right. This doesn't gain any effects for nope. wind Only monsters for or light. and earth, because the element monsters are strange. All right, well then Harpy Lady 1 is going to attack Element Saurus. Goodbye, my Saurus. 100 points of damage. In my main phase 2, I'll activate Ikibio Drachmore. In fact, I'll put it here, as just so you remember. It's an element, or sorry, Mirage Dragon. Gotcha. It can't attack. In two turns, it'll be destroyed. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I just set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll normal summon my bird face to the field in attack mode. It's got 1,600 attack, but thanks to Harpy Lady 1, it's gaining 300 more. Let's enter the battle phase and have bird face attack your face down monster. You hit Old Vindictive Magician. Ooh, brutal, okay. And Birdface only gets his effect when he is... Destroyed by battle. Well, too bad, Birdface, because I'm destroying you with old vindictive. All right, we're both destroyed then. Your move, duelist. Trough return. Our normal summon, Homunculus, the alchemic being. Oh, tired of seeing him. Enter battle, Homunculus attack. I take 200 damage. I'll end my turn. Say goodbye to Mirage Dragon. And I'll say hello to Ikibayo Dragmore. Hate that card. My draw. I really hate it. Yes. Surprise, I activate Ikibayo Dragmore on Homunculus. All right. 
Because I need to survive longer. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. As long as I can hold you off with my Iki Bio Dracmord, I don't need to worry about drawing monsters, though. It would be nice to eventually. <laughs> I'll end my turn. All right, that's one turn, and I'll draw. I activate the spell card. Pot of Greed. Aww. I get to draw two cards from my deck. Will they be helpful to me? I hope not. Clearly not. Okay, well, they're playable, though. Next, I'm going to use my Terraforming card. So this lets me add a field spell from my deck to my hand. Fortunately, the only field spell I've got is Harpy's Hunting Ground, which right now does not have much use. Use it, use it, use it, use it. I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? All right, let's have at it. I'll normal summon my magical scientist. So magical scientist was the only non-win part of the strategy. I just had to keep it in because I did pull Dark Blade the Dragon Knight and I wanted a way to summon it. I think that Dark Blade isn't like the best card, but banishing cards out of Alex's graveyard might prove to be pretty useful in this game. Oh, Attack this isn't mode. fun. This is the opposite. And I'll thing. activate its effect. Oh my gosh. Actually, wait, no, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> we'll be for next turn. No, we'll be a different turn. All right, cut that part out. It was, it was not. It was, that was a terrible mistake. Your move, duelist. All right. Draw. Cards in hand. I have three cards. Well, it's time to free the homunculus with giant true nade. Oh. I pay a thousand life points. Four. Delinquent duo. Oh, okay. This card. You hit my ceasefire. Ah. But I still have to discard a card as well. It's definitely not what I wanted to hit. I think it's gonna have to be Harpy's Hunting Ground. I'll take it. I'll tell you. Because it. I feel like it's not going to get me any use anytime soon. It might just self-destruct when it does. But my homunculus is free to attack, so homunculus attack. 1800 is nothing. I still have more life. I'll draw for mine. Let's see here. Say hello, Ikibayo Drakmord again, oh, because course. I need to stall this game out even longer, and I'll set one monster face down. Your move, duelist. Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Crossout. Ooh. Let's see what that is. This is Flying Kamakiri number one, and it's banished. I think it's not a flip effect monster, I don't have to banish any more copies, I don't even know if I have any more. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, it's banished. Are you happy, Hunter? Are you proud of yourself? Ish. You still can't attack me. Happy-ish. Your homunculus is still useless to you. Unless you contribute it, of course. I will set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I thought I'd normal summon my harpy's brother. All right. I'll enter the battle phase and attack your face down monster. You hit. Night Assailant. Ugh, gosh. Destroy. No one can keep a car on the field. Not easily. Not Your easily. move. Draw for turn. I'll set a card face down, and I'll set a monster face down. All right, do you end, end your phase. turn? Say goodbye. This card's returned to my hand so many times in school. <laughs> One time, not even of its own effect. I draw. But I normal summon my Lady Ninja Ye. All right. I normal summon Magical Scientist to the field in attack mode. So Magical Scientist was the only non-win part of the strategy. I just had to keep it in because I did pull Dark Blade the Dragon Knight, and I wanted a way to summon it. I think that Dark Blade isn't like the best card, but banishing cards out of Alex Graveyard might prove to be pretty useful in this game. It lets me pay a thousand life points to summon a level six or lower fusion monster from my fusion deck and face up attack position or defense position. However, I can't attack you directly, but I don't think I need to. I'm gonna activate its effect, I'll pay a thousand. And I will summon my Fiend Skull Dragon in attack mode. It negates flip effects. I enter the battle phase. Fiend Skull Dragon attack. I'll activate Compulsory Evacuation Device. Okay. I'm gonna send your scientist back to your hand. Ah, because you can't target my Fiend Skull Dragon. Yeah. If you do, I, I do it'll, it'll negate, negate it. it so. All right, fine. Well, I'm still going to attack. Flip. Mask of Darkness. Oh, no flip effect monsters. Oh, that's today. right. That, that, that's Thanks horrible. to Fiend Skull Dragon. That's horrible. No Mask of Darkness. Oh, you wanted to get back that compulse, didn't I you? Did. Okay. I did, I did. You picked the very worst monster for the situation for me. All right, well, I end my turn. It's returned to my extra deck. Save yourself a turn. Draw! I can only imagine. Pot of Greed! Of course. I'll draw, draw two, cards. two cards from my deck. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll normal summon my Lady Ninja Yay in attack mode. It doesn't have an effect that's relevant right now, so I'm just going to enter the battle phase and attack you directly for 1,100 damage. I'll take He's already looking back at it in this artwork here. You wild for saying that yeah. on camera. Yes, I and mean, that's literally what she's doing. And that don't change the fact you wild. Wow, I can't believe this game's already over. You did play a good game. Is it doomed? But yeah, that's game. I'm going to banish from my graveyard one light and one dark monster.
Oh. Special summon. Black Luster Soldier. I had to bring him back. Black Luster Soldier, on board at the beginning. It was only a matter of time, and I knew with the element monsters and my alchemic being that I actually had light and dark monsters that could actually do something, and I could summon this guy to win the game. Oh Envoy of the God, beginning. I did not expect him to show up. Okay. And then, I'll normal summon Roulette Barrel. Enter battle, Black Luster Soldier, attack Lady Ninja Ye. That makes me take 1,900 points of damage. And then, Black Luster Soldier can attack once again. And finish you! Ooh, I didn't, that was just out of nowhere. You know why I'm mad about that? I could have played my Swords of Revealing Light. Oh! I had Swords, I was just like, oh, okay, I'll just save it and try to get a little more use out of it. That's gonna complete this episode of Rare Hunters, then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I sure did. As we said before, next week's going to be the finale, where we show all of our earnings to Master Merrick along with a few other surprises. And we open the last set. Of Flames Eternity. of Eternity. I knew that. I forgot what it was. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass, Pass turn. turn. Greetings, viewers of Team APS. It is I, Marek Ishtar. I finally arrived in Battle City to find my rare hunters and gather the many rare and powerful cards they have collected for me. But first... I want to thank you all for watching the Rare Hunters series. I've been watching from the shadows, and I'm very pleased with the enthusiasm and support from you all. And if I wasn't, <laughs> well, I might have to use my Millennium Rod. Seeing the boxes opened and watching the duels has been very entertaining indeed. But without further ado, we still have one final episode. Let the hunt begin! <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to be the first one to open up, and uh, this time I think I'm going to actually go with the left side of the box, because by popular request um, from people in the comments, apparently that is the side that maybe we'll have the better cars, or at least I usually go for the right side, so uh, we'll see, right? So we're starting off with Centrifugal Field, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Whirlwind Prodigy, Elemental Burst, Swords of Concealing Light, The Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, Kangaroo Champ, Threatening Roar, and Pole Position, a card known for many, many uh, infinite loops. Arm Samurai Benkei, so you can actually equip him with equip spells and he'll get additional attacks. That's pretty cool. Ooh, first foil card and it's a ultimate rare, Brain Jacker. So you flip and equip it to a monster on your opponent's side of the field and treat it as an equip card. You take control of that monster, Increase your opponent's life points by 500 during each of their standby phases. Nice though. Ultimate rare. And first edition because the box is first edition. Element of Valkyrie. Refusion. Pay 100 life points. Select a fusion monster in your grave and summon it to your side of the field. Rescue Cat. Wow, I didn't know that Rescue Cat came out this early. This card went on to later make a really big impact in the game actually. And Behemoth, the king of all animals. Super rare. So it can be normal summoner set with one tribute, but its attack will only be 2,000. If it's tribute summoned successfully, you can return from your graveyard to the owner's hand a number of beast type monsters equal to the number of tributed monsters. You could technically work with Rescue Cat if you wanted. Hand of Nephthys, Blade Rabbit, what's this do? When it's changed to attack position, you destroy an opponent's monster. Firebird, Insect Knight, okay, so this one's 1900, that's always a good attack point value to have. Fulfillment of the Contract summons a ritual monster from your grave, it's kind of like Refusion. Majigiri Panda, Another Beast Support, Abari Ushioni, Brain Jacker as a rare, as opposed to the beautiful ultimate rare. Let me see if that focus on that. Yeah, one's a rare, one's an ulti. Which do you like more? I like that they can come in different varieties. I think that's really cool. The Big March of Animals, Element Doom, Golem Sentry, and Didi Dynamite. Arm Samurai Benkei, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler. <gasps> Ooh, super rare Deck Devastation Virus. Tribute a Dark Monster with 2,000 attack points or more. Check all your opponent's monsters in their hand, field, and what they draw in the next three turns and destroy everything with an attack of 1,500 or less. Kind of the opposite of Crush Card Virus. Super rare though. Insect Knight, Fulfillment of the Contract, Majra Giri Panda, Upside Down Rescue Cat. I thought that might have been a sign, but apparently not. Um, our rare is Shadow Slayer. It's familiar from a recent video. It can attack as long as all your opponent's monsters are in defense position. It can hit them directly. Dark Hex. Threatening Roar, Space Mambo, and Mechadog Marin. These three foil cards, they're all very pretty, and I suppose my Brain Jacker is gonna be on the line. 
in this duel. That'll be my final rare card. All right, guys, I'm opening up my side of Flames of Eternity. Let's get some good luck and bring it home from Master Merrick. We have Good Goblin Housekeeping, Rescue Cat, Refusion, Element Valkyrie, Big Tusk Mammoth, DD Dynamite, Hand of Nephthys, Golem Century, and Blade Rabbit. Oh, we got Beast stuff in here? All right, all right. And a new Element Monster. I don't know if I'll make use of it, but uh, I always like to see new Element Monsters. Hey, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler, Insect Knight, 1900 Attack. Uh, ooh, Ultimate Rare Assault on GHQ. Select one monster, you can see that, yeah. Select one monster on your side of the field to activate this card. Destroy the selected card and send two cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So you're milling. I might, I mean, I guess I, if I wager it, I have to use it, so we'll see. We have Divine Dragon Ragnarok, the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion, Pole Position, and Kangaroo Champ. The Light Hex Sealed Fusion and Blast Magician Super Rare. It's actually, I've never actually seen the Super Rare version of this card. This feels like history, I don't know. That's cool, that's cool. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, Good Goblin Housekeeping, Hyena, Armed Samurai. Ooh, Ultra Rare Silent Swordsman level five. Ooh, that's pretty. That is nice. That's nice. Elemental Burst, Element Valkyrie, Beast Soul Swap, Refusion, Lightning Vortex as a super rare. Discard one card, then destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. So, that's sick. Catnipped Kitty, Dark Hex Sealed, Catnip Kitty. I had two catnip kitties in one pack. I've never, huh, interesting. But Lightning Vortex though. We have the Light Hex Sealed Fusion, Centrifugal Field, Insect Knight, Fulfillment of Contract, Cross Counter, Poison Fangs, DD Dynamite, Hand of Nephthys, and Golem Century. Yeah, so these are my pulls. We got the Ultimate Rare, Assaults on GHQ, Lightning Vortex, Silent Swords on Level 5, and Blast Magician. All right, so here's my final deck for Rare Hunters. It's pretty much just a back to basics, but with a few interesting twists that you guys might have noticed. So first and foremost, I am going in on the tribute summon strategy. I wanted to make sure that I actually have useful, strong tribute monsters like Arm Dragon, like Jinzo, and I plan to tribute summon them quite aggressively if I can. I also went with more of an earth package since I got Gigantes. I figured using Legendary Jujutsu Master, Berserk Gorilla, and other earth monsters would actually let me have a little bit of offense. I actually got that idea from Alec running Spirit of Flames. I still got my Spellcaster sort of package with Apprentice Magician, Magical Scientist, Magician of Faith, Old Vindictive. Added in this Mask of Darkness to recover a few trap cards. Gotta run Brainjacker, of course. And other than that, this is pretty much the same deck that you're used to. Um, there's Chaos Sorcerer in there to hopefully pull out an emergency win. And even though I lost my ultimate rare Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight, in the last episode, I did pull a rare one, so I was able to replace it. All right, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, guys, I'm back with the fire deck for this final episode of Rare Hunters. So I have Mass Dragon, who can search out the Element Dragon, and I thought, hmm, Element Dragon's light. Maybe I can fit a Chaos package into this deck. The only downside is I couldn't really search the Dark Monsters, but I did get four, so hopefully I can summon my Black Lesser Soldier and Chaos Sorcerer, you know, in addition to playing Horus of Black Flame Dragon level six and eight. See how it goes. Wager. Jinzo, Dark Magician Girl, and Brain Jacker. I wager, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Monster Reincarnation, and Assault on GHQ. All right, we'll start this duel out by setting one card face down and another card face down. Your move. Running scared, Hunter. I don't know about that. It's only the first turn. Draw. There's nothing to be afraid of with you. There's always reason to be afraid. But I'll keep it simple. I'll also set a monster face down and set two cards face down. Two cards, you say? I'll end my turn. I draw, Hunter. All right, I will. Flip summon my old Vindictive Magician and destroy mm -hmm. your face down monster. You Destroys hit. a monster in the field. UFO Turtle. Excellent. That's great because that means I can now tribute my old Vindictive Magician to summon Chaos Command Magician to the field in attack mode. Ooh. Negate the effects of monsters that target it with their effects. Is his summon okay, Hunter? It is fine. Great, that means I'm going to enter the battle phase. Chaos Command Magician will attack you directly for 2400. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. Ooh, not pleasant at all. I will special my UFO turtle back to the field. 
Uh, I don't know if I like that. I will not attack the UFO <laughs> turtle. Instead, I'll go to main phase two and activate this. My Ikibio Drachmoid on your UFO turtle. This means it won't be able to attack, and after two turns, it'll be destroyed, and this will return to my hand. Your move. All right. Draw. Switch my turtle to defensive mode, and I'll end my turn. Good. I'll draw another card. I'll normal summon Gemini Elf in attack mode, and I'll end my turn. All right. Draw. Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Good. That means Ikibio Drachmoid destroys UFO turtle and call the haunted in the process Goodbye. and returns to my hand. Now I'll draw for my turn. Time to enter the battle phase, Hunter. Gemini Elf, attack your face down monster. <laughs> I activate Mirror Force. Okay, figures. I destroy both your monsters. Maybe I should be running my body as a shield. They're both destroyed, you got a lucky break. In that case, I'll have to end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll activate my terraforming. Okay. I can add a field spell to my hand. Field spell card. I'll get molten, molten destruction. destruction. Had a feeling when I saw a UFO turtle in your deck. Now I'll activate my molten destruction and reveal Solar Flare Dragon. My dragon gains 500 attack underneath my new field spell. So it has 2,000. And then I'll normal summon Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, the Solar Flare Lock. I don't think I like it, so I'm gonna activate Bottomless Trapple on your second Solar Flare Dragon. Ooh, that destroys my monster. It will be destroyed. But if I pay 1,500 life points, my Bizer Shield will protect it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Too bad I, can, I can't just outright kill you here. Wouldn't it be great? Oh, wait. I can. Hmm. I'll banish my UFO turtle from my graveyard to special summon Spirit of Flame. I'll enter battle. My Spirit of Flames gains an extra 200, 300 points during the battle phase. So my Spirit of Flames attacks with 2,500. Solar Flare Dragon attacks with 2,000. Solar Flare Dragon attacks with 2,000. Oh, I'm putting me down to 1,500. I guess it doesn't finish it. Oh, well, I'll move to the end phase, and then both of my Solar Flare Dragons activate to burn you for 500 each. Ooh, okay. So that'll be 1,000 damage, putting me at 500. Now end my turn. I draw. Banish a light and a dark monster from what? my graveyard. My old vindictive magician and chaos command magician to special summon my chaos sorcerer to the field. And I'm going to go ahead and activate its effect. It lets me banish a monster on the field, but it can't attack this turn. So we'll banish solar flare dragon. Goodbye, my Solar Flare. I'll activate Ikibio Drachmord on Spirit of Flames. So it can't attack, and at the end of the second turn, it'll be destroyed, and Ikibio Drachmord will return to my hand. I'll set one card face down in the field, and finally, I'll end my turn. Really? You think that's enough to survive? Yeah, we're gonna have to find out, won't we? Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Extermination on your face down card. All right, I'm going to go ahead and respond with Phoenix Wing Windblast. What? I'll discard Night Assailant from my hand. Since I discarded Night Assailant, it also returns to my hand because when it goes from my hand to the graveyard, I can return a flip effect monster. So I'll go ahead and get Night Assailant back. I have no choice but to end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll banish my Gemini Elf to summon. What is happening? My Gigantes in attack mode it has 1,900 attack points. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. You left, your stomach. you left yourself wide open. Because all I have to do is normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon and proceed to my end phase. Yeah, that's 500 damage, so I guess I'll lose. All right, game two then, Duelist. We'll set one monster face down and one spell or trap card phase down. Your move. I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Hmm, what does that do, Duelist? It lets me draw two cards from my deck. And one of the cards I drew, I'll pay a thousand life points for Delinquent Duo. Oh, brutal. So now we'll discard one random card from your hand, this one, and you get to discard the other. All right, you discarded my Insect Knight. Hmm. I'll also discard my old Vindictive Magician. Oh, I like seeing that go. 
Let's see. Next, I'll set a monster face down. One spell and trap and end my turn. All right, I draw for turn. Also set another monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I will flip summon my masked dragon. It is 1400 attack. Okay. And then I'll normal summon my element dragon. Also okay. Because of a fire monster on my side of the field, element dragon gains 500 attack. Okay, so 2,000 attack points. Mm-hmm. And I'll enter battle. Battle phase entered duelist. Mash dragon attack this monster. You attacked. Legendary Jujutsu Master. Mm. With 1800 defense, it means that you'll take 400 damage and your monster will be returned to the top of your deck. Is that any monster battles? Any monster that battles it while it's in defense position. Mm. So Not only good. that, but your element dragon has gone down to 1500 again. I'll have my element dragon attack your other face down. You attacked Mystic Tomato. When it's destroyed, as you know, I get to summon a dark with 1500 or less attack from my deck in attack position. Let's get this one. My Sangin. To the field in attack position. I'll end my turn there. All right, I'll draw for my turn. Let's activate Pot of Greed. Do you know what the spell card does, Duelist? I think it lets your opponent draw two cards. I don't think so. Oh. I draw two cards from my deck. I'll tribute my Sangin in order to summon Jinzo to the field. In attack mode. Ooh. The That's 2400 impressive. attack points. In addition to that, Sagan's effect will activate and let me get a monster to my hand with 1500 or less attack points. My apprentice magician. Then I'll go ahead and enter the battle phase and have Jinzo attack your element dragon. It's got 2400 attack, so Goodbye. that means you will take Four, 900. 900. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I wonder what cards you drew. Me too. Me too. Could it perhaps be a masked dragon? would be very unfortunate. I'll set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will enter the battle phase. We're gonna have, I'll attack your face down monster with Jinzo. You hit, mass dragon. Big surprise. It will special summon a dragon type monster with 1500 or less attack. We'll get element dragon. Oh, him again. The last one didn't work. I'm surprised you're willing to do it again. You know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. In main phase two, I'll go ahead and set a monster face down in the field, and I'll set a spell or trap card. Your moving duelist. Draw for time. I will banish the mass dragon from my graveyard to special summon my spirit of flames. Oh, flaming. So now my element dragon will get its boost back. So it's 2,000 attack. That's fine, duelist. And then I'll normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon. Element Dragon attack Jujutsu Master. All right, so Jujutsu Master's effect will activate, which means your Element Dragon will return to the top of your deck. But Jujutsu Master will be destroyed. Now, Spirit of Flames attack the face down. You attacked Apprentice Magician. As you know, it's going to summon a level two spellcast from my deck in face down defense position. Well, I know it can't be your, uh... And what's that one thing? Old Vindictive. Old Vindictive. It'll be a Magician of Faith instead. Face down defense. And I'll have my Solar Flare Dragon attack your new face down. It's Magician of Faith. What, what a surprise. So it's going to activate its flip effect and get back a spell card from my grave. The one spell card I need. My Pot of Greed. Was the rhyme necessary? I'll tell you what else isn't necessary. When I ask what it does next turn. You can't, okay, you can't say you're gonna ask next turn. Then. That's when it's gonna be played, Dolores. Wow. I'm gonna move to my end phase and my Solar Flare Dragon's effect will activate. Well, it took 500 damage. Now end my turn. Not a problem, I draw. Do you know what this spell card does, Dolores? I don't know what spell we're talking about. It's called Pot of Greed. It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Who would have thought? I draw one and two. I'll enter the battle phase. So since you have another Pyro monster, I can't attack Solar Flare Dragon, correct? It is safe. Interesting. Well, I'm going to use Jinzo and attack Spirit of Flames. All right, at 1,700. Which means you'll take 700 points of damage. In main phase two, 
I'll go ahead and set a monster face down on my side of the field and end my turn. Draw for turn. I will normal summon UFO turtle. Not a problem. I'm into battle. Battle in. UFO turtle attack Jinzo. Hmm, attacking Jinzo, huh? So that means you'll be taking 1,000 points of damage. And my UFO turtle is destroyed by battle. Activating its effect. Got it. It's a special summon a fire monster from my deck. Solar Flare Dragon. Yeah, they're trying to set up a little bit of a lock duel. I'll go move to my end phase, and both my Solar Flag Flare Dragons activate to burn you for 500 each. That's 1,000 damage. Puts me at 6,500. And you, you know, you can't attack Solar Flare Dragon as long as the Pyro Monster on my side of the field. I'm well aware. I end my turn. I draw. Tribute my face down monster, the Spirit Reaper. Summon Armed Dragon, level five. As you know, it has an ability to destroy a face up monster by discarding a monster with more attack points. Bring it on. So I'm going to use Armed Dragon level five's effect and discard my Chaos Command Magician, which lets me destroy one of your Solar Flare Dragons. You can pick which one goes if you like. Goodbye, Solar Flare. Whichever is more important to you. On to the battle phase. Arm Dragon level 5 is going to attack your Solar Flare Dragon. That means 900. 900 damage. Not only that, I'll attack for 2400 with Jinza. And now I'll end my turn. Draw! I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I'll draw for turn. Let's activate the Swords of Revealing Light. This will flip your monster face up and let me know exactly what I'm dealing with. Mask of Darkness? Do you have a trap card in I your graveyard have, to recover, Duelist? I don't even, you've had Jinzo up for so long. I didn't There's think no traps so. in the grave. Time to enter the battle phase. Arm Dragon attack, Mask of Darkness. And now Jinzo attack for 2100 directly. At least 2400. 24. 700 directly. Oh, I guess that works too. <laughs> to finish off my opponent. Say goodbye, the score is one to one. I'll set one monster and one Speller Trap face down, and end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll start with a familiar spell card. It's the Pot of Greed. In case you know what it does, it lets me draw two cards from my deck. I'll not, draw one. I don't think that's what that does. And two. Hmm, not a bad start. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and normal summon my Insect Knight in attack mode. Ooh, that's strong. He has 1,900 attack points. I'll enter the battle phase and attack with Insect Knight. You hit my Mash Dragon. Not a problem. It's destroyed and that activates effect. Summoning summon a dragon from my deck. Another dragon monster. My element dragon. I tire of your dragonic strategies duelist. I'll go to my main phase too and set three cards face down on the field. I'll activate terraforming to mm. search for a field spell. I'm not so sure about that. Oh. How about I use my Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell? Actually, sense. wait, no, I can't use that. I thought this was Magic Drain. I actually thought that was Magic Drain. I can't use it, because I, I literally don't have a spell in this card, so. All right, so I'm good? Yes, terraforming is fine. Dude. I'll search for my Molten Destruction. Hmm. A card you should be intimately familiar with by now. Unfortunately. I can't wait to see the back of that card. Well, first, you have to see its front when I activate it. But you know, it does nothing for my element dragon. It's a light monster. But when I normal summon my solar flare dragon. How about that be fine? Now my element dragon gains an additional 500, so it's 2,000 attack. Yes, yes, so we know. And I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Element dragon attack insect knight. Hmm. I'm gonna activate my book of moon in response to your attack. I'll target your Solar Flare Dragon and flip it face down. With Solar Flare Dragon face down, Element Dragon's attack points decrease back to 1,500. They sure do. So unless you have something in damage calculation, you'll be getting destroyed. Goodbye. You'll take 400 points of damage. I'll end my turn. Could be, dude. I draw. All right, I'll enter the battle phase and attack you with Insect Knight. I'll activate Composer Evacuation Device. Oh, to return my monster to the hand, huh? Interesting strategy. I'd like, I'd like to hold on to my monster for a while longer. All right then. To main phase two we go. I'll set a monster face down in my turn. Draw for turn. I will flip summon my solar flare dragon. I'll just move to end phase and get my burn damage. 500. Oh, running scared, just taking the freebies? I activate my confiscation by paying 1,000. 
Let's have a look at what's in your hand. What have you been hiding from me, this game duelist? I see. Oh, Lightning Vortex, Swords of Concealing Light, and Molten Destruction. How about let's take Lightning Vortex off the table? You sure you don't want to get rid of Molten Destruction? Oh, I don't think so, duelist. We don't need that. Lightning Vortex would be a deadly card, and that would have allowed a comeback, and we can't have those in this duel. I'll tribute my Spirit Reaper in order to summon Chaos Command Magician in attack mode. And it's got 2400 attack points, which is enough to swing over Solar Flare Dragon into the battle phase and attack. I'll take 400. That's going to end my turn, Duelist. Draw for turn. I set a card face down, I'll end my turn. I'll draw. How about I normal summon my Insect Knight to the field in attack position? What a pain. Then I'll switch Chaos Command Magician to defense mode. Ah. And enter the battle reading phase. Reading the mirror for us. I'll attack you directly with Insect Knight for 1900. I'll take it. If you do have Mirror Force, I'm making sure that it's not worth it. Your move. Draw for time. I'll activate my Swords of Concealing Light. They'll flip your monsters face down, and they can't change battle positions for the next two turns. Alright, fine duelist. And I'll end my turn. I draw. While my current monsters may be under such a spell, my new monsters are not. I normal summon Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf attack directly for 1900. I'll take it. I'll activate my Nobleman of Extermination on this card. Ooh, it's Sakuretsu Armor. Hmm. And I do in fact have other copies of it in my deck. Yeah, get that out of here. We don't need that. Which means they're all banished. And I don't have any Sakuretsus in my deck. Oh, you're not running it, are you, Duelist? I'm surprised. Sakuretsus mm -hmm. is a very powerful card. So I'll activate Giant True Nade. And oh, what a joy. all of our spells and traps to our hand. What a joy. I'll activate my Swords of Concealing Light, flipping Gemini Elf down. And I'll activate Molten Destruction. All right, I draw. I think I can use for now. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I did this. I activate Pot of Greed. Mm, what does that spell card do to us? Let's me draw two cards. Okay, I just had to, you know, remind myself. Normal summon Mash Dragon. I'll have my Mash Dragon attack. Mash Dragon will attack your face down. You attacked and destroyed Gemini Elf. Are you happy, Duelist? I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Alright, I'll draw from that. I'll summon my Berserk Gorilla in attack mode. Oh, that's a monster. It has to attack. Or wow. at least if it's in defense position, it gets destroyed. All right, into the battle phase. Berserk Gorilla is going to attack your Masked Dragon. I'll take 100 effective Masked Dragon. Right. It will special summon my Element Dragon from the deck. No surprises there. It's going to end my turn, Duelist. On this standby phase, Swords of Concealing Light is destroyed. Next, I'll normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon. And now my Element Dragon gains an additional 500 attack. Yes, yes, I'm aware. So I'll have my Solar Flare Dragon attack your face down. You attacked Chaos Command Magician. It has only 1,900 defense points. And then I'll have Element Dragon attack your Berserk Gorilla. All right, so we're both 2,000 attack points. Yes. Okay, so we're both destroyed. Now move to end phase, effective Solar Flare Dragon. 500 damage. All right, I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Mm. Let's me draw two more cards from my deck. I'll tribute Insect Knight to summon Jinzo to the field in <sighs> attack position. That guy. It's got 2400 attack, which means I can enter the battle phase and presumably safely attack Solar Flare Dragon. I'll take 400. Deal 400 damage to you. We'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Do you have what it takes to defeat my Jinzo? Or will he put you six feet under right now? It will certainly be difficult, but I'm always up to the task. Ah, he says as he grabs his graveyard. I'll banish Mass Dragon from my graveyard to special summon my Spirit of Flame. Not a problem. That monster is not strong enough right now. He's not, you say. To deal with the Jinzo. Right now he's getting 500 attack. So he's at 22. But when I enter the battle phase, mm. he has 2400. All right, to do it. Spirit of Flames attack Jinzo. It'll be destroyed. And that means that I'll take, actually, 
He gains. No, he's 25. 25? Yes. Yeah, so oh, be, yeah, wow. So you I, I don't know why I thought it was 200. So I'll take 100 Spirit points. Spirit stays. I knew that was going to happen, guys. I'll use my monster reincarnation to mm. add Solar Flare Dragon back to my hand. We have to discard a card first, though, Duelist. Next, I will normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon. Not so fast. I'm going to activate my Trap Hole. Aww. That cannot be allowed Lame. to stay at this phase of the game. <laughs> I'll end my turn. He has over 1,000, so he'll be destroyed. I'll draw one card. I'll set one monster face down and banish an earth monster from my grave to special summon Gigantes. Let's banish Gemini Elf. I'll summon Gigantes in defense position. Mm. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. How many cards you got in the hand of yours? I have three cards currently in my hand. You mean one. I'm paying a thousand. Okay. I'll activate my Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Oh. I'm going to discard Hammer Shot from my hand to negate delinquent duo. Ooh, that wasn't, okay, all right. You wanna have to do it. Oh, you, you really know. want, you really want those cards, whatever's in there. Yeah, they're valuable. I'll enter battle, and have my Spirit of Flames attack Gigantes. Okay, are you sure you wanna do that, duo? I don't know, does it even affect it? I don't wanna... When he's destroyed by battle, he'll destroy all the spells and trap cards in the field. I'm attacking the face down. Okay. <laughs> you attacked Apprentice Magician. As you know, Apprentice Magician's effect, let me make sure what spellcasters I even have in here in this game. Okay, I've got plenty. Let's me get a spellcaster in face down defense position. My spellcaster of choice will be, it'll be Old Vindictive Magician face down. I'll end my turn. All right, it all comes down to this hunter. I draw, I'll flip summon Old Vindictive Magician, which destroys your spirit of flames. Goodbye, spirit. And now I'll switch Gigantes to attack position. And it's time, Duelist. I enter the battle phase, and I'll attack your life points directly with Gigantes for 1,900. Sakuretsu armor. Destroy it. Staying in the game, are we? Gigantes is destroyed. I'll activate my Swords of Revealing Light. Wow. You can't attack for three turns. Wow. Your move, Duelist. Draw. I'll banish this masked dragon from my graveyard to special summon Spirit of Flames. Oh, he's back, isn't he? But that's all I can do, so I'm my turn. I draw duels. I banish a light and a dark monster from my graveyard. Chaos Command Magician and Spirit Reaper. In order to special summon the Chaos Sorcerer. As you know, its effect lets me banish a face-up monster on the field. So let's go ahead and banish your Spirit of Flames. Goodbye. That said, though, you're lucky because he can't attack the turn he uses that effect. We'll just enter the battle phase and have Old Vindictive Magician attack you for 450. I'll set one card face down. Your move. Draw for turn. In my next turn, Chaos Sorcerer will be able to destroy you for good. I activate Nobleman of Crossout, targeting your face down. My face down card was Knight Assailant. It'll be banished alongside my other copy of Night Assailant because Actually, it is a flip effect I monster. Night Assailant in here too. If that's your last move, then so be it. It is. I draw one card. And now let's end this duel. Chaos Sorcerer! I'm sorry, Master Mary! Attack his life points directly for 2300 and end this duel. <gasps> Just. So can you tell Master Merrick that I helped? I won't tell him a thing. Wow! I'll tell him I destroyed what? you. Wow, oh, fine. I'll fine. be taking Assault on GHQ, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, and Monster works. Reincarnation for myself. That's it for Rare Hunters. It has truly been a wild ride. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Um, we had a lot of fun going through a lot of these retro packs. Uh, it was fun opening them, it was fun dueling. What was your favorite part? My favorite part had to be just opening up those retro booster packs and seeing these cards for the first time all over again. Your favorite card? My favorite card, Delinquent Duo. Yeah, I think for me, my favorite pull would have to be the Jinzo. So um, yeah, I hopefully you guys enjoyed the series as much as we did. We really appreciate all of your likes, your comments, your shares, the super thanks in particular, because- Oh, for sure. Buying retro packs can be a little expensive. You can check eBay. I want to be clear, by the way, we never actually had any no sponsors, like, sponsors like, you know, buying these or sending them for us. So 
Yeah, uh, I know that makes it kind of hard if you want to play this at home, but there are alternatives. You could always play online. And there's even the new Legendary Collection coming out for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Anniversary this year, right, Paul? Yeah, I think that drops next month. It's got the first, sort of first six sets. I think yeah. they skip like it one or two. They skip one or two sets, but that's a good way if you want to get a little bit of that Rare Hunter's action going, buy that product. Yeah, and um, as always, you know, want to plug, like the video, you know, subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, all of that stuff. Um, and just because Rare Hunters is over does not mean the, the hunt really is. That's true. You know, we never know what we might do next. This is the end of the original sort of Dual Monsters era sets. Which and, is followed uh, by the GX era sets. Yeah, so the GX era sets start next. We're not exactly sure what we're going to do with it, but who knows? We might have to become... Students! Yeah. Game on. Sly for Slacker, something like that. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn. Alright guys, so these are all of the rare cards that I have gotten for Master Merrick over the course of the series. A lot of interesting picks. I think mine overall were not really as strong and playable as a lot of Alex cards, but I did get some really neat highlights. I'm very happy about the Jinzo, of course. It's actually reverse foil, as somebody pointed out in the comments. Dark Magician Girl was really huge. I think that that's like worth quite a lot of money, I actually found out in real life. And uh, there are just lots of neat little cards that came in handy. Swords of Revealing Light and, you know, those sorts of things. So yeah, I'm all in all very happy with this. I'll actually be adding a lot of these cards to my personal collection. So, uh, yeah. Check out all of my rare cards. These cards have served me very well throughout Rare Hunters. Notable stands out being um, Delinquent Duo, Manator Bug, uh, Black Luster Soldier, and recently Horus the Black Flame Dragon. These cards have been very, very good, especially my, uh, my super rares. Cards like Nobleman and Giant Trune, these are staples in my deck. And I even got Lightning Vortex in this episode. It's just a shame I couldn't use it more. We'd like to thank everyone for watching the Rare Hunter series. And as a special thank you for making it all the way to the end, Master Merrick would like to present you guys with the Winged Dragon of Ra Kotobukiya statue. So we only have one of these, so only one person can win. And how you can enter is like, make sure you're subscribed, and tell us in the comments what is your favorite classic Yu-Gi-Oh memory. That can be a card, a set, or an event. So go ahead, put that in the comments, and watch out for scammers. You will be responded to by the official Team APS account, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Once again, thank you for watching Rare Hunters, and uh, the hunt never really ends.